let's that's mistake number one but we're gonna rectify or remedy rectify well rectify doesn't sound so good we're gonna remedy that no problem all right so that's back on up every time forget the youtube now we're back online don't forget to stage your water ahead of the stream oh yes thank you so much we've got a court right here thank you so much left what you find more challenging so far XCOM 2 or Rogue Tech well I would say they're both just as challenging and that might sound like a cop-out but I would say the real boss is my own understanding or lack of understanding of what I know or what I don't <laughs> So if I think I know something, then I'm not as open to new information, right? So let's just, and for now that we started up YouTube, we're getting on in happy Friday to all the bunnies out there. We are out here in a one skull green system. And we actually had a huge pickup yesterday and it kind of made me rethink things. So we're going to go ahead and try and revisit square one and maybe push even faster than we have been able to before. So. Both Unforgiving School of Hard Knocks, that's right. So let's go ahead. We won't waste any time. Let's take a look at our mech bay. It looks very different. Very, very different. I actually went through, some of the bunnies were telling me yesterday about how our upkeep is affected by the ammunition that we have in stores as well as other things. So far, I've just been going through. You've seen me on stream. We've cleared out parts here and there. But obviously, we had a lot of stuff in the mech bay. We had a lot of extraneous bins like 20 bins of some type of ammunition etc when i sold off cores i sold off excess masc i sold off things that i really just thought to myself am i actually going to use this right away i ended up with like six million c bills <laughs> so i decided i would take the time i would revisit the rogue tech wiki and i now have as a reference sheet here this beautiful table of all of the ecm I read up on the electronic countermeasures, all of that. So, and I also listened to Kubaji guides. I listened to that a really long time ago and I've forgotten so much, it seems. So hopefully this is going to help us out to be a little more effective. You'll notice we've got all these little icons right here. I'm not going to go into great detail about it, but because I'm not an expert, obviously, but this is our brand new bushwhacker right here. I called it the fancy bush bun because it was a bushwhacker gorilla is what it was called before but this thing is nuts i cannot believe how well equipped this thing came so take a look at this yeah yeah it matters a lot like a lot a lot so this is how it came for the most part except for the c3 so pretend this is not here yeah it had two lrm sets it had they were mml fives and then it had the lrm tandem and an srm tandem i yanked off the srm tandem and I replaced the MML 10 with an LRM 10 so that saves some weight it came with a clan UAC 10 came with a Thunderbolt 10 so and then now we've got tandem capabilities from afar installed already it has a clan XXL like what the heck it's got clan laser AMS it came with a fixed AR 14 sheet beacon which is a personal protection of unparalleled like strength i think it's like a six shielding six enemy jamming it's absolutely insane and it even comes with chameleon systems so it reduces our sensor signature to the enemy even though it generates extra heat and stuff like that so overall very very advanced so all i did was i swapped out the mmls for that c3i you're kind of getting an idea what's going on here it gives us plus one accuracy it doesn't stack but extra sight and sensor distance on all of the mechs that have that c3i in it i actually dug through and i found out from, from the past we actually picked up some c3i before so that's been really really cool because we had four stacks of it so we were able to get one on fit it on the death bun mobile i've actually adjusted the death bun mobile so it seemed a little bit slow to me in combat it has the biggest core that we've got but I wasn't activating the supercharger, so that was a one tool I wasn't using the other day. And then now we've got Guardian ECM, we've got an active probe to extend our own sensor range or sight range, but more importantly, to give ourselves a little bit of passive shielding. And then of course, we've got the C3i. We no longer have the ATM on it, but we have an SRM with acid just for utility purposes. And then we've got a large X-Pulse and a clan medium improved heavy laser so hopefully 
that'll allow us to connect more readily. We've kind of swapped out some things here, advanced optics, etc. So hopefully that should help the Scorpion to actually be a little more dastardly. Yeah? Probably the biggest change overall is our detective bun. So I just wiped out the Kyoto. Kyoto, I think, yeah. Hey there, Night Dancer. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're just going over the big changes on our mechs at the moment. We made changes to basically four of them, and I ripped down other mechs and sold them. So I actually stuck in heavy ferro fibers because we had the slots, because this is going to be our current scout, our current version of a scout. So this thing now has C3I. It has Angel ECM so that we can counter any and isolate enemies that are using let's say like c3 boosted or are part of a network and are just basically rip them out of their network and isolate them and destroy them the angel ecm is like unparalleled in its ability to jam and shield so that's awesome we've got the clan active probe which has so far for everything that we've got it's got the largest boost to sensor range and sight range it also gives a much higher role on the sensor check chart and then on top of that uh, gave ourselves a slick sweep so we can get that piloting, get our evasion up there. And the more that, of these that we collect, the more we're going to stack sight and sensor. And then sensor improved. We even, I even bought a tactic support just to get us higher on the rules up there. And then I maxed out with a zoom mark three. And now we have a UAV compartment. So this is going to allow us to launch a drone in the sky and do an AOE ping and scan. Because after all, in Rogue Tech, you don't get sensor lock until tier eight in tactics and then i jammed us full of dual machine gun uh setups here a mag shot for battle armor and then also tag to increase our chances for the lance to hit and tag barrage if we would just want to bombard something just kind of force them to get the heck out of dodge right so overall it's very very different it doesn't have much output at all but it has all kinds of output if you know what i mean then on top of that, we have our anti-BA bun. So this is our new 45-ton Firestarter Omni. This has now been converted to all the smalls. <laughs> it's got one ER large at the moment, so that's kind of cool. That's just to reach out and touch someone. But more importantly, it has an anti-air factor of 15%. The standard large laser, by comparison, is an anti-air factor of 10%. So hopefully we're going to be able to hit those VTOLs a little more easily. Uh, we've got our small lasers all the er smalls everything out to 360 meters but more importantly we've got that c3i we've got the beagle active probe so that we can aoe ping get the passive shielding sensor range etc guardian ecm for passive or active and uh extend our energy range as well as stealth so overall kind of focused more on sniffing out the tiny little guys and then taking them out we picked up a cougar the other day this, I don't have enough C3 eyes to spread around, but I noticed here that I totally missed before. This comes with an advanced optics, but this is a scaling one. It goes up to plus five accuracy the farther away something is. That's absolutely nuts. It comes with thermal vision, comes with night vision. It comes with basically, uh, it, it can't have a no visual penalty of plus six on the accuracy roll within 600 meters. So this is great for long range fighting. So it previously came with two clan large and proof heavy lasers. I just left one on and then slapped on a clan UAC-5. I bought an upper recoil just to get extra accuracy and control that recoil more. Left the lower arm here to help with the large and proof heavy laser and then just jam packed it full of stuff. Uh, we actually have some room, so I think maybe, oh, that's right. We already have an advent zoom, so that doesn't make any sense, but very, very cool. Uh, when we get something else to tuck in here, that'll be really nice, actually. Could probably even get some bolt-on, heck, like bolt-on AMS. Why not? Yeah, that's great. Look at that. Improvements already. So this is not part of the network. It does have a watchdog suite, which is more selfish. It does have Predator. It does have sensors tracker to give us more accuracy at range. So hopefully that's going to be kind of that long-range hitter that just kind of comes on in like the cavalry and stays away. And then we've got our toasty bun. I... I remember Panzer saying that I wasn't hitting very much with the light PPCs. Granted, I was too close most of the time. So I ended up giving it a FCS flak so that we can ignore more evasion. We've got sensors tracker to increase our long range accuracy. We've got the Guardian ECM and Beagle probe to give it that passive shielding active and everything. 
And then of course we've got AMS advanced zoom to be more accurate within, uh, was it 810 meters? Excellent. Cause the light PPCs go to 720 and then we've got the thermal vision for night vision and stuff like that. So hopefully that's going to help out the kit Fox. And then we've got the bun deal and the bun fire. I have not touched these yet because I was kind of hoping we could pick up more gear, but more importantly, over in the engineering bay with all that money that I freed up, I was able to get that scrapyard leopard and then pick up the junkyard leopard, which will allow us to deploy one more slot. I believe provide additional drop capacity through upgrades increases allowed drop size by two battle armor only slots. Oh, maybe, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I haven't gone into a mission with it yet. So those are the main changes. There's basically a full overhaul and I ended up selling off a lot of the, the other chassis that I was hoping we could use and like background stuff. And that's how we got our cash. But right now the plan is we'll go and see how this goes, make any adjustments necessary. And then we're going to head out because I want to boost us to like two skull, something like that. Because so far we've been sitting at one green and that just doesn't feel good because it doesn't allow us the proper opportunities to kind of expand further. So that's the idea. So that was a long intro. <laughs> Let's start on the command center. I'm thinking if anything, we've got escort, we've got uh, aggressive air at one and a half skull. That's a fight against the Wobbies. I mean, that seems perfectly fine. We did well in the jungle last time. So hopefully there isn't as much out there and maybe just maybe we're going to be able to make it through and uh, be more successful. Yeah. Hey there, all access. Good to see you. Welcome. You're making it right on time for the warm up mission. Let's go ahead and grab our fancy bush bun. We'll grab the death's bun mobile. We'll go ahead and grab our anti battle armor bun. We'll get our detective bun. That's our current formulated scout. We've got the IFB, not part of it. And then if we're in the jungle, I guess we've got the Maxim, but I would imagine the defender will have an easier time maneuvering. But you know what? Let's try the Maxim. It just has so much more output. Yeah. And then that's so cool too, because we actually have a Leonidas with a single tag on it, which is kind of cool. Let's get our mortar. We'll get it in. Curious. Can I fit like here? Oh, we can. Okay. I don't know if we have enough pilots to do it, but that might be kind of cool because this does have a tag on it and it does have its own uh, Angel ECM, Battle Armor Angel ECM, which just seems insane to me. So let's see how this goes. Right now we do have one bunny able able to well actually two bunnies because we got superior superior has been piloting the bun ping ping and then we could always get amiel to pilot the leonidas i don't know how that's gonna go because it doesn't have a port right i don't think this has a firing port either but that'll be interesting hmm, i don't know i don't know uh we'll get hb in the fancy bush we'll get depth in the dead bun mobile for the anti ba bun let's see we've got Sensor lock immunity, we probably want that on the detective bun. And then we'll have Mac on the IFB. We'll have either tank, chappy. For the anti battle armor bun, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. So I'm kind of thinking we don't really need the recoils. That doesn't help us too much. But being able to move a little sooner is nice. Maybe get more evasion. We'll get tank care on the anti BA bun. And then for stability, doesn't matter as much. We'll go Antonides on the maxim here we go one and a half skull difficulty green battle in the jungle and will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got let's go ahead and just because it's friday too maximum of trouble in trees that's a good that's a good observation i think so too but it does have way more missiles so eventually we'll get to where we need to go so it's possible that it doesn't do anything but it'll be kind of cool if we find a path yeah <laughs> And even though no one has redeemed it, I think we kind of need the Neuro Helmet this time. So we're just going straight in. Why go into battle naked? It's Friday after all. High five. Heck yes. All right. Oh man. It has been a night, but I'm ready. I'm ready. We can do this. I believe. Hopefully all the bunnies are doing well. It is Friday after all. I mean, I know it's not Friday for every bunny, but you know, I like to I guess I, I sit in my own little bubble. So I think about my, my Friday as Friday. So we are here. If you're joining us right now, we're going in on a one and a half skull green battle in the jungle against the word of Blake, because after all yesterday, 
even though we had all those all scouts we probably got one of the most advanced mediums that we've had this entire career if not the most advanced and they had c3i and i would love to get that across the whole entire squad or lance yeah so let's see what we can do a little bit hilly but not too bad we've got them bunnies right out in the open these guys are amateurs get eyes on them and take them out and of course we've got annabella davis she's with us and i'm just curious what they've got last time they've had a lot of v's which has been kind of nice and it looks like destroy blake is lance they're like right there very interesting we could actually deploy here i don't know if that's necessarily smart but it does mean we don't actually have to cross over the river in the open i guess we could be on this side right here come on down i'm trying to find if there's any convenient place to cross i suppose maybe that's one probably you can come across this side come up the spores but that would be that would be quite a haul we could not deploy in the corner here they might have reinforcements so starting on the other side would mean everyone's funneled through on one of these embankments so if we've got our wow that would be quite a ballsy play <laughs> you'd prefer forest for protection yeah let's yeah let's go here i think we can cross there's the path and then I think you have to break right and then come up this way through the spore, which is not great, but it, it'll work. It'll work. We'll go here. There we go. Good, good idea, bunnies. Hey, Panzer, good to see you. Yeah. We are here in our warm up mission, a one and a half skull green battle against the word of Blink in the jungle. Right now, we see across us, we've got a Phoenix. Uh, we've got a trooper, tiny little guy. Uh, we got the Clint. We've got the Sarissa. Ooh, interesting. I'm not too familiar with this one. It looks cool. Very tiny. Uh, we've got the, oh, Shadowhawk. A Pathfinder, which looks a lot like a Spooter. And our allies, a Hunter with an LRM-15. We've got a Hunter with an LRM-20. A Saax with an LRM-10. A Striker with an LRM-15. We are indirect supported to the max. So this is pretty awesome. And then they probably got some battle armor out there that we'll be able to hopefully take care of with our new setup here so let's just go ahead and hold for superior yeah. uh, we got fancy bush bun right now this is our brand new bushwhacker we'll just kind of bring ourselves forward we've got these evasive hips right here in our chameleon system and we'll hang tight Skipper. and we got our anti-battle armor bun we'll turn on that ams we have stealth armor is on passive for our shielding and we're going to dash forward for seven Roger, it's going to be interesting because I'm curious if we're going to be in range. 400 meters is the basic for mechs, it seems. So can we see? Yep, PPC, SRM4. Nice. So we're already getting some good sensor checks here. Clint 22R, medium rifle, medium laser. The Sarissa has a, ah, Agra. So Agra medium lasers and a Trinell large laser. We got a Shadowhawk also, Agra. Interesting for the word of Blake. ER medium laser on the Pathfinder. I love you, honey. Uh, we've got our trooper with a machine gun double small and a flamer so doesn't look super advanced so i maybe they won't have that c3i that we're looking for but that's okay it's one and a half skull green we can always just get some money parts push up yeah so let's hold here very very nice read already this is our most advanced of us all i'm actually going to go passive with the angel ecm and we'll zip on forward eight evasion for akin to He's got that tag barrage. And just to see, he can get good sensor rolls as well. That's awesome, yeah? Hey. All right, Leonidas to... I don't think we can shoot yet. Yeah, hold. We don't have, like, a firing Thanks, port though. with a tag. It would be cool if we had two on the IFV. So those are our allied Vs there with their LRMs. And we are on 14. So this is round two, so we should be able to do stuff now, I think. So we'll bring ourselves over. We got five. We'll just kind of cross over, right. stay in the trees, hang tight. And we got Antonides in the Maxim. Yeah, not the best here, but we do have a path to travel on, at least to keep our evasion up. And then we got Dets in the Dets Bun Mobile. He is currently in passive. We're going to just stay in passive. Clint. 
and then our allies and the remaining and then we're gonna go into a round interesting it's round two but we'll go into round three and then we should be able to engage i almost feel like the pathfinder is the most advanced one <laughs> but i guess we'll find out all right a lot of agra stuff right here they're all grouped together very interesting i'm curious if there's some kind of trick to this i don't know let's hang tight Confirmed. all right Confirmed. amiel amiel this is very exciting to me so we might have to let's see we break over right yeah so it's, it's going to be a little bit rough getting up there we do have some jump jets though yeah oh thank you dewey thank you high five man happy friday yeah uh, all right detective bun we're zipping forward we can also hop a great distance so we're gonna go ahead and tuck on in staying passive in the meantime and let's hold yep. we got mac get on up just a little bit and how are our chances now 6.2 12 you know what i'm just gonna hold on that i don't want to waste the ammunition yet i mean that's pretty decent that's actually pretty decent i'll take a, i'll take a 29 we'll take a 10 29 we might get a little splash <laughs> if we didn't hit on the backside, but that's okay at least we didn't hit our allies right and i'm actually gonna treat them like our allies they're not meat shields yet not yet Sarissa. so this is the ag triple agra medium trinell large laser mech right here kind of whiffs in a little bit and on 15 that's gonna be the oh okay so it's just wrapping them and the trooper okay excellent so we got hb in the fancy bush bun if we walk it on up we have a very nice chance to hit that clint that's kind of crazy very 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 decent indeed well let's just walk it up then it. we'll take it if we can actually land a kinetic ground on him at 44 i mean that'll be fantastic okay so it went wide but that's okay i could have done high explosive could have been a little bit better but i will i will take all of that all of that tandem ammunition hitting that guy just starting the tick already is excellent and we got antoninis in the maxim we're gonna we're gonna cruise straight on in i mean like why stop why not fire immediately right so we'll send that lrm damage straight into the rear poor tiny clint he's he's completely surrounded in a very bad way and his initiative is not high at all so it's going to be kind of rough on him the trooper i'm not too sure what the trooper's doing maybe saving himself for like a flanking cavalry save the day type of but it's a trooper but we'll, we'll see how that goes we've got dash bun mobile he is yeah we do need to stay over to the right so full speed seven i skipped the last one how we are more advanced do we have new weapons maybe new mech we've got a new mech we've got new more importantly we've i've overhauled and reorganized all of the sensor and ecm equipment on all of the bunnies and then on top of that maybe just more education as well but overall i would say that we are more advanced now so i'm i'm hoping i'm hoping it's going to make a difference obviously our c3i isn't going to help us until we really really get in i mean it's helping us right now because we get plus accuracy and sensor range sight range all of that but once we get our detective bunny closer then it's going to be able to provide better range uh to stay in the optimal range for more of our weapons more often hopefully and then we're going to go active as well providing shields for our allies we're going to move together as best we can and we're also going to try and just jam the heck out of their own ecm if they have any considering i'm seeing a lot of trinell i'm seeing a lot of agricultural stuff so hopefully they're not super advanced and this will go smoothly anyway but soon soon we'll find out if this is all going to work or not right it's a great question so far i'm only aware of the single lance or level but you never know you never know with the wobbies we are not part of the c3i network with a bradford so we might as well just keep shelling away high explosive that's 18 6 12 8 10 we'll just hold right now uh we got a kin in the detective bun hopping on in here we go but before that I don't think we're quite at the point where our 240 meter 
like radius is going to help us too much so we're just going to hold off one more turn before going active and we got the fancy bush bun on the push going in direct and we got four we'll hold right here hold and now we're on 13. okay so that's going to be the pathfinder he's got that er medium he is kind of a spooter ish but he seems to be relatively competent ish okay never mind that's <laughs> i like our chances on what difficulty are we right now uh we are on one and a half green skulls one and a half green skulls but i have a feeling we can handle maybe a little more yeah Ooh, okay so i did not anticipate that we got to go around a little bit my bad i had jump jets on deaths but i wanted to cram him full of electronic suites in an ecm type electronic warfare equipment so i might have ripped those out but i do have jump jets on our other bunnies so like the anti he doesn't actually oh i forgot i tried to rip those out too okay never mind <laughs> i tried to rip that out see he used to have six jump jets now he has two uh that's because i couldn't remove them i can actually fit in even better stuff so I guess situations like this is not helping us out too much, but it could be worse. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, and now I'm just shooting at point nines. Okay, slow down, slow down. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. I believe. There we go. Our allies are dodging like crazy. They got the high ground. They've got the surround. They got a really nice concave, and we're coming on, on coming on up from the backside here. There's that Sarissa, actually connecting with all those Agras. That was a pretty nasty hit. Single-digit armor on our allied striker. That might go down pretty soon. But the nice thing is, because it's holding on to their attention, that means all these guys, they've all got their backs to the bunnies. And at least a detective bun can send out a tag barrage just to open things up a little bit, yeah? And if we can jam them, then hopefully it's going to make it more difficult for them to hit our allies as well, right? And I love the fact that we can actually see what's on them. Well, I guess it depends who we're controlling, but when it is our turn, we seem to at least consistently have information on the mechs telling us that we have visual on them and we're not suffering from that plus six to our accuracy penalty. So we'll go active here and then we'll zoom on in that seven. Here we go. And if they want to push on us, they'll get in that bubble and they're going to get hit pretty hard. We got the Phoenix 27. Let's go ahead and ping that guy. I think I'm going to hold on the tag barrage. We're just going to mark him up if we hit him, but that's okay. And we got Amul, Hang tight. Superior, hold. And the fancy bush. Well, let's get down the path a little bit. Or maybe we just walk it. What is our chance to hit if we just walk over to the side really long and very far away? We could... We don't have a shot on the Phoenix at all. So I'm going to zoom down and just stay indirect so that we can eventually emerge and assist there we go Let's move. and on the indirect that's 23 yeah we're, we're not quite in the range yet so we'll hold one weird thing about the prototype double heat sink is that it's a little bit unstable at times so we need to keep that in mind yeah on the push with the anti-battle armor bun we'll hold and then we got mac i mean i guess everyone's just gonna start crossing i mean why not let's go High explosive. Sure. Confirm. If we did start over here, where it wanted to put us, where we were kind of locked into just starting like literally right here, that would have been better for our situation. But this is obviously safer and that we can get there on our own time. Granted, we'd rather be there faster, but it works. It works. Now hold. We got a four to cross. Hopefully our allies will survive a little bit longer. 
If the Phoenix doesn't go full tilt away from us, it's going to get swallowed up. Oh, boy. Wow, they're doing a good job. That's just stuff we don't have to repair. Look at that striker. He's the one on death's door with eight armor, and he's just donked on that Clint twice in a row now. Trooper pulling closer to the detective bun. And that's the guy that we were trying to tag up. That's awesome. And then he does have the opportunity to move now. Ooh, really? Does he have light? Maybe he's got a light PPC? I don't remember. Well, let's see. We're trying to cross here. Double time. Let's go. Two, six. We'll hold. Say X to hold. And then it's just two more, our ally, and then one more, and then it should be on the tick, and we should be able to push in with the detective. Nice thing is it seems like the Pathfinder and the Phoenix are grouping by pulling back away from our allies. So I think on the next turn, we should be able to actually affect and jam their capabilities. Wow, they're really all grouped up. High explosives going to do wonders. Little ping there. Shadowhawk. He actually also has yeah, medium laser aggro. Ah, so standard PPC on the Phoenix. Okay, there's the tick. Excellent. So I'm going to hold. Hold with Superior. Hold with Amul. And on 15, I think it's to Mac, right? I want to wait until we've jammed, because that's actually going to help out those bunnies that are not part of our network. So I'm going to hold with Mac. And right now we can move with our Detective Bun on 14. Is that right? On 12. On 12. It's going to be akin to. So I would prefer to hold with every bunny until that point. He's actually also holding on to Amiel. So that's going to be really cool because Amiel can deploy and tag as well, right? And he's got his own battle armor angel ECM, which is kind of funny. He only has the light tag. That's it. Doesn't even have weapons otherwise. <laughs> And I forget if he actually has charges and stuff. All right, here we go. There we go. So now we're getting him right where we want him. They're now jammed and affected. So I'm actually going to set up that tag. And we've got tank barrage, 46, 52. Much better chances here. Let's go ahead and ping this Phoenix. Have fun with that. <laughs> Have fun with that. Uh, we got Amulet. Since it's in two, he can probably get on out as well. So we'll just dismount for a moment. We'll cruise over. Wow, look at that speed. That's insane. I don't want to be too close to the fire now that I'm thinking about it. We'll, we'll Maybe we'll get like right there in the middle. And then he's got that Battle Armor Light tag. 64. Sure, we'll tag up. Tag up the, uh, the Shadowhawk up there. There we go. This is excellent. And then we got Dertz, who unfortunately, again, I got rid of his jump jets. So I don't know if he's going to be able to get up there in time. <laughs> Poor guy. So we're, go we're going around. We're going around. Now I feel bad. It's like the moment I take them off, they could have been useful. And now we just got to keep closing indirect with the LRMs. That's okay. Oh, wow. Either they're jammed or they're out of ammunition on that hunter or something. Or they wrecked his tubes. I mean, that sucks. He's basically defenseless. But I guess at least they're shooting at him. So he is absorbing some of the damage with his armor. Poor guy. Yep. All right. Well, we got HB. It's too far away. But look at that. 18%. We can hit 16, 14. Let's tuck up we'll get in the water let's get closer and we can switch over to high explosive 23 i mean i'll take that shot oh my god wow okay that hit that sucks massive stability damage unsteady evasion lost everywhere multiple mechs felt that one 
and that is opening up a huge vulnerability in their setup right now and down he goes wow that wasn't lucky fantastic and there's that there's that breach and he's bleeding out already holy crap and now he's laying on the ground with a tag barrage attached to him <laughs> that's it's not a good day i mean good day for us all right we got mac and he's just gonna tuck in 18 I mean, I guess high explosive. We could try 14. That's a shadow hawk. Let's I really want to get in on the guy laying down. But at the same time, I know he's close to the bunnies. So what if we come in with? Yeah, we'll just try it. Here we go. Might be enough shot. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. OK, well, he's panicking. He's got a barrage, got a breach in the tummy and he's on the ground. That's just not a good time. All right, off we go. 39%. Wow. All right. We'll take that. Good hit there. Already looking a lot better. And let's hang tight. Not a bad day. Could be at last. Yep. Yep. Well, he's getting back up. Good for him. I'd probably punch out, though. It's a good point, Anakitas. Hey, Pans are good to see you on Twitch. Yeah. Looking very, very good. So it took us a while to get close enough and we still don't have all of our ECM and, and everything all stacked together. Uh, we got our detective bun. We'll just stay outside of this. I mean, jumping around doesn't help our accuracy at all. So we'll just sprint up. Maybe we can tag the little guy. Now it's 48, 52. All right. We'll just keep tagging him, I guess. Oh, that's the guy right next door. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then we've got Amiel, who hopefully... Oh, I totally forgot. If I want to mount up, I'm out of range. Can I mount up on the uh, our ally? <laughs> oh, that would be wild if you could. But all right, just stay outside the barrage. That's all we ask, right? 51. 51. We already tagged that guy. That guy is hit, so we'll tag the Clint. There we go. Now I made the platform change. Yes, you have. Thank you so much for starting out there on YouTube, yeah? And let's get a little closer. We're fishing. Six, 12. I mean, we just need to hit anywhere in the middle, right? If we can tag that Phoenix. That'll be awesome. A little bit wide. That's okay. There's a little surprise coming in anyway soon. I don't quite recall if it's at the end of the turn or the start of the next. It might be the start of the next turn. Anti-battle armor. We're finally able to come on in and assist more directly. Look at these chances to hit. That's insane for us. Wow. There we go. Actually in the white and the green for once. That's amazing. No impacts. We've got passive protection as well. Incredible. Big change. Big change. Now we can try and hit him. I guess high explosive. Ooh. Oh, boy. How's that and then where are we sitting now? So we got three more bunnies available. Death hasn't even been able to do too much. He's down here. I don't know if Death's going to be able to fight. He, he might be able to fight the trooper if the trooper comes back soon. And we got, there we go. Speaking of debts. Oh, he actually gets up there. Okay, that's cool. I will take that. We'll shoot from below. It's 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 a harder shot, but despite that large X-Pulse, 46 is pretty good for us. And we'll hold with Bun Ping Ping. I cannot wait till we get sensor lock and the like. There we go. There we go. That is very nice. That is basically a death sentence. I think we'll take it. Just want to see what else is available. But holy crap, that is a big difference. Or I guess not, but still, we hit. <laughs> He's durable, durable guy. 
it does seem like he is trying to get close to us so that the barrage is going to hit us it probably will hopefully it's not too devastating uh, is anti-battle armor bun a homemade tank or is it still original as it was because i heard you can currently change the tanks with rogue tech even if only once uh do you mean change the change the tanks like our vehicles is that right oh my god they just stack pulled okay well that's a that's lovely i thought we were far enough away but that's a no <laughs> at least we didn't take too significant damage Amiel's in trouble though we better pick him up so it's become a rescue operation all of a sudden because that guy went kaboom we were trying to keep our distance but he started charging at us it's almost like he knew almost like he knew our ally triggered that one troopers coming up back on in now that we're in a little bit of trouble but hopefully we'll be able to pick up Amiel get him out of there the barrage is on its way oh that's not good at all wow so that kind of worked against us a bit yeah but let's see what we can do we'll just kind of walk because we want to stay relatively cool right so actually what i'm going to do i'm going to go down to passive so that we have the best shielding possible for ourselves and then i don't want to sprint i'm just going to get right here and i want to park myself as close to amul as possible we'll just go in and tag this guy right in the back give him the guns there we go as soon as you move it it'll take fire damage well look at that he ab absolutely managed Look at that. Just drop right out. And that's something. And then Amiel's going to mount as best he can. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, it took zero damage. That's awesome. That's awesome. We kind of created a little space there. So tell me the truth. Does the fire make my mech look fat? Well, in this kind of lighting, absolutely not. You're probably the slimmest mech that I've seen in a very long time left. All right. This guy is probably in trouble. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Ah, we ding the head there. Beautiful. Wow, that guy's just braving the storm to take advantage of that. Good for him. More primitive. Uh-oh. Primitive engine crits. Maybe we should we should get out as soon as possible. <laughs> we were doing pretty well, though. I have to say, I kind of feel like, you know, it's not like night and day, but... It kind of is night and day, and it's kind of not night and day. Although right here, it feels a lot like day right now. No, no. It looks thinner. Yeah, we're all a little thinner. Yeah. There has been a little bit of a loss of maybe some armor. Roger. All right, who can we hit here? Uh, we got our Thunderbolt back online going to standard. We could. That's 29. I mean, he is shut down, and we don't have an explosive radius, so that's kind of excellent. So we'll go ahead. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the butt. Yeah, that did not hit, but that's okay. It was worth a try. You always got to take the green, even indirect. All right, let's 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 try and rush up there if we can help out. And I will just keep trying to ping out right there. High explosive should do. There we go. All right. Actually, I just realized I did that to the primitive engine. I'm glad it didn't also stack pull you. Did you notice I posted a video? I did. I did. I did not watch it, though. I, I mean, I didn't watch it yet, though. Not that I'm not going to watch it. Was there anything that you were um, wanting to share specifically from the video? Then maybe I can, like, keep an eye out for it. All right, we got Devs. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Devs had a firing solution for a moment. We'll just come up, walk it in. We've got a long-range shot. 71% very very nice we do have the advanced zoom now Commander. all right maxim we're gonna go in and try and harass the trooper and shot Roger. very sweet this feels a lot better I mean, it's not like we're running around with green chances to hit everybody, but this feels so much better. Obviously, I'd really like to see how this pans out with the battle armor, especially when we coordinate against them and have overlapping arcs and stuff. I found the video in it. Oh, that's awesome. No, thank you so much. Sometimes I just wonder, you know, if there's... I know I've had 
people share things with me before oh no that was the amul we we basically had no armor left so anything they sent to us is, is devastating and that was a little bit of heat through that flamer yeah big red actually makes pretty good video yeah yeah there's a lot of really talented a lot of really really talented people out there definitely it definitely makes you want to step up and and raise the bar they've got really cool cool insights oh boy yeah that's fine so right now we're dealing with just the trooper the shadow hawk and then i think what's left of that clint we should be able to manage we've got the akin to that's our detective so we'll go active again and we're just going to reposition and make sure that everyone's in the arc yeah that's good enough there we go stay low and we'll just send whatever we got doesn't matter if we hit or not and we tag him even better poor pa oh i forgot about the pathfinder so there's probably four in front of us yep and we'll hang tight with amiel for dear life got a bradford take a look at that I actually have a line on him now 26 70 percent chance wow that's a <laughs> We excommed ourselves there, but I like seeing the white. That is a big, big welcome change. Hang tight, bun ping ping. Yep. And a fancy bush bun. Finally getting direct lines as well. Understood. Hey there, Rhubarb. Good to see you. Welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently testing out some of our new setups here. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, let's give them everything we got. And shot. Confirmed. Oh, okay, that is significant. Look at that coming from our bushwhacker across the field, slamming into the Shadowhawk, ripping him open. That's excellent. Hopefully, Ders is going to be able to follow that up. We'll kind of come over from the opposite right here. We'll actually go active on the Guardian ECM to further impede their any sensors once we get in there. And we're going to go in and try and follow that up with some acid and pulses. Excellent. All right. This feels so much better. Yeah. High five. I feel like eating our humble pie has paid off. <laughs> what are your orders, Skipper? Or it's already paying off, not paid off. All right. Radiation field. We are going to. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Radiation field. I mean, that's cool. A lot of plus difficulty. If we hop, maybe we just walk it back. There we go. If we're in the forest, we don't have all the... We're not in the optimal you. range or anything, but that's fine. Let's get our eye rockets. Go to the Pathfinder. Stack them up. Yeah, that's like the worst when there's fires everywhere and your cooling is worse off. Yeah. Hey, Ferranthes. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. You're joining us right now. We're testing out some new stuff and it seems to be working. Hopefully you're having a lovely, lovely Friday. Yeah. And we get our Maxim. I will just follow it up. We were trying to chase down some of the other guys, but I mean, at this point, we'll just take any hits on targets of opportunity like uh, this. That poor Clint. Yes, we did. And I love the fact it comes with tag. That is so handy. What a beautiful V. I can't wait until we get Vs that have C3 as well. My God, I'm curious if the Manteufel is out there with C3 on it. If there is, I might just save up some of our cash, yeah? I would love, I would love to add to the network. It's always a good time. And as I understand it, the C3 variants with the C3 slave are actually compatible with, uh, like from the V side specifically, is compatible with our C3i as well. So I'm, I'm hoping, I was kind of hoping the Wabis had more C3i. Something tells me they don't here, but that's okay. If anything, we'll get stuff for money. We'll sell it off and we're going to head to a brand new system. We've been here a few streams now. Yeah, I would be happy if I could find a C3 master. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Panzer. I don't know what happened last career, but we got I feel like we got more C3 masters than we did C3 slaves, but I'm so used to like never seeing them. So that's kind of why like we actually have C3 slaves even here, but I can't find the C. I haven't found the C3 master, so we're working with what we got at the moment. We got our detective bun. We got the fancy bush bun, so let's walk it in. 51, we've got 0.9. I think a little bit obstructed here, but 
that's okay. We'll just kind of tuck up. All right, full speed. And hope we can connect here. Shot? Okay, I'm on it. Clint Take is very, very durable. On my way. But not that durable. There we go. Great. Oh, that's... Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> So I may have forgotten that primitive engine. Oh my God. All right. Well, hopefully Amul. Yeah, Amul is, Amul says dead, but he, he's probably just severely injured. Well, that's, that's cool. That was kind of my fault, bunnies. That was kind of my fault. <laughs> uh, which usually makes sense if you're looking for, yeah, C3I is kind of the game right now. So, whoops, that was not great. That could have been better. Spill in aisle five, severely dead. Well, hopefully he's only like partially severely dead is my hope. And that maybe some of the bunny God's mercy will spill over into aisle five as well. Oh, wow. That guy just decided to commit. <laughs> did he, did the enemy just run into the, okay. That's cool. He was like, stack pole, give me a piece. I want some of that, you know? All right, we can at least maybe maybe kick this guy maybe he's mostly dead and not all dead that's right that's right that's what we're hoping for mostly dead but not all dead that's right kid i like i like it one more and you'll get a stack trick yay that should be the new achievement primitive engine or not the problem in rogue tech is that people yes people can go stack pull but i have heard that with primitive engines it's more likely to happen that's what i've read but yeah, I'm obviously I'm no expert with it. All right, we're just gonna walk up with an anti battle arm bun. That guy is well shut down, so we might as well try to finish this guy. Oh yep. The, oh come on. So we are a lot more accurate now, but uh, I haven't learned my lesson. Stack trick. There we go. Stack trick. Uh, quick hand him a marshmallow would be a shame to waste the opportunity. Well, if we can kill this guy fast enough, maybe just... Yeah, this might be a little more expensive than I thought, but that's okay. Uh, we're just working through the kinks of the whole system, you know? There we go. So hopefully that guy's not going to stack pole. It was only three. That's okay. Dear God. A milk run, just as we expected. No problems here at all. Good work, buddies. <laughs> wow, thanks, Darius. All right, well... He's having a blast. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Well, actually, let's find out. Cross your fingers for the bunnies. Because I don't even know who took what there. But it's going to be a lot of repairs, I would imagine. It was actually relatively clean, except for the giant stack pole. So there's there's now new things that we got to watch out for, you know. At this moment, is life this was Solstrom, he would start maniacal laughter. Oh, God. All right. We got 271,000 to go to repairs. So far, oh, 15 days, amazeballs. Wow, and we lost our only battle armor light tag. Okay, well now we have no weapons on this. But he got a lot of experience, bunnies. Boy, Amiel got a lot of experience for getting triple stack pulled. What a guy, amazing. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? Whew, no, no. Something didn't, primitive engine or not the problem in rogue. Uh, okay, something didn't copy. HB does sing out loud. I want to watch the world burn. Okay, so what do we got here? Clint. Uh, let's... I'm just going to disassemble. Just disassemble them all. What do we got here? We actually have stacks. So, Trinell laser, primitive armor, fire control system, primitive. A lot of primitive. Beagle probe. I mean, that's probably one of the more valuable things here. Engine core to sell. And then we'll just take stacks of parts to sell. Yeah, so we got Shadowhawk. Shadowhawk stuff. Although, I guess the Sarissa. Actually, the Sarissa, we can get a full one to sell at least as a chassis and we'll just go like this here we go three two and one so we can't sell from here but ac5 large we'll sell these sell the primitive armor how many ppcs do we have we've got one i, I guess we'll hold on to that engine core we don't have any 245s but i will sell it 122,000 regular heat sinks to sell, jump jets to sell, primitive single heat sink cooling. And then, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll sell all that. So 
We kind of made out on money, sort of, not by a lot, but it should be enough to get us to where we're going, I think, yeah? That's not too bad. Whoops, didn't mean to double tap that. Apologize. Yep. Well, there we go. Oh my God, what am I doing? Take a moment. Let it go. There we go. <laughs> Quick, hand me the marshmallows before they wheel you to the med bay. S'mores, anyone? Yes, yes. Here's the thing. I don't mind watching the world burn when the bunnies aren't in it. But in this case, I mean, I guess we will make an exception. I just, we've got a lot of close range bunnies. So that makes me think some things through. Maybe we stay like mid range. Maybe mid range is like the ideal, yeah? 10 days, not too bad. One positive thing with stack polling, irradiated triple F burgers will not spoil as quickly. Ooh, always looking at the bright side. I dig it. Well, let's just make, we'll just cycle through. Just make sure that everything's repaired. Even the ones that don't say armor isn't, you know, required and stuff. We'll just go ahead and validate that. That's done. Fancy bush bun is well. Our Dash Bun Bonbill might have taken a bit of a pop here. That's not too bad. Okay, excellent, excellent. And we've got our Detective Bun. We have to be a little more careful with the advanced capabilities of the Detective Bun. Let's be real. <laughs> At least we know it's capable of, you know, taking out some stuff with those machine guns. It's pretty effective with that. The clan machine guns are awesome. So we'll go in and validate here. And then we've got our anti-battle armor bun. Get that up. And how are we doing armor-wise? So we'll go one point up, one tick down. And that's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was that was a little dangerous. Okay. <laughs> and fortunately, I don't think we've got to repair any of this. That's great. But the battle armor, oof. So that was our only battle armor light -like tag. So we're probably not going to be using this one again today. We have no weapons. Let's see. I guess we could go with, oops, we've got two laser cutters, plasma rifle, 0.3. We max this out, we got 0 0.004. Well, we can stick in a laser cutter. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> it's too heavy. That's fine. That's fine. Let you know what? Let's, the, a laser cutter will do. We just want to get you back online. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's acceptable volumes of defensive capability, but uh, I mean, you know, we like to travel lightly around here in the Bunny League. That's okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, I am I bet the bunnies are feeling a lot safer. Whoever's in this, maybe we should max the armor on the one that actually has a functional offensive thing on it. But in the meantime, this is all ablative. Yeah, it's all ablative. There we go. Hey, Night Owl, welcome, welcome, welcome. We might be recovering from, let's say, three stack pulls in one turn, but that's okay. Hopefully, you're doing well. Having a lovely Friday, yeah? All right, let's go ahead and sell off the rest. So, the Pathfinder can go. That's done. Well, the Trooper can go. There we go. And we're just going to try and recover some funds. We got the Piranha. We got the Mist Lynx, Hawk Moth. As much as I want the Hawk Moth, I'm going to clear it out because all of it we're just going to be carrying with us. As much as I think we'll get more 100 parts, I'm going to clear that out as well. Fire started to hold. We got the Clint. We'll clear that. We've got the Phoenix. We'll clear that. We've got the Mar Sarissa. We'll clear. Ooh, we can build the full one, can't we? Let's go and ready that up and then dump it out. One of the first primitive battle mechs produced by the Free Worlds League, the Sarissa is one of many centuries old Age of War designs reborn during the desperation of the Jihad. A contemporary of the Icarus and Maki, the original Sarissa, designed sometime shortly after 20, 2470, was intended as a stopgap that could be readily manufactured in civilian industrial Mac facilities to bolster the League's member state militias in the face of Lyran Commonwealth and Capellan Confederation newborn battle mech forces. This philosophy would also make the Sarissa very appealing in 3080, as the Principality of Regulus suffered increasing losses during the War to Blink Jihad favoring even a primitive battle mech over even more simple to build combat vehicles for propaganda purposes. All right, we got a propaganda machine. I guess that's a plus, right? I mean, that's there's always something to it. We can at least take a look at it. Oh, it looks a lot like a chameleon, I, I gotta say. What's the deal with this guy? I mean, he's, he's not in very good shape. That's for sure. My God. Yeah, let's get rid of this. But uh, that's cool. Let's... Uh... <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I thought what that was so they would not breed. Well, I mean, in this case, it was not by choice. It was not on purpose. Let's just put it that way, yeah? 
Uh, we'll take a look at the store just in case I accidentally left any sort of primitive stuff in there. I don't want to carry that around and pay for it. That would just be a sad, sad day for all. So we'll just do a quick scan. Look at that. Magna. Yep, we're good. I thought I might have seen Agra, but I saw Magna. Medium pulse. We actually have enough to sell of things. I mean, like, even these machine guns, I, I think I'll just sell them off, right? The MMLs, I mean, nice to have, but I'll, I'll sell them off. Because when am I going to use it? I don't know. PPCs will keep two. Uh, SRMs, we can at least downsize a little bit. Just keep ourselves in the red. And we got Tag Thunderbolt. Armor Cal. We should really be using that Beagle Probe. As, as you can see, it gets a little bit dicey here. And we've got... As much as I like this, I actually don't need it. So I'm going to clear them. They give plus one gunnery, but a lot of things actually seem to do that. And we'll clear out the standard in this deal. Why be, if you got something better, why be picky about it? We'll go clear one of these. So 210 is close to 200, 235 is close to 225, 275, 280. I mean, I'll clear the 280. And we've got one engine light. That's fine improved ranger for brackets and straight night vision i don't think we need it if we've got improved so we'll clear this entirely we'll bring this ferrofibrous down to one gardenesium that's fine gyro excel heat sinks will i know i've needed a lot of these but i don't need this many of them so we'll go 16 the double heat sink kits we can probably drop down to two IFF Jammer, we've got Standard, MASC, which we have one. That's great, but I sold those off. And boy, do they sell for a lot, yeah? And then we've got Ammunition. If we have anything just completely, completely ridiculous, then we'll we'll sell off some of the stack, but I think that should be okay. Already we're looking a lot better, right? Yeah, we're at 3.4 million. Holy crap, that helps, yeah? Does it come uh, with speakers? Well, that would be fantastic if they did. All right, bunnies. So we can kind of take a quick look at the engineering bay. Uh, right now, this is increases allowed drop size by one slot. That sounds fantastic. I think I will do it. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. We're at 2.8. We'll go to the navigation screen. Let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere else while we're repairing. Yeah. So I'm kind of hoping we'll be able to get into like two skull. I don't know if there's anything here. I'm very hesitant to click on this so we're just kind of <laughs> kind of try to stick around to the closest that's sitting in like that two three green yeah two and a half i mean that works uh ritter kirk right settled by colonists during the formation of the star league we've got five skull one and a half that's a little i want to go higher than that i think we can do it i i believe that we can we've got four skull green three skull i mean this is against Ooh, ice hellion Sure. <laughs> Are we going to die? You know what? We got to try, bunnies. We got to try. Clan Ghost Bear, Clan Ice Hellion. I mean, we've got to try at some point. Right? We're going to be... I don't know if we'll be good at it, but... We'll, gosh darn it, we're going to try. But we probably should actually invest in Datapod because we're going to need more, you know, facilities and things. Although repairs as well, right? For armor, 332 and tanks and storage 284 v slots this is 664 for another slot i don't think we have enough pilots so drive systems there we go actually that'll be great yeah drive systems would be fantastic yeah so we are pushing much faster than i thought we would but let's see if this is gonna pay off i don't know 12 days till we get there there might even be something in the store so we'll go 912. We're still in the black ish. Yeah. Ain't that a thing? Uh, hiring hall. This is in transit in Lovenuk. And if we go to the store in transit again, Salamander. A lot of clan stuff. Holy crap. Grass is greener on the other side. My God. Wow okay this is this is cool i this is what i like we need to have we need to immerse ourselves in a place where we can grow right so if all we've got are agricultural things sure it might be easier sure we're gonna take less damage but guess what i mean 
we're not going to advance, right? So we need to push outside the comfort zone, get ourselves into a place where hopefully we have room to grow. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? They have currently controlled by Russell Hogg. Excellent. We'll stop by the hiring hall and we'll take a look at the store. So hiring hall, we've got Lafay Live Fire. We've got Radio Wave, who is able to get in a bookish. And yeah, bookish is pretty good. Cannot fit any more mech warriors in your barracks. Ah, that's the problem right there. Oh, well. So we'll go over to the store, yeah? I find the cannonball AC-20 on the Blackbeard. Oh, yeah, the, the blunderbuss. Is that right, yeah? You're going to start a BTA campaign. Pirates. Oh, yeah, no, that would be great. The one with the raven on the shoulder. I think it's awesome. Uh, maybe time to recruit a couple more. Yeah, so we need to expand our barracks, it seems. We're completely maxed out there. Bad armor, SRM-6, rockets, tandem rockets. SLDF laser rifle. Four tons. That's actually something that we can actually hold. I'm going to grab that. The Blue Jay, I believe, is actually... Yeah, this unit can participate in standard C3 Master Slave and C3I networks, but do not receive any bon bonuses. So I'm going to grab these as well. No, not 10. Just like a couple. Is there anything else that's going to help us? Not at the moment. We'll stop by Rosselhog's store. Probably should have done that first. Dragon, Karnov. I mean, that's very cool. That's very cool. Mind Dispenser for Battle Armor. Ah, that could be a thing for our little guys that don't have any other purpose. Nano Fluid Damper. Gyro XL. I mean, that's super great. And just any gyro in general. We don't really have anything, but that's kind of outside of our range right now. Let's go over to the mech bay. We just picked up some Blue Jays. That should hopefully help us out. I'm going to go to the detective bun. We've got the UAV compartment right here, which I believe deploys a UAV under your control. Maybe either the default one or one you own aboard the Argo. Curious if what I bought are charges of it. I'm actually have never used the UAV before. I bought two of them. So I'm guessing that means we can just deploy it twice. We'll have to see. Blue Jade, not equipment. This item is not equipable. It's used straight from the Argo storage. The beacon provides an alternate unit for systems that deploy units in combat consumed upon use. Oh, it's a per use thing. So like, okay, that's cool. So having a compartment allows us to deploy it, but we're drawing from our hold. So maybe we'll wait until we've deployed it and see if it works for us. And then we'll go from there because obviously they will allow us to buy eight more if we want to. Let's stop by the barracks and then we'll go to the command center and we'll see what we got. I don't want to necessarily get into the flare-up right away because I don't know if we can handle this zone because I don't know if we're ready for this jelly. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not a permanent contract. It's consumed by use, but I've heard very good things about drones and how helpful they can be. So they can AOE ping. They contribute to our network. That's huge. And obviously, you should, they get shot down. We don't even really care. So very, very, very nice to have. All right, let's go cross your fingers we're jumping straight up into the big stuff so two oh nice nice they've got a duo duel against clan ice hellion we also have free Russell hog republic two and a half skull against clan ghost bear oh that's cool just clan ghost bear no problem uh we've got three skull capture base we've got three skull battle against clan ice hellion dual axe samurai single heavy air asset we've got shining milk <laughs> and lucky saladin battle in the highlands against the planetary government so obviously a little more dangerous here maybe we'll do the two and a half green as a start yeah that might be a good dip our toes in the water by fighting head to head with clan ice bear I, I, clan ghost bear i'm sure that's going to be fine yeah i've seen it in action it's very helpful it's helpful you can control it unlike mbt where you have to fly it around Oh, you can control it? Oh, like its abilities and everything? So, yes, look at that. So we can deploy our battle armor, vehicles, all that over there. And these are now... We do have... These are mech slots now. Wow. Okay, that changes a lot. So let's, let's clear... Actually, we'll clear the whole thing and see where we stack. Because I think our tonnage is kind of fitting into the zone, right? So right now we have one green of tonnage. Yeah, I think I think 
we technically are sitting in the right place. So anti-battle armor bun, that's two and a half green already. So granted it is clan ghost bear. It's not like they're a walk in the park or anything, but we can also bring our shooty bun now. We can also bring the flamer or we have improved the toasty bun as well. But I think having the flames for the clanners, I mean, that's just always fun. We'll get the Bradford and then we can we can either get the Vespa, but that seems a little dangerous. I think I'm going to stay away from something like that. We'll go Maxim and this is how we're going to play it. We were going to get our uh, bun ping ping into the IFB and I think we go from here. This is very exciting. We'll get in the bun ping ping. We'll get Mac out there. There we go. We'll hold on which bunnies left because we've got a lot more to deploy now, right? So with the flamers, don't really care about the shooting. This has recoil. So someone who has this focus fire is going to be helpful. Do we want to go sooner? Do we want to go later? Do we want to be able to weather stability damage? I think Antonine is going to be fantastic for this. For detective bun, we want to be immune to sensor lock. We'll get a kin two out there. For anti-battle armor bun, I guess the stability damage would be great. We'll have deaths here. We'll have maybe HB in the anti-battle armor bun. That's no, that's just sooner. The bun fire will go sooner and then the anti-battle armor will bump it forward in the initiative order. And then we got for, I guess it will be great to have Amiel on the fancy bush bun because he does have LRMs. And then we got the bun fire that has to be chappy because tank hair is the only one who can actually drive that Maxim. But then tank will say that I'm trying to kill him. Oh, well, well, it's our first time against Clan Ghost Bear. I want the best in the Maxim, right? All right, here we go. Two and a half skull green. Battle in the Highlands against Clan, Go Clan Ghost Bear. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Five minutes on the clock, and we'll see which it It's going to be the biggest jump in difficulty we've had so far, but I think we're up to the task, yeah? I'd really like it in Battletech Advance. The drone doesn't necessarily kill itself by not moving. Oh, it doesn't even move? Holy crap. Or just shooting after Haywire all the time. And let alone that she's able to use the aoe pink when there are several enemies around aoe oh ping okay <laughs> i gotcha the aoe ping that makes sense that makes sense well hopefully we'll sounds like we can control it so that'll be great yeah by the way watching you made restart a campaign on bex watching you made not career oh as in um watching me play while i'm doing that you're starting a new campaign in, in bx that right that's super cool that's super cool. So when you say campaign, not career, that's like the story, right? Like with Kamea Arano. I, I love the campaign. They did such a good job, yeah? So I'm glad to see that the bunnies are offsetting things a little bit. We got Ferenanthus making sure the pool is well-rounded. That's excellent. And we're going up against Clan Ghost Bear this time. Two and a half skull green. At least we're in the lowlands. We should be able to move pretty freely. That means the Maxim shouldn't be hung up a little, like, too much. We've got two charges of the Blue Jay UAV, so hopefully we'll be able to scan and scout a little more, I'll say, healthily by not dying, yeah? Uh, by the way, watching you made me restart a camp. Oh, yeah? Well, is that because you just had a hankering to play some more? <laughs> I get like that all the time. You know what's funny is I will actually I'll watch my own videos back so that I can see... A bunch of other things but i do get a moment where i'm like oh my god what's gonna happen or <laughs> even though i was there obviously or i'll be looking at it and i think oh man now i really want to play that looks like a lot of fun <laughs> so i'm glad i'm glad it's not just you it's even me after finishing it lets you do whatever so it becomes a career oh yes absolutely and you've got some awesome stuff afterwards and it has natural peaks and valleys right like even just like moving on to specific missions or the end etc yeah. i'm really itching to restart at the moment but i want to get something from the april event oh yeah well the nice thing is it sounds like if you are restarting and having like a new career the april event will technically always be there as long as you have your save that gets you access to it right so it's just a matter of getting it started and then have that save put it aside maybe label it in all caps or something maybe like back up the save too who knows but then you'll have access to it. And even if that fails, I have seen people ask about it in the BTA Discord. And they actually have like a modding, I think it's like modding technical or something like that. And they talk there about how you can like make little tweaks to flags and stuff so you can still make it spawn. Yeah. 
so you're not completely out should something happen. Uh, you have everything you gain from the career, including the Highland. Yes, 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 yes. Not just any Atlas either. Maybe the one that might match something that Panzer Bun might have linked in Discord. All right, what do we got, Samir? I'll be on station keeping an eye on things. Bunnies. Unknown Lance, this is Jade Falcon Command. We are in pursuit of dangerous criminals. Leave the area or you will be fired. Wait, what? I thought, wait a minute. Is Jade Falcon hunting Clan Ghost Bear? And oh, does that mean they'll fight each other? That might mean they'll fight each other. That's <laughs> We're in the right place at the right time. Darius, did we just get sold out? Um, uh, no. Let's assume good faith on the part of our employers, Meyer. <clears throat> Attention, Jade Falcon Lance. We are an MRB bonded mercenary company that you met for dinner last. I mean, we are under contract and cannot withdraw. Oh my, no answer. Bunnies, they don't seem to be bluffing. Looks like we'll be fighting two battles at once. Whoopsies. Oh my god. Why? Why, Darius? I just don't understand. My main concern is mercy and getting death. Oh yeah. Well, if you are able to get... I mean, either way, you'll, you'll be able to get it as long as you can keep playing because they're in the faction store, so... If you side yourself with the RWR, then it should be no problem. All right, you know what? If we're going to start somewhere, I want to start high. And I think the right way down, we can come out this way on the side. So maybe we'll start like right here. Then we have something that we can play around with. Oh my God, I forgot. Once you get over a certain point, you can drop the other Lance as well. That's crazy. Uh, I guess we'll do that there. There we go. You might have a problem. Yeah, I hope that people come up with the idea of incorporating the items in it. The They're so cool. They're so cool. I actually released a video this morning with the Yazatas, and I incorporated them into the into the Yazata builds. Yeah, can they destroy each other? That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the case. Yeah. So right now, if we're looking, we see that they've got a Maxim 2C APC. We have the Maxim APC. They have the next best thing. And I would imagine that there are no non-salvageable things here. We've got a crossbow, which looks a lot like a beefy crusader holy crap ghost bear always has such cool looking paint schemes heavy wield apc the medusa okay so now we're talking we're already seeing much better stuff uh amuel has the fancy bush bun a big change from where he was at and i guess yeah. see we got hb in the anti-battle armor bun we're staying stealth staying passive ams online and we're gonna cross out I guess head over to the far right here. Yeah. 2C doesn't always mean it's better. Well, it's, it's probably better than what we got, but you're right. You're right. Can I ask quickly why the flights are taking more time to travel than before? Uh, yeah, absolutely, Andre. And welcome, by the way. When you say the flights or the... Oh, like where it takes us... It takes our career a longer time to go from one planet to the next. Is, is that what you mean? I just want to confirm, bef make sure I'm answering the right thing, yep. Yeah. Between the systems. Ah, okay. Well, this is a relatively, we're in a pretty basic start at the moment for Rogue Tech. So we haven't really upgraded the engines yet. So at the moment, I think I'm in the process right now of getting the very first engine upgrade, which should increase or decrease our travel time by 20%. And there's like two or three more upgrades after that. I, I've done like none of them. <laughs> so that's why it's taking a while to go between systems at the moment. But that should hopefully uh, slowly decrease as we get better and better uh, upgrades for the Argo. I, I think that might answer your question. Yeah, just let me know if it doesn't. So we go to bolt on AMS. This is our shooty bun. Definitely want to keep farther back. It's not part of our C3 network here. We'll hold. Engines have a huge. Oh, yeah, they do. Panzer bun's absolutely right. They, they, they have a huge effect, like large, large. Yes, huge. All right, we're tracking on down with a bun fire. Uh, there's a trick to get around the whole thing, but the thing is, firstly, the trick is not easy to use. And secondly, you have to think about it. Oh, for travel time? Is that what you mean? You're talking about like the, the contracts, like travel contracts or no? Although it doesn't really speed up the process. Oh boy, so we can actually see a Royal Nightshade. So we couldn't see that before. There's some stuff that we now have access to because I'm assuming because we're actually getting into sensor or sight range. And on top of that, we're actually getting some reads with our more appropriately balanced capability. Oh my God. Yeah, this is no, this is better than our APC. <laughs> that's 
That's better than our APC. Okay, well, let's get the detective bun forward. We are going to stick with... See, I'm going to provide a shield. Passive is for me. Active ECM protects the carrier with ECM shield of two. Reduce jamming by two on the carrier. And then, of course, we've got our circle. I guess when we start, we will keep it active first. It's just so that we've got it. You know, we've got coverage and we can buff all the rest of the bunnies protection and then as we we'll go dark once we start the approach hey. we've got our fancy bush bun we'll tuck up and we will hold hang tight obviously the royal nightshade oh what the heck was that did they just did they de oh my god they deployed something wow this is so cool what is it is it a turret or Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. Ready for orders. I just noticed recently when I'm playing Battletech Advance first when I started, it was like always, but then the flight started to take more time. Oh, in BTA. I... That's a good question. When you say it's okay. taken more time, is it... I guess there's a lot of variables in there, so I probably have to ask you more questions. Whether it ha you think it might be... You're seeing a lot of animations and a lot of jumps, or it's performance wise maybe you th it seems slower or that it's in game days is actually taking slower i'm just curious where more in game days more in game days for the similar that's my assumption you started a new career is that right or are you just picking up where you left off all right we're going to dash on down with a mobile Let's yep move. If it does not mean in-game time, then it's just loading time. It sounds like it's in-game time uh, from what Andre's saying, yeah? Let's see. And the thing is, you do fly past the planet where you stop at the planet with a jump chip, and you click on the function to fly. If you want to go to the market, then you can actually always make the flight in two days. Some mod developers have tried to make it stop working, but somehow it doesn't quite work. Wow, that sounds... Skipper. That sounds cool. I don't... I won't admit that I understand from the description how it works right, but i believe you i believe you i know that you can kind of like mid flight kind of like we did we checked the next area's store and their command center and if you want to you can interrupt your flight and land at the next jump and then you're you're able to actually take advantage there but i, I don't know if it speeds anything up though animations itself are only to cover loading times there's a lot of jumps i wish i could get rid of them Commander. All right, bun ping ping. Let's hang tight here. So maybe we can see a little better now. So we've got a clan scorpion up here, triple ballistic hardpoint badger. We've got the royal nightshade. I don't see Jade Falcon yet. We got crossbow. We've got a Medusa. We have a heavy wield APC. We've got the o a narc Odin. Oh boy. Okay, that looks a lot like an FF7 rebirth. Oh no, actually no. It looks like one of the motorbikes from XCOM 2 L1. See. And then we've got the Maxim 2C APC. And this is Order? the read from the detective bun, but the detective bun hasn't gone active yet. So, oh no, it's still active, still active. So let's see, we'll sprint on down. I want to not actually, you know, be in line of sight of a lot of these things. <laughs> I really don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dart over to the left, even though I'm not providing the appropriate coverage. I'm going to shrink down a passive. And then I'm going to hold. So it's going to give the detective bun the best protection from ECM trickery. Waiting for orders. Uh, we'll get the Bradford. Seems like a lot of them haven't moved yet. So we have a decent chance to connect. Location confirmed. So we got high explosive 29. Maxim at 16. I saw white out there. We got that badger. Crossbow 57. If we switch over to standard 51, that's pretty decent. We'll go in and take that chance. Locked on. And we hit the mountain. That's okay. Uh, I asked them once, because all the jumps and stuff, it's just loading time. They cannot be reduced, and the animations oh, yeah. are only there, so you not, have not just a long black screen. Oh, that makes sense. So it's a nice it's a nice thing. I I do I would kind of be okay with um like a load bar. <laughs> but that that is that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, it started to happen when I moved closer to Terra. Ooh. Well, there are some things to note, just that... Oh, what the heck? Was that the Medusa? I think that was the Medusa. I'm still curious what drop right here, though. That has me a little bit... Wow, they've got Medusa on the pauldron. That is so cool. 
God, I love the model work that our community does. It's freaking crazy. Oh my God, look at that. It's like a reverse dropship. Anyway, there are often really convoluted. Uh, can I jump down here? Oh, I can't. I think I have to go wide with depths. That's unfortunate. It's going to take him a little bit. I could get on this side. I could get the shot. That's 22. Let's uh, try it. All right, we're going we're gonna to try to go wide here and come down this way unfortunately or maybe we just play point defense and kind of charge out this way maybe that's smarter we'll stick with the rest of the bunnies and i will actually go active here and that's going to provide additional protection and we'll hold yeah um one thing that i do notice is that there are sometimes that you'll find that some jump patterns are not super efficient or as you would think like in order to get to one system you have to go way off to the side and then come on back so they're not super straightforward so i'm curious if you might be running into that especially with terra uh, there's a function where you just stop at the planet with a jump ship you can pause the journey to your destination to fly to buy things and you can abuse the function wow i mean i'll, I'll have to like like you said i'll have to practice that one to well, fully on understand it but i mean it sounds sounds powerful all right, got our fancy bush bun. I'd like to remove the VTOLs if possible. I mean, it's not too bad, the chance here. We've got... Let's, I guess, charge over to the right. We'll see what our chance is elsewhere. So 18. And then we'll just snap off shot, maybe high explosive into this guy. Thunderbolt, Royal Nightshade, Little Heart, high explosive. We'll go down to standard rounds, tandem, and just hope we hit the right thing they had wing mounted quad missiles large pulse laser thunderbolt what the heck as in they're shooting a thunderbolt all right a little bit of a ding there excellent tandem missiles are hitting that vtol yeah no worries i don't know if we've helped but hopefully <laughs> hopefully we have yeah thank you for asking i'm very sorry to interrupt would you be able yes absolutely i will be right back sorry about that bunnies I got it. I got it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, bunnies, for letting me know, calling my attention to it. Yeah. Planets around Terra tend to have longer arrival times. Jump points a bit older. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Let's see. What do we got? So, Shooty Bun. So, Shooty Bun might have a good chance. Look at that. 30%. If we get a little bit closer, 39%. If we get even closer, 39.5 and two of them so mind you we're not part of that network and we still have that chance to hit the shooty actually has plus accuracy uh mods everywhere so hopefully some of this is going to connect oh uh, well we missed but that's okay it's okay Attack failed. oh awesome andrea i just want to say thanks so much for asking i mean that i know it's it, if it were me i might be i i know i would be shy but more props to you high five andre good for you for seeking out the answer yeah and thank you bunnies for helping bunnies are always helpful yeah i kind of take that for granted i really shouldn't so thank you again all right got our maxim i guess we'll just cruise over to the right side we're not going to be fast at all for the first like four or five turns or something so hopefully we'll be able to manage kind of looking at anything 4.9 yeah We'll just have to hold for now. Have to hold until we can get some direct line. Otherwise, we'll start backing off the edge there, yeah? That thing totally... Yeah, we, we need to get out of here. That's bad. So that is totally looking like it's from 40k, that badger. It looks like a rhino. <laughs> looks like a rhino APC. Well, kind of the shape wolf's dragoon shape look at that wolf dragoon on it kind of looks like it's a land raider crusader as well oh boy yeah we got to get out of here we're not the fastest poor tank here and we don't have much protection oh there we go there we go so maybe we don't go to the right we'll let them do things hey boss 
We got an unmarked dropship coming in fast and low. You want to bet that's the other team? That's the Jade Falcon group. So maybe we do double back and we come down this side. <laughs> yes, Everyone change direction. Change direction. Maybe we'll... I don't know. We should really stick together, though. So we got Chappie. Chappie currently has eight. I'm going to reserve. We'll hold. Confirmed. This should be pretty exciting to see what they bring. Mind you, this is two and a half Skull Green against Clan Ghost Bear and Jade Falcon decided to join the party, which is a little scary. Deploys a UAV from unit storage, but I think we would stay still if we did that. So let's just maybe... We honestly need to affect them with our radius, so I'm going to go active. This way we can start jamming. And we're going to come up for... If we hop over, it's eight. If we sprint, it could... Yeah, it's still eight. So we'll hop up for eight. Like so. There we go. Everybody change diapers. I mean direction. Yes, yes. Everyone change the diapers. 15. Tag barrage on the maxim. Ooh, that's juicy. Hello, Scorpion. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. I hope he drives right into the drop zone. That would be great. That'd be great. Oh, they've got a blue jade. Take a look at that. That's their drone. They're trying to tag us. And they got this little ping. See, that's what we could be sending in the air. So when they summoned here, I think it was a drone that I couldn't even see. Wow, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, well, let's stay back a little bit. 14. If we were to go forward, 14, yeah. Let's let's back up a little bit off the edge here. And if we can, look at that. 57% to connect here. We're coming in with a little bit of high explosive, 64. That's nice. Raven, also an interesting way of saying to get the package. Hello, Raven. Also an interesting way of saying to get the package from the door. Just write it in chat. She did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did. All right. Nightshade. Actually connecting there. I forget what it's got. Look at that. Battle armor, light tag, and a droppable thumper shell. That's what that is. Oh, my God. Fancy bush bun. Coming on over. Got it. That's 32. 38. I mean, probably could make it. If The more we walk, the harder it'll be. So we'll just kind of shift over to the right. We really need to get rid of this guy. We do have tandem. We already hit him a little bit. Oh, he's got one structure left. One structure left with that tandem. Oh my gosh. That would have been great. And curious about the barrage. Does it only trigger on things on the ground? Or is it actually going to tag if the UAV drone is in the air? If it's going to hit that too? Alright, anti-battle armor. I feel like we can kind of handle this still. Alright, yeah. Roger. And we're going to go and try and drop that guy. Firing. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. We can make this happen. How are we doing? 39. Oh, we've got active for deaths. You know what? I'm actually going passive. Curious what the chances are because it would be a better shielding. Yeah, it's even better because we were able to stop their what they're doing to us so let's come around and we got a decent chance of hitting him there it is okay so we dropped that nightshade excellent good job deaths good job bunnies so the nightshade's off the field and if we can get the shooty bun to maybe knock out that drone that would be great i don't want that thing flying around let's see we've got the blue jay 15 percent oof or, oh my god, yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, I'll take that shot. Shooty bun. Very nice hit on the badger. This reminds me of the drones in Ukraine. Some of them simply strap artillery grenades, attach a few fins. Oh my gosh, well, we're experiencing it. We're experiencing it. Not 
the same thing, obviously, but something like it. All right, we're still in passive. And we'll hold. Bun ping ping. Try and shoot down the drone. It's 0.9, but who cares? We've got unlimited. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to shoot at anything. <laughs> I guess we could AoE ping. I think it might tag this guy, too. This is a lot more exciting. And then on 10. Oh, sorry. It's the... Oh, the Badger or the Breach Front there where we got that hit. Laser AMS. Clan Laser AMS coming online to protect the fancy bush bun, but it is in heat now. And we got to get that Maxim APC away. And maybe, just maybe we can finish that guy off. There it is, and the Badger's off the field. All right, doing very, very well against the Ghost Bear Terrorists, yeah? And there's going to be one more, the Maxim 2C APC. And then now we should see Jade Falcon on the field. <laughs> what do we got? There was the Jade Falcon bounty hunter bunnies. Still no response, so expect to be fired upon. Engage, but watch you don't get caught between them and their targets. Yeah, no, that's fine. They can they can fight all they want. What do they got? They've got a Kit Fox with a Clan ER PPC. Ooh, Clan ER small, Clan ER medium. They've got a Stinger 3GB with double medium, triple medium laser magnet and a small. They've got a Kit Fox T with a Proto AC4. Clan ER large, Clan ER medium, and a Clan Streak SRM4, and they got a Valkyrie C with a Clan LRM10 and a medium, Clan medium pulse laser. All really, really nice. That Proto is still active, even though it's damaged. So, man, really, really cool. All right, we've got our detective bun. We could launch from here. I'm a little scared to launch the drone. I might wait until a little bit let's see we've got bun ping ping we can try and shoot at said drone but not very good chances so i guess we will hold the drone can move on 17 so very very soon and then there's the one that is just suicide into things well i hope this drone does not do that yeah all right there's the new jade falcon kit fox coming in on the flank yeah if we just hold for a second see if they see that as a bigger threat who cannot fire first because you got to remember that that tag barrage is attached to the clan scorpion so wherever it goes yeah light tag on our bradford oof okay man that guy is like a gnat like a gnat i want a gnat of our own yeah we should probably when we get the chance we should we should take it uav what about on the kit fox how are our chances here that's 30. all right walk it over 22 percent <laughs> might be interesting to treat it kind of like battle armor where if you're close enough you're you might be in range i don't know what the distance is from the ground to the sky all right we got mac can we hit this guy what about that guy 10 percent that guy for sure 44 51 very nice 38 unknown on narc and then 26 i mean hitting that crossbow and just sort of like really pinging that out clan streak srm 24 that's scary 44 i am tempted i'm really tempted yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna try for it, even though it's a low chance, but I'll try and ping that crossbow. I copy. Nice! Alright, he lands it right on the arm there. That's excellent. He obviously mitigated a lot of that, but he's down to 914 out of 960, so that's huge. I'm assuming some of the tubes are there unless they're nope, actually empty arms, loaded torsos, maybe. Actually, I can't tell. We don't have the read on it yet. And they're burning the ground that the Kit Fox is standing on. That clan ER PPC is awesome, yeah? Ow, my elbow. Oh, <laughs> not your elbow. Unless you're somehow part of Clan Ghost Bear. I mean, I would... I guess I could believe that. All right, well... 
let's go active again that way we can contribute some shielding and protect the bunnies we're getting on out try to hit <laughs> it's like it's like clay pigeon shooting except he's definitely not made of clay bun ping ping uh, we'll take it i would imagine if we even just touch him he's going down he's got five armor and five structure on his side that fancy stinger and then we got fancy bush bun right here no that's my friend seriously his character was canonized in one of the tro's i'm more jf oh really all right that's awesome well i stand corrected then that is so cool all right we've got 51 on the maxim that's tandem high explosive would be great Hunting through the back. so i'm assuming we pinged out on the uh the guy next to him too with the tag barrage so on 12 it'll be really interesting to see where he goes so i'm glad that we're reserving but it, it would be kind of a smart but dickish move if he decided that he would just charge into us <laughs> So it's going to be up to him on the next one. So on 13. Oh, there's the guy who got pinged on the arm there. He's holding. We'll reserve again. Because in theory, the scorpion gets to go since he's still alive. We didn't take him out yet. Kind of on purpose. See where he puts that plate. So he takes a shot. Is he gonna? Is it ace pilot? Shot and move, or? Oh, he's just gonna stand there. All right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, if they already take the shot, it might not be a bad idea to actually launch that UAV, even yeah. though we're like, quote unquote, out in the open because we'll have a couple of turns, you know. Confirm. All right, what do we got? We can potentially hit that guy yeah <laughs> goodbye drone high five buddies there we go god that see that's our anti-battle armor bun makes sense makes sense we actually nailed him it's like swatting at a net all right maxim will just shift over to the right we're gonna hold got our detective bun i'm gonna hold again i don't want to go all the way down but i do want to launch that uav and i want to make sure that we have we hold on to our evasion for as long as possible yeah Hit Fox T. So they launched. They dropped. They're unable to engage on the turn. They did drop in with a star. That is so cool. There's a Valkyrie. And then last for Ghost Bear on seven is going to be that Maxim 2C APC. Very close to our detective bun. So glad that we're waiting for it to go first. And then we can go ahead and launch that UAV. Hopefully we'll be high enough on the order that we're going to be able to sort of keep ourselves safe zero impacts on the bunnies that's excellent yeah i feel like i feel like we can make it through all right we're gonna go in and try and launch this uav uh we're gonna use our blue j and we'll get that on out oh actually i don't want to launch it right in the uh <laughs> in the barrage area we'll just select two and go like so here it comes there we go. So that's what they were doing was launching a drone. That is so cool. That is so cool. Curious if it's what it's going to cost. That'll be interesting. And we got the burn if we want to give it. We could get in on the crossbow who has quite a lot of explosives inside. So we'll just try and make this happen. Give him a little burn there. A little torch. There goes that tag barrage. There we go. Did we get him? I think we got that scorpion enemy down. Beautiful. And the Maxim is not having a good day at all. Excellent. So here we go. So a little a little of a cleaner match now with Jade Falcon. There we go. They're, they're hitting that. It's probably the Kit Fox with a Clanny or PPC. Absolutely nasty. And he's hitting on the same damage side where Max Thunderbolt tagged him on that left arm. Look at that. Barely any armor left there. Shot and move from that Kit Fox still hot but probably barely any evasion at all which is great let's just go in and hold with superior and you can see our drone is up here actually targetable that is awesome look at that little thing it's like a flying I, wait can i see it 
There she is. There she is. Oh, kind of hard to see. It's like a flying Maxim. Oh my God. It's a little, I don't know, blimpy hovercraft. There she is. Wow. That's so cool. Commander? All right. Antonides in the shooty. Got shots 22. We could hit our... Ooh, that's pretty good on the SRM carrier. UAC 5 and double tap. Got a single ping. I will take that all day long. It's got 24 armor left on the side. And we'll go ahead and got our operator. We could get out there and drop a thumper shell. What's the range, actually? So if we zoom on forward, this is actually a part of our C3I network, which is incredible. We can also UAV ping. How wide is this radius? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I, I thought that would have pinged them, but Commander. but maybe not. Maybe they're immune to it. Who knows? And hold. Really, really cool that we've got that, though. Curious if it's committing or not. I, I Maybe I didn't actually turn something on. I should have. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not anymore. Oh, man. That was short-lived. But it was fun. It was fun. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Probably... I feel like I should have dropped the thumper shell. Maybe that's why it went boom. We'll have to see how expensive that is. Poor Maxim. How much is left? He's gone like half and half on the sides. Of course, all the tandem did quite a number on him. If we zoom in, we've got a really, really nice shot on him. Let's go and push. And we'll go in and send a beautiful stack right here. We'll start with the acid splash. Got it. Very, very nice. The 3D model is of the Hoover. I think that was from Hofer with the jump jets, but I cannot think of the name right now. Like, like, ho Hover tank? You mean like that? Ooh, Clan Plasma Cannon. So that came from this guy back here. We couldn't really tell, but he's got double Clan Plasma Cannon, Clan SRM-18. So, A, Clan SRM-6 would be glorious. Glorious. That would be great. And if we can get some guns into the Maxim 2C, maybe we can be super gentle with it. That would be awesome. We got our fancy bush bun. I mean, we'll kind of try and engage from far away. That's not the best can we back up and take care of the crossbow we can take care of the heavy wield maybe we'll clear the enemy behind our scout let's hold on the uac 10 and we will try to hit with a kinetic solution so. oh there it is and he's out beautiful okay this is so much better so much more fun now that we can hit things there is a tank with a jump jet. Ooh, the things were so complicated to maintain. They usually remove the jump jet. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I do that all the time when it's not even complicated. <laughs> a little worried about the anti-battle armor bun if I get too aggressive. So let's... Ugh. If we zoom in here and we hit that... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right now on 13. Let's see. Who else can go? We've got Mac. Let's sidestep indirect, and we can definitely land something 12, 10, 8, 4. They probably have incredible shielding. 18, 18. And the Odin. Wow, double AP Gauss, Narc Launcher, and Tag. I mean, that's cool too. I mean, I guess if we're going to hit anything, we'll just send like a high explosive into this general vicinity. Taking the shot. Okay, that probably hit something there. That's good. The Kanga. Oh, the jumping one? That makes sense. They have short stubby wings. They're attached to the tanks. So you can have a bit of control. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. All right, we're going to reserve. Maintain our evasion. And they still have targets. I just don't, don't want to destroy the Maxim 2C just yet. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That probably was not gentle, though. I have no idea... How many salvageable parts are anything? All right, detect a bun absolutely needs to move now because he's got zero evasion. Yeah. So if anything, I'm I'm thinking if we can push up, 
I know it's ballsy, but if we can push up, it'll at least make some of them targetable. That's probably not smart. Maybe we go up and over. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going up and over, and we'll even be able to tag this guy. Excellent. So we should have a pretty decent chance of hitting the crossbow B now. Yeah. Oh, thank you, crossbow. Oh, it does look like it. One of the most memorable and unique combat vehicles of the Star League era. The Kanga was the first combat vehicle to mount jump jets. And you can see her right there. All right, seems like they got a bit of a breach there. There she is. That's cool. It does kind of look like it. And it's got these little, um, yeah, it's got the turbines there or something. Thank you so much. Standing All right, by. Chappy in the bun fire. Right now, it looks like, yep, they got a bit of a breach there. And if we come on up. Six. Yep. Yeah, very, very Welcome nice. Let's give him the heat. Burn him. Happy then. 20. Tanks should get jump jets so they can DFA as well. Is that heads or flying? Or is it a bird? Or is it very happy to see me and now it's covering me from the sky? I agree, Jason. Come you can see pretty clearly in the second picture. Yeah. Yeah. If it were still alive, I would totally show it in the game too. We fortunately have another one, but I, it did not help too much yet. So... We're just, <laughs> I don't know if I'll send it again. 23, 32 on the ice ferret. Stack that. What the fuck? And bun ping ping to hold. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll actually just brace because no one to shoot at from this position. And then anti-battle armor bun can actually tuck in now. And what do we got? 30 on Valkyrie. 30 on Kit Fox, 33 on Stinger. Kit Fox, we do have the Crossbow B as well, which has very... This is the one. It's currently being jammed by our Detective Bun and within our C3I. So I will send this and just sort of fish. Wow, that went right in the same place. My God. Talk about clustering. Order. And then we got a Kin too. God, I, I'm, I'm so tempted. I know this guy's got a bunch of plasma cannons, SRMs, things like that, but I, I kind of want to hold again. He's only got seven, but we probably should move before 13, though. I just don't want to get hit with a clan ER PPC on that Kit Fox down at the bottom on 12. Oh, boy. That's our fancy bushwhacker. And that came from the stinger. Okay. Shot a move. And he's going through the fire. And now he's over threshold. Yep. We got HB and the anti battle armor bun. This is this is a ballsy move. A very ballsy move. We'd have to go active. We're currently have our stealth armor. Oh boy. It's HB. This is not good. Actually, that's not smart. <laughs> it's not smart. Not smart. But they're gonna attack us anyway, right? All right, screw it. We're going active, bunnies. We're going active. Detective Bun is on top. This will definitely get their attention. All right, we're, we're coming down the hill. On the sprint. Jam up a little bit. Here we go. Understood. Moving fast. And we have a decent, decent chance. So we're on 17. Heat can go still. We'll take the shot. Copy that. We hit him. I'll take it. I'll take it. Short range missiles are out. 16. That's going to be this. Oh, the other. There's two stingers. Double medium laser magna and a small. No shots. Bradford. 21. Yeah, big difference. 26. 14. I mean, at this point, 12. I'm going to try and hit that guy. Shot. Oh, and he lands it on 21. Excellent. And he's and now at zero evasion, but he can move so he can. He can totally get out of this, but he's unsteady. And he chooses to jump in instead. That makes sense and takes the shot. So he's still, I mean, he's got evasion again, but he's within the, he's past the threshold. Well, I can't talk past the threshold. 
which means he can get knocked down without having to breach it first. So we got our bonfire. That guy's on 11, so he hasn't gone yet. I mean, that's, that's so... Can we hit the Odin? Odin's way back here. I'm going to try and... Gonna try and harass. We'll try and harass. Here we go. With a bun fire. We'll go active. AMS online. Jammed up. Given the burn. Dirts. On the drive by. And maybe we can drop this guy out because he will get to go. Negative, negative 14, and we got our maxim. Okay, if we can hit that crossbow and stop him from shooting 24 clan streak SRMs, that'd be fantastic. I don't know if it's possible, but we gotta try. Go ahead and send it. It's got two breaches in some pretty sizable locations and negatory. So he will continue to fight. It is his time. Please just don't hit our detective bun. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. Could have been better, but we're fine. Haven't been really hit yet. Jade Falcon Ferret. There we go. There we go. Keep that pressure on. Tags that leg. He's got 21 structure here. I'm here. And we got the shooty bun. Excellent. All right. Coming around. Still not part of our network but very impressive it can still hit these targets there's the crossbow really nice shot got some internal damage again looks like we nine structure on the right and we did not hit the left we hit that right torso tagged the leg with a laser oh boy where did that hit look like on the leg are we okay 119 86 yeah it hit our rear left our rear left well let's get pushed in fancy okay. bun and maybe we can drop him with this actually i'm gonna hold on the thunderbolt we gotta stay cooler there it is Interesting because we popped the arm and I remember I couldn't even see that there was anything on the arm at all. Now we can see that they're there because we actually have the appropriate role on the sensors check table. That's awesome. Double clan plasma cannon. He's got clan streak SRM 18 on there. And we got a Kintu in the detective bun since that guy, they both moved already. I feel a little more comfortable here. I would like it if we could do that, you know, the fancy movements and kind of waypoint move but at this point we've just got to maybe fly by we'll walk it yeah well let's walk it here we go and we'll give him the guns and maybe drop him out that's a lot of a lot of tracer rounds he's bleeding out he's getting knocked down come on buddy get out of there get out of there there it is. All right, crossbow bees off the field. Excellent. Of course, we are the target, but these guys, Jade Falcons kill team, they're all grouped up together. We can get the detective bun out into the rear. And if we want, we can even tag barrage that guy. Let's just go ahead and hold in this position. The moment you fire at a mech with your clan or PPC with capacitor, you miss, hit the mech next to it. <laughs> That's so cool. 21 let's do it and shot all right oh my gosh wow this is going so well falcon bounty hunters are still completely they haven't lost anything from their star but they're getting damaged for sure i like how our we had 10 piloting on our uav that's very cool All right, superior. Hold. Is it the BTA or rogue tech list? 
uh, check your, it's all, it's everything. There's tabs on the bottom, so you can see every single one of the lists. It's a cumulative list, yeah. Hey, it's uh, good to see you, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. We are currently taking a crack at smacking the clanners. Again. <laughs> High five. There we go. All right. Hopefully you're doing well, man. Doing great making music. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Suno, I think you said. Commander. Bonfire. We'll get it on over Confirm. and give this guy a bit of the burn. Got the angle. Taking the shot. It's got the double clan plasma cannon. Clan SRM 18. In the background, they got that ice ferret on high ground. Hey, Kurgosh, good to see you. Welcome. But using Claude AI to help me craft custom lyrics, going full Dylan, like, oh, Cylon. I thought I thought you were saying you're using a Jean-Claude Van Damme AI. I'm like, wow, that sounds so cool. Hopefully, it'll do guile for you. That guy's on the ground. I mean, that'll really hurt. I mean, can we do it? What if we just do the Thunderbolt? Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Yeah, oh, well, that was not it, but that opened him up for sure. He and he's out. Beautiful. That was super gentle. That's him inducing with the double clan plasma cannons. And he's always oh, dumping all those SRMs into the bunfire, but the bunfire has not been touched yet. So... We're still good. He had AMS to kind of assist. Can we get a kick in on the clanners? They hate when we do that, right? Give him a nice swift kick right here on the stinger. Deaths in the scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And guns, guns, guns. Enemy down, beautiful. All right, we're cleaning up. That's two out of five on that star for Jade Falcon. We got the shooty bun. Tucking on in, he's got the line. Single shot, 52. Hold. That guy's got the big stuff, the clan ER PPC. I would love to have that. And what do we got? On 11. That's the Odin on the far side. And then we got Jade Falcon on 10. And that's going to be the Kid Fox T. That's the one with the broken clan proto AC for you. I've got a question about the Rogue Tech list. Do you remove the names that have already been used? Uh, I crossed them out. So the strike throughs. So the strike throughs that are there right now, like I haven't had to recruit any pilots yet, so I haven't actually removed or crossed them out. Uh, but the blue want? ones are ones that came from the black book. That's why I added them manually and I didn't want to... I put them horizontally opposed just because I wasn't able to... I didn't want to... I didn't know how the list, the Google form was going to interact with the... The Google Sheet, so I just wanted to make sure I wasn't occluding or disrupting that that process. Um, but I'm gonna go through the blue ones first, left to right, then second row, and I'll be striking them out as I'm recruiting pilots. Yeah. There we go on Kit Fox T. And the only reason why I struck through some of them because there were duplicates, and you can make sure that all the ones with strike throughs right now, only right now, they are they should be up there in the blue because they were already in the black book. That way I'm honoring the, the list when it was first created. All right, Death Spun Mobile. I mean, since we're here, we might as well just kick everybody. So we'll just kick that guy too. I'm pretty sure we hit him. Oh, there we go. That's a Kid Fox with a fancy C pack four. Down he goes. And he's fine. He's bleeding out. That's excellent. That's excellent. Hang tight. Wow, this is going super, super well. For orders. So we obviously want to get rid of this guy. So we're coming in with a nice swift kick here. And we're going to jack up all of the dual machine guns to 12 bursts. So snap kick from the rear of the Medusa. Actually lands it. Beautiful. He's got nine armor and guns, guns, guns. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. We're doing so great. Hey, Vision, good to see you. Welcome. Good day. Good Friday. Hope all is well. Everything is doing very, very well. Very, very well indeed. Yeah. 
are we gonna put roman numerals for two three four and so on after our names if we die oh well i mean i don't know i don't really have a system for that i'm kind of anticipating that uh maybe there'll be enough volunteers that we won't need to do that i don't <laughs> i don't know i i hope i don't have to get to that point but it's always a possibility for sure yeah that's 10 percent all indirect so a little harder to connect here but i guess we'll try to hit the odin just go wide there i hey lost core good to see you welcome i saw i was already in twice that you then crossed me out in the row from top to bottom so the black name yeah that would be the automated one from google forms down below i specifically chose the blue marking so that the bunnies could tell uh which ones i'm manually editing yeah all right we're gonna go in and ping in we've got everything all set up send it he's untouched thus far there we go hb napalm some brush yes yes we're trying we're trying uh we're just hoping that we won't get stack pulled but i'm assuming that since it's the clanners they're much more advanced and there will be less of a chance that will get stack pulled but you never know stuff happens sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head give him the burn go chappy burn the head oh there we go bleeding out awesome And I think it is that Kid Fox that we just smacked. He was fresh. He's not fresh anymore. To the Medusa on the ground. Wow. Insult to injury. Doing his job. Well, let's get the shooty bun. Won't even move. Won't even move. We want to hit that guy. This is so cool. Isn't Napalm usage a war crime? Yeah, but we've got a war crime coupon. <laughs> we've got a war crime coupon, Lost Core. It's okay. It's okay. I just happen to use the coupon over and over and over, but in general, we got a war crime coupon. I'm sure that makes everything okay. All right, there we go. Got it. No shooting, just running. And actually, you know what? I'm going to, can I go passive? Oh, I, I think I have to go passive first, right? Oh, no, no, no. I can do it. And let us send it. Oh, there we go. Unsteady, unsteady. Ah, oh, this feels so good. This feels so good. Copy that, Commander. All right. And go. I'm on him. BC. Oh my God! All those beautiful battle computers are being destroyed. Modular armor, Mark IV. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much to see. Oh my God! We broke so many things. Oh my God! That's so many battle computers. <laughs> It was so jam-packed. Not in Battletech. I don't think they know the word war crime. I think they know the word. They just don't really care. Because then if if they prosecuted war crimes, then they'd have to pros they'd have to be open to prosecuting themselves, right? Is my guess. Right, Draco? I know. It hurts so much to see. But it's okay. There's so... Every single thing on the battlefield against us is Kalaner, which means there's plenty where that came from. It's just a matter of trying to, you know have options Ready for order. all right death mobile death mobile well what if we just run on pass and give him the green right should be a plus two on accuracy to the butt and send it open that up hb used to be such a nice boy until he became a war criminal mech fire it's true it's true i know i'm no longer nice am i Ooh. And he whiffs it. There we go. Have that bad accuracy for melee. Does have a clan or PPC, though. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Anti-battle armor bun. This guy. Well, I guess that guy. Let's let's actually run away. And then we'll be able to kind of get on over and give him a shot to the butt. Or better yet, we'll walk around that way. Actually, I'm going to go. I'm going to go active. Let's go active. We'll jam them and send mostly white numbers. There we go. Raven corrupted. <laughs> yes, Commander. All right, bun fire. Affirmative. Give him the burn. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this feels so good. This is going so much better. We've jumped. All it took was some education and humility, right? That's all it took. 
All right, we're gonna, you know what, actually, I'm going to back up. Look at that, 99%, 99%. I'm not gonna turn on the tag barrage. We're just gonna send this and, uh-oh. Okay, so maybe we should do it a little gently. Obviously, we're going into a breach with a bunch of guns and it might stack pull. That's gentle, right? Explosion contained. As we're talking about high five clan technology. Goodbye, stack pole. All right, Antonides. We just have a couple of Jade Falcon and one Ghost Bear left. There's that 46. All right, we'll try to ping him. There we go. Nice ping. Now we get our UAC 5 back. Bradford. Point nine, ten 10%. If you're American, it's only a war crime if you sign a contract that says it's a war crime. According to the regulations, I wouldn't be allowed to. In contrast, HB in contrast does because it comes from America. They've not signed the Treaty of Flaming Weapons. In any oh, yes, that's what we're talking about. See, we haven't even signed the treaty. That's great. 44, don't say that Raven's monitoring the chat. <laughs> Read further up the text that America flamethrowers are not war. All right, there we go. I mean, I don't know if it counts as us being in America right now, but, but I mean, I, I dig, I dig the thought. Come on, gentle, gentle. Oh no, we destroyed all the clan ear peepees. Oh boy. The exact moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's timing. It is. Wow. This is going so well. So there's basically two enemies on the field. One narc Odin and one enemy Jade Falcon ice ferret. We've destroyed a lot of the loot that I was hoping to get, but you know what? I'm sure anything that's left over is going to be absolutely incroyable. HB over here just murdering. Well, not murdering them. We're defending ourselves. We kind of invaded their territory and went on a contract on behalf of, you know, Free Rasa Hog Republic, but you know, it's all about freedom. We wanted to make sure that we were, you know, holding to our good name and all. I don't know if we can shoot all that, but I'll hold right here and we'll just kind of give him a little ping here. Soften him up there. There we go. Tandem. Love it. It's like scratching the inside of your belly. It's like taking Tums when you're unsettled. Well, hang tight. HP probably going to ransom any pile. <laughs> Wait, can we do that? Can we do that? I mean, that would be great. If if that's an option, I mean, I might, I'd be open to it if bunnies want to teach me how. All right, we got this. Stack it. No retreat, no surrender. That's right. All right, we got to go charge that Odin. And we'll go passive. And go. I've never played this mod, but you'd think that would be a thing with the pilots bailing out when panic. Well, I mean, it's true. It's true that, you know, we do have to worry about things like search and rescue and all that. But I don't think I've ever been able to capture uh, one, which is a shame. All right, ping out. Here, take that. Should we just leave him alone now? <laughs> he's been marked for life, right? I mean, look at that. I mean, I don't know what he's yeah. going to do about that. All right, we're just going to turn, not move, and shoot. Oh, really? They can ransom your pilots in Mech Warrior 5? I didn't know that. I right, got Antonides in the shooty bun. Actually, can are we better just shooting where we are? Yeah, we are. Unsteady now. Great. Great. And we got our Maxim. That's going to suck. And shot. Hit the head as well. Holy crap. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's bleeding out. Bleeding out. Whether 13,000 rounds are enough for two MRM-40? Wow! I think so. I mean, I guess it depends. Who? Are, how long are you fighting for? <laughs> Is there a resupply over the course of the whole war? I mean, I'm okay with 13,000. I think that's even better. All right, there we go. Well, let's see. Where is that? There's that barrage. It's incoming because he's trying to close the distance with us now. Let's just kick this guy. We'll kick him. And go. Hopefully, they'll drop him to the ground. There we go. 
and guns. Not quite true, but as there's no one who could force the American co government to hand HB over to be prosecuted. Well, it's true because, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they've got cameras here. And I don't know if Comstar would care. I I'm sure they're probably not fond of these guys. Okay, let's go. Well, what's the gentlest way that we can do this? Probably with a singleton hit, right? So sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks it straight to the head. Oh yeah, we missed. That's okay. We're trying to be gentle, but that probably made him panic. I wonder how the game manages to make so much ammo. I somehow have five or six tons. Otherwise, there'd be 200 per... <laughs> All right, walk it in. I don't think this is going to be gentle. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight to the head. Yeah, that guy's done. And then we just have the battle, the Odin Narc. Wow. Bunnies, I've been talking to our Russell Hoggian representative, and this seems to be a case of simple bad luck after I had dinner with both sides. Apparently the bad guys wiped out a Jade Falcon unit just a few days ago. That's the real reason. We just happened to both arrive in the AO at the same time. It's not like I, I told them anything weird. Let's regroup back in orbit. All right, total win. Well, <laughs> that went swimmingly. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? That is a resounding no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. Heck yes. Really big bullets. Yes, that's right. We've got the big guns and we're making it happen. Oh my gosh, that went so well. That is so, that's so exciting. And wow. We are going to have a loot table, let me tell you. Let's go and bring this over. Everything on the table is from Clanners. 379,760. We were discouraged. I don't know. That seems like it's going to turn around pretty soon. Look at that. No breaches. Oh, 40 days. Oh, that's our Blue Jay. Well, we're not getting him back, so that's fine. High five all axis. So let's see. What do we got? We can disassemble Nightshade VTOL. We could have ourselves... Oh, I guess there's only three there. Max M2C APC that's ha Oh, we can get a full one? I kind of, if I'm perfectly honest, that is an upgrade. Wow. That's so cool. So clan ER smalls, we get two. Four clan machine guns. Two clan into steel stack. Two modular armor mark four at one ton for 72 additional armor. That's even better than the sanctuary ones. That's crazy. Clan sensors, clan ammunition, targeting computer, clan LRM fast cam. Oh boy, we haven't had fast cam at all. I have not seen any of it. That's super exciting. I'm just gonna, just to make sure I know it's there. Oh my God, clan LRM 15, holy crap. UAV compartment, Medusa, Valkyrie, crossbow. That's the one with all the SRMs. Stinger, quad, clan LRM 10, guardian ECM. This is... Yeah, we destroyed everything on this thing. Oh, it has the pack four on it. I don't know. I feel like... Oh my god, what is this? Pulse laser thunderbolt. Plus 20 chance to cluster on hit. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, chap. Good to see you. Welcome. We got the big bun. So I'm a little torn because I feel like... From a platform perspective, I don't necessarily want any of the platforms, so maybe we should just tear this down. Although this crossbow is 65 tons, and we could get our first heavy. Is this an Omni or no? We blew out a lot of the Clan Streak SRMs. Engine Core 325. Omni, it is an Omni. Wow, okay, so maybe we should get this. I don't know if we have enough. We can try. We can. Oh my god. Well, I think we have our first heavy. Three, two, and one. Wow, what happened? Okay, so Artemis 4 attachment, eight jump jets. Yeah, we'll clear that. Clan sensors, we'll clear that. I mean, honestly, we got a full crossbow B. We've got a Kit Fox part. We've got a full Maxim 2C APC with all clan internals, Artemis 4 attachment, and clan LRM fast cam. That's so great. That is so great. What a change. What a change. Holy crap. I've been trying to keep an eye out for fast cam this entire career thus far. Haven't seen anything at all. We're already allied with the FRR, so glad that we can get a ton of the stuff.
And we actually do have clan LRMs available to us. If not, the I know it's compatible with the Risk MML. So just having access to fast cam is going to be huge. We've got an upgrade for our Maxim APC. Now it's a Maxim 2C APC. So it has all clan weaponry inside, including a clan LRM 15 and a bunch of other stuff. I don't remember the other ones, but I'm sure it's probably pretty good. And then we've also got ourselves a crossbows chassis. We destroyed a lot on it, but it had clan streak SRM 24 on it as well as other things. So we'll have to see how it goes. It's an Omni mech. That is fantastic. Yep. Hello, heavy. Uh, what kind of heavy mech is it again? Uh, let's find out. Crossbow B. Developed during the Golden Century by Clan Steel Viper as an early second generation Omni mech, the crossbow is a relatively cheap Omni mech. The crossbow was Clan Steel Viper's first attempt to crash start their Omni mech manufacturing capability and was initiated in part by a small cadre of captured Clan Snow Raven scientist cast. We've got three days of repairs. That's it. That is incredible i will say yes to that amazing but we the time the small countries would never disrespect well i mean i, I don't even know if everything still exists in this time <laughs> but we'll see that is so 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 good so here is our new heavy it looks a lot like a bushwhacker just <laughs> curious if it's updated oh nope oh maybe i need to click off click on one sec so we'll click off and click on there she is there she is looks a lot like a crusader there she is my god what is with this gun it's got like it's like pink i don't know <laughs> all right let's see what we got here replace there was nothing on it they had all the clan streak omnipod lower arm all that so if we do a repair as far as kind of getting replacements we actually have an omnipod lower arm and the only thing we would be missing are the tubes and the ammunition everything else we've got access to i mean this is cool improved targeting plus one accuracy at short range so this is like a short range beast comes with a 325 rated core so it can actually sprint at seven for a heavy not bad at all it's got multi-track installed already you can replace that no problem so very very cool max that out we can also i think still adjust this yes we can and can we put in a steel no we cannot we cannot unit cannot install more structure in all locations if i pull that off and put this on that's not going to work so just the ferro fibers that'll get us to six that's great i think we can still adjust that as well no we cannot regular so regular fusion engine okay but we can go up to plus three on the in internals here yeah, plus three on the engine heat sink if we wanted it. Yeah. What is a crossbow? I mean, I don't know. It's whatever this is. So if we look at it right now, it doesn't have a lot of internal weight to play with. And it's plus accuracy for short range weapons. I don't know if this is, it's not necessarily exciting me very much, but it's a heavy and look how much armor it has. 1310. I mean, that's not bad, right? <laughs> At least it's going to be fast to refit. I mean, that's always a plus. Let's see. We can, as an, I don't know if advanced zoom is necessary. Plus one range accuracy up to 810 meters, but we have plus one to short range accuracy. Oh, it doesn't mean that we have to do short range. Uh, we can get a jammer. That's great. I mean, once you start sticking in everything, like let's say clan guardian and ECM will do like a, I don't know, a beagle active probe. And if we had C3I, I mean, you know that would take up two and a half tons you barely have anything left and as you add more things it's going to be kind of rough but i mean very very cool maybe it's just sort of like a frontline tank you know walk around with i don't know <laughs> it has the usual 65 tonner problem too big to hide too small to be a bully yeah i don't know how i feel about it but it's our first heavy and that's cool maybe we'll just do a reset right here and we'll just kind of bring it to normal we'll go nine days and we'll see how that goes yeah clan steel viper omni definitely is an odd one it's an odd one but i at least we can go to storage get this this i'm very excited about the maxim family of apcs are fairly ubiquitous throughout the inner sphere they're decently armored and armed for the role the particular model has been adopted by the clans we've got the shadow hack part we'll go in and clear that we want to keep ourselves down 
on our upkeep. We've got Nighthawk, Kobold, GDS, got the Sloth, the Piranha, the Mist Lynx, the Wasp Lamb. We'll go ahead and keep the Kit Fox part, Arctic Fox, Stiletto part, uh, Fire Starter, Stalking Spider, Chaparral, Blackjack Omni. I mean, at this point, I was really excited about the Blackjack Omni. I guess we'll hang on to it for now, but we don't really need it. Um, but we're at 1.6. So let's... Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go in and take a look at the vehicles. Let's look at the vehicles here. So we'll compare them, right? So we've got ourselves the Maxim APC, and it has a C3 slave in it. Oh, I didn't realize this has a C3 slave. Very interesting. Okay, that actually... I might hang on to it, but we've got our Maxim 2 CAPC. So we look at the differences. The Maxim APC C3 has access to two LRM5 Zeus, two Streak SRM2, one SRM6 Valiant, and one Tag. If we look at the Maxim 2 CAPC, it has one Clan LRM15, two Clan SRM2, two Machine Guns, and one Clan Streak SRM6. Ammunition-wise, anything special, or it's got like Clan LRM ammunition, Clan SRM ammunition, Clan Streak SRM ammunition. So it's just like straight damage output. So it's not like super utility or anything. So there's still uses. It has a battle armor compartment, so we can actually carry battle armor into the field. That's cool. It's a one battle armor there. It does have firing ports. Ooh. And there are firing ports here too. Wow. So we could get our battle armor with the battle armor angel ECM, stick it in there, and then pop out little pings from inside. That's cool. Base taste armor core six stole my life. Oh my gosh. Did I miss something here? You don't really believe Germany? A lot of stuff. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We got J37. That's definitely utility. The defender. I mean, I think I will finally get rid of that. The Vespa has a single large laser. I will hold it just because it's our only VTOL, but I'll hang on to that. And then as far as our other guys, we've got the Tsunami Gauss rifle that we could shoot from the firing port. We, of course, got the Bun Ping Ping. And I think, actually, I might just move the Bun Ping Ping from the IFB over to the Maxim APC because it's actually going to be on the front line shooting, right? Even though it's got a Clan LRM 15, it might be cool. I guess, I think we might move this over. I forgot that it's got that battle armor uh, compartment. So that's actually pretty huge. Let's go to the store. We'll clear out a chassis and let's see what else we can get. Because it seems like we are going to spend like no time repairing, which is amazing, right? So we'll go over and sell. Uh, we got that defender. We'll clear that. There we go. Uh, we'll go over to buy. Just do a quick pass. This looks so cool. The Axel main battle tank. We've got Leonidas, LRMs, SRMs, Bolton Rockets, Flamer, more Blue Jays. I actually didn't look to see how much it cost, but we did come out positive, so that's cool. Since it's charged, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on that. I'll hold on that. Lamb Academy, Mortar Rounds, and then Ross Hog again, which I, I'm pretty sure we looked through already, but you never know. Maxim. They have so many variants. It's pretty crazy. SRM Carrier from 3054. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Mind Dispenser, Battle Armor MRMs, Battle Armor Handhold, Gyro Excel. The Handhold seems cool. Gyro Excel is cool, but I think we're going to leave it. I'm just going to leave them all and then let's go. So what do we got? Command Center. Oh, wait, Barracks and After Fatigue. So let's hold for a second. What do we got? Two. Letters from Home. Praiser for considering Chappie's morale. Low spirits for both. Oh! I'd never get this one. I probably should read it more, but I know it's like something bad happened and there's a letter and you're going to give it to a pilot. And then I usually end up with something bad afterwards. I, I rarely have gotten something positive out of it. All right, let's go to the barracks here. Yeah, complex game in the garage. There is a lot. Oh my God, that's a cute emote. Oh, they're such babies. I love it webbed. That's so cute. I don't know what they are, but they're adorable. Yes, Commander. All right, Antonides, we got Chappie, Deaths, HB. Look at that. We're actually getting into the sixes now. Definitely want to get our tactics as high as possible. And we got Superior, and he is constantly inside. Guts is Resolve. Melee. We'll just get our CTH up. There we go. 
All right. So off to the command center. What do we got? Let's go find us some more clanners out there. Yeah. So we got Lucky Salad in it. Four Skull against a planetary government. Got Dual Axe Samurai against Clan Eyes Hellion. And we've got Capture Base. Three Skull against Clan Eyes Hellion. Between the base and between battle at 2.5 million. What? Due to logistical issues, we've only a single heavy air asset to task with the destruction of an isolated enemy force. We'd like to hire you to fill out the unit and temporarily place our asset under your control. Arrangements like this have generally worked well for us in the past. However, our liability department insists on a deposit of 50% of your negotiated compensation for the safe return of our aircraft. We realize the losses are the reality of combat, but unfortunately, some commanders are less than careful with units not regularly attached to their... Oh, really? All right, fine. There's urgent matter as well, which is what? Against Clan Ice Hellion in the Highlands. Oh my god, Ghost Bears ripped. Holy crap. We have an extremely time-sensitive mission. Remains of a decimated Ice Hellion company are preparing to leave Rodigo. Strike fast, hit him before they escape. Oh, and that's not Free Rasa Hog. I'm going to do Dual Axe Samurai. That sounds cool. It says that we've got a Lance Tonnage Maximum, but we'll have no problem, I think, staying underneath that, right? Squirrel shock, dolphin clap, yeah. Crossbow is a Lyran Omni, which funnily enough was later comped by the clan. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Crusader, but not a Crusader. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go. We get a Seth. Oh my God, three by five. That's so cool. So we've got Deaths. We've got Anti-Battle Armor Bun, Detective Bun. We've got Shooty Bun. Instead of Bun Fire, let's go ahead and make sure that we get our Bushwhacker in there. We'll go ahead and pull for Chappy. We'll get... Uh, actually, hang tight there for a second. And then we've got a Bradford. Let's pull the Bun Ping Ping. We're going to pull Superior. And we're actually going to dump the Bun Ping Ping into our Maxim. And we're going to replace this Maxim with the 2C APC. Granted, it isn't from the C3 network, but I just kind of want to see how that plays out. And we'll toss that in Superior and go. Oops. Hello. There we go. And then Amul in the Fancy Bush Bun. Is that it? One Skull Red. Oh, we are capable of One Skull Red. Holy crap. I'm assuming there's a pilot mismatch here. Oh, maximum 400 tons. Oh, no, we're under that. We're under that. You're not allowed to drop eight units. Oh, okay. Well, then there's that. There's that. Okay, so we'll clear this. That's the problem. Not allowed to drop eight units. Now we're at half red. Between, is there anyone that I don't want to bring? The shooty bun? Yeah, let's not bring the shooty bun. We'll keep the fancy bush bun. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab our new Maxim 2C APC. We'll get that in and we will get... I'm curious if it'll let us bring the bun ping ping. I don't know if that's the case or not. And we'll get superior in there. And then we will get, yeah, let's get Mac. Let's get Mac. He's doing a good job. Yeah, we can bring this. Excellent. And that's sitting right at that five. Great. 304 tons. Battle in the Highlands. Three Skull against Clan Ice Hellion. Let us go. We actually have a Seth on the field. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Five minutes on the clock. And we'll see what you got. Yeah. Let's go ahead and catch up. I watched it. Go, Gotta go to work as much as I love to stay and gush about mechs. Well, Webbed, thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for sharing the emojis with us. I hope you have a great day at work. And that it's a short, productive, and clean one. And we'll catch you in the future. Yeah, high five. Yeah. I think the crossbow was basically made to replace the Crusader just with Omni technology. Well, I mean, I guess, I yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they fit on it. I mean, I know this crossbow B was fit for the clanners, and that was the four sets of Clan Streak SRM6, but I'm curious what the OG's kind of loadout was, because it doesn't have that much free tonnage, but it is relatively fast for a heavy, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what they would do, whether it's like all... It does have plus one accuracy and short range, so maybe all those Omni hard points would be like tag plus a ton of like close range lasers or something. And then it just has the extra bulk to kind of absorb more damage. I mean, I, I don't know. That might work. Or melee mech. Melee mech could work too.
There we go. Trying to stay hydrated, like the bunny said. Awesome. So this last one was super successful. At three skull, I think we can do it. Plus, we've got the set. I'm curious if they've got... It sounded like from the mission description that it's going to try to reward us for keeping their set alive, or we have to keep it alive. So that'll be kind of interesting to see what's on that on that like i don't know if it's optional or mandatory objective but either way it's going to be really nice to have it because we'll be able to get on out there we'll be able to either dish out a little bit of damage some bombs something like that and then get on back so we can definitely scout with it maybe it'll buy us a moment before we launch a uav or something yeah but in the meantime the bunnies are going to be right as rain ready to go and hopefully, hopefully there's going to be an open road or paved something without a lot of trees so that we can actually send our new Maxim 2C APC forward with superior inside and four battle armor PPCs to kind of get that sensor impairment going. Yeah? I just said, uh, crap, the crossbow itself isn't an Omni mech and the Omni mech is the one that later built. Oh, that Clan Steel Viper built. Yeah, no worries. No worries. And thanks for thanks for the update. Yeah then maybe the original crossbow was a little more flexible, even though it wasn't like Omnimech flexible, as in you have the Omnimech hard points, you can swap it out very quickly, but maybe they downsized the engine to like 275 or something like that, got a plus one engine heat sink, and then ended up putting even more firepower in it while still carrying heavy armor. Who knows? It also means my assumption that it should replace the Crusaders wrong. Oh, okay. Well... It looks like the Crusader, but that's about it in model. <laughs> I, I don't know if it actually is that way, like in the drawings and things like that. All right. So hold. We actually get a pilot with 10 guts and six across. So they're right as rain. All right, let's do it. I remember the Seth being a flying fortress and having some offensive capabilities, some, some stealth as well. Yeah. We've got them bunnies, right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Good hunting. Oh, that was weird. It switched to Samir and good hunting Oliver out. <laughs> well, let's see, we're deploying. They're right here. I would rather come from over here. We've seen this map before. At least we'll have the speed and the road to use. We can't deploy in the corner here. We can deploy here. This isn't too bad either, actually. That's very nice and open. Kind of co go over on a curve. That's actually pretty nice. I, I actually like this one. Maybe we'll start here. Yeah, we'll go here. It's going to be cool. The longbow is the big brother of the archer, and the crossbow was added as the lightest of the series and turned into an Omnimech. Thank you, kid. Thank you so much. I, I honestly don't know too much about any of them. Oh, speaking of the devil, we got Kit Fox F2. What is that? A lot of unidentified Viper Prime, Phantom F. So obviously we have very little information on this. VTOL in slot one must survive. Okay, so this is Seth 3x5. Thing is, armor to the teeth. It's got the Arrow 4 Brrrt. The Arrow 4 standalone missile base. It's a rotary Arrow 4? What? Oh my god. What? This is a rotary abomination capable of launching up to three high-speed air-to-ground Arrow 4 warheads at once. If it doesn't explode when you pull the trigger, that is. 15 shots. What the heck? Okay. Cool. I mean, that's awesome. Cool beans. I'm okay with this. <laughs> what the heck? The engine's quite big because not every 65-ton mech runs around with a 300 engine. All right, they got a Chameleon two, two, TRC-4C, Viper Prime, Kit Fox F2. They got a, oh, see, a Phantom appearing, Phantom F. We got Detective Bun. We're actually going to maintain, we'll go passive. And we do have Jump Jet, so we're going to charge forward. And hold. We got Amiel in the fancy bush bun. Suck right. And we are hold. We got depths. Passive mode. Break left. 
We could probably utilize the supercharger. I keep forgetting about that. And then what do we got? Ooh, there was a fifth on the star out there. Yeah. Anti-battle armor bun bolt on AMS online. Stealth, passive. And we're going to cruise forward. Roger. Hold. Mac. Wow, look at this Maxim. Look at this Maxim go. That is amazing. 11. Yes. Wow, that is so cool. The Omni Mech is not from the Lyran, but from Clan Steel Viper. The crossbow B. Wow, and Superior, of course, is in there. And then that leaves our Seth arming up the arrow for Burt. And we are moving on in. We got that Warfare Suite, but definitely a line of sight on that guy that's for sure and look at that he's providing some shielding here and we'll hold love the ews ping so oh wow we have enough sensor range sight range electronic capabilities good tactics etc to actually see what's on these things the viper prime has a clan srm4 clan ams double clan medium pulse double clan machine guns we've got quad clan medium pulse lasers on the kid fox f2 and the clan small pulse on the chameleon trc4c we've got double medium triple small large laser double machine gun the phantom f has double clan er medium clan medium heavy laser and a heavy flamer and then i know there's another one out there somewhere yeah Ready let's go in order. and hold with superior there's that viper prime pinging on the set twice from the pulse 705 armor flying through the sky or more like hovering around yeah stay grouped up that's what we like to see Ready for order. Dead mac all right bringing mac around a little bit of a we'll hold here you. when you talk about the devil he appears at least his mech really <laughs> really <laughs> all right we're actually going to go supercharger on Deaths can now get a plus 50% sprint multiplier. But we need to remember to turn it off because the failure chance raises every turn. Uh, kit, another Kit Fox F2. So we got two Kit Fox F2s on the field. Really, really nice tech here. We'll get the Maxim. Actually, we'll hold on Maxim. CSV claimed and mass produced the Omni version, but it seemed to be based off the design of the Inner Sphere, based off the off the longbow. Really? Oh, odd. I wouldn't have expected yep. that. All right, anti-battle armor bun. And hold. We've got stealth armor. We're in passive. Yeah, Commander. Akin to in the detective bun. Actually, we can launch a UAV. We might as well do it now, before we have. You know, line of sight and all. We'll get our Blue Jay out there. We only have the one left. So slam that down. And then we got Spiff. I think we'll just cross. Actually, can he go already? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. He can move. Wow. He can move. Holy crap. He can move. Let's. That might be a little scary, but I'll, I'll I'll come out this way. That'll do. 11, 12. That's 12. There we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. All right, here we go. They wanted a lighter version of the longbow weapon load out of the crossbow or similar to the longbow variant, like all the streaks. So that's 70%, 57, 57. I mean, God, if we hit back here, if we can hit that guy with burst three, that's this is going to be so weird. I don't know if this is going to connect. We could try the higher percentage chance on the lead here on the Viper Prime. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, solid connection, Spiff. Good job, buddy. Why don't you just take them all out by yourself? I mean, that's cool. Holy crap. Wow. All right, let's go, bunnies. Let's go. This is a Rogue Tech War. Bun -bun. <laughs> this is Rogue Tech. Good to see you. Wow, that's that's pretty nasty. Uh, Sucks to be that guy. Let's... Yeah. Well, cool beans. Have this. 
leave some for the Rosa, <laughs> right? Holy crap. And down he goes. Poor Prime. Yeah, he's bleeding out already. 13 activations. Yeah. All right, got the Max M2C. Brand new. Plan Tech. 50. Come on, come on, come on. We want the Viper. We want the Viper. Oh, never mind. All right, we'll hold. I want to make it clear the standard version, not the Omni. Yeah. Hey, bunnies. I've got a leopard inbound on the battlefield with Crudenton markings. Are we expecting company? Uh, no, we aren't. Although I was talking to the Crudentons last night over a beer. Really? That's like the second time in a row, Darius. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, at least we're in the right position, right? All right, superior, hold. Blue J. I'm actually going to try and stay within the Seth's coverage here. And we'll actually shoot our droppable thumper shell. Maybe we'll hit him. Yeah, we didn't hit him. <laughs> hold up. What should he leave? Oh, <laughs> I mean, maybe he would just sort of like, you know, damage them all a little bit, like leg them all. So they're all lying on the ground and then we could do, do the rest. Who knows? To the rear. I mean, we're all right. We're, we're going to come on out here. See if we can't just tag whatever. Just the ER large. Oh, wow. From downtown. Go bunnies. I'm not sure how long the sale's lasting. XCOM the Ultimate Collection 1 and 2 is 150. Oh my god. I mean, that's if I didn't have them already, I would pause the stream and <laughs> go get it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. In the distance. Yeah, we might be able to tag that. Let's go. First salvo from the Maxim 2C. Low chances, but we're actually getting some dings there. That's awesome. Look at that grouping right there. They're asking for it. Apparently, we're going to fight the Kodatins out here for some reason. Oh, and of course, <laughs> our Blue Jays don't last very long. Okay, maybe maybe we just hang on to them and when we need a distraction, right? Well, just when we need a distraction. Who knows? All right, we're, we're getting aggressive with this Burt, and hopefully we'll ding that Chameleon. There we go. Soften that guy up. There we go. That's, that's much, much nicer. Much, much nicer. I don't want to be uh we'll just walk up right here large x pulse wow we're actually oh my god i feel like we're new bunnies we're new bunnies right now get on in and we're going over to active angel ecm and ooh, can i target the ground with a tag barrage does that work so if i attack the ground here I don't think it'll let me do that, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Can I try? Uh-oh. Did I just... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, so apparently... Yeah, I think it dropped it on my feet. I targeted here. I did not target right there. I don't know if... Uh, let's get out of here, bunnies. <laughs> okay we got some way to go to become bunnies from hell but we'll get there it's true it's true i mean we're kind of our own hell right now you know what i mean let's uh that's not good okay off we go this is gonna be just fine i believe in us i'm sure it's gonna be a-okay you're right vision oh boy i have to check especially that it should actually be cheaper all right so 11 Oh, they actually ding that guy yet? Trust the process. Yeah, trust the process. I mean, it, it still does include their drop zone, right? So many good tactical games. Oh, yo, yeah, high five, high five. Ha! Huh. I told you monitoring Russell Hoggy in comms would pay off. That looks like walking salvage, lads. Mercenary commander, check your people and leave the mix and you'll be allowed to live. Oh, crap. They heard me in the bathroom again. This just got complicated. Engage the new targets and I'll let our employers know their their comms have been compromised. Thanks, Darius. Uh, there's another inbound hostile dropship detected. I'd mark the drop zone for you bunnies. I'm useful. 
That's cool, Darius. It's a mess. Some of the bundies for games do adjust the price, though. So what do they have? They've got a they've got a Vulture Mark II. They've got a Mad Dog II OC with double light Gauss, MML Risk MML. They've got medium. Oh my God! So wait, they've got a quad medium laser double PPC Rifleman 2N. There's a a Keeper, 55 ton Keeper. That looks like the word of Blake, and it comes with a Risk Hag. I was, sorry, I was. I lost my train of thought there. Let me just. <laughs> what? Oh my God! AMS Mark II. Oh, that's like the best AMS. All right, bunnies. Yep. We've got some things to do. Let's get these guys. Screw these guys. Although I guess we should probably finish this so we don't have to fight on multiple fronts. That's what the bunnies would. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're we're gonna stay outside the barrage. Yeah. Here we go. And we're just gonna ping. Just ping out. There we go. So that means it'll be our Vulture Mark II. Maybe. Who knows? Trust the process, says Vision. I trust him. Wow. Wow. That's a hag. That's a risk hag on there. I don't even know. It doesn't tell me anything more than that. Just as Hyper Assault Gauss Risk. So that Phantom decided it does not want to be inside the barrage. So it's joining its pal right next to its pal. Okay. That's not good. Hopefully our Maxim 2 CAPC will live. All right, we got HB in the anti-battle armor bun. We got Superior Daisy. Let's get the shots if we can. That's 21, 18. These guys move really far. 29, Chameleon. We could blast this guy in the butt. Maybe we'll get lucky. Why not? There's the green. Wow, good job, buddy. Yeah, I own base XCOM 1287. Wow, you guys, you got some good deals there. Got some good deals. All right, we are now going active. Bolt on I rocket. They tried to charge into us, this Phoenix Hawk. Could stack him, could stack his buddies. All right, we're going like this. Right now, very good chance to ping this guy. Stack him. Got a breach, beautiful. Short range missiles are out. Can you imagine dropping? This is a hot drop if I've ever seen one all right we got the line we could hit that guy 57 32 I mean we got high explosive 14 23 8 6 I mean god I really want to hit that guy we're going kinetic and we're gonna go standard rounds shot Stopping that guy up. Grand total for everything is $19. If you don't own anything XCOM related from like 220. Oh my God. What a deal. Holy crap. All right. So the Clanners are running. That should probably tell you something. All right. Dead. It's 44% to connect on the Vulture. But we could just get ballsy and make it happen. We're going. Let's go active with the Guardian ECM. Although we get better shielding. Okay, first, turn off the supercharger. Holy crap, 21% chance to fail. That could have been catastrophic. And maybe we'll just kick out the Phoenix Hawk instead, if we can. What are other options? That might be it. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Four, we got the green. There we go, there we go. We'll move that asset up, and we're going to go in and stack the rear. Shot. Got a breach. My sensibility says to keep watching HB and enjoy the gameplay and my wallet wants to leap out and grab him. <laughs> I mean, do you already have those things? It, I mean, possibly, if you don't, I mean, that's not, that's a really good deal. It sounds like, at least on the surface. I mean, you could, you could totally not watch me and buy a, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be upset at all. I would just say that's smart. All right, we're still on active. Let's go in and arm everything up. Got the guns. We'll back it out. And, and let's send in. We're actually going to stack up the full 12 and go. There we go. Yeah. If, if that is so good. Those clan machine gun duels are so good. 
Obviously, we may still be in the barrage. I just noticed that right now. That might be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot about that, Mr. Dirt. I, I, I think <laughs> that might be a little, a little titsy issue. A little tidbit. Yep. You really don't want to play XCOM half? One half nowadays? Far too old. Oh, one and two? Well, there are mods. Well, let's speak of the devil. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, here we go. Maxim's got to move where Maxim's got to move. Oh my God. They have not gone yet and we can shoot. Holy crap. Well. Wow, look at that accuracy. Oh no, they have gone. Okay, they just didn't move. All right. Odd, but odd choice, but I'll take it. So this is the one with a risk hag. Please don't die. Uh, there might be more Icelian forces on the field. Totally not my fault. Our employer has kindly added destroying this group to our objectives. Yes, they did. Not me. If we want to get paid, then we better take them out. Okay, so hopefully we didn't all die. Yeah, so it just shaved off a little from the top. Yeah, that, that's totally fine. Yeah, that, that probably did more damage to us than them, but that's okay. You don't want to play a game that started the missing 99% to hit me? Oh my god. All right, anti-battle armor bun. Well, at least we don't have to worry about, you know, like, other issues. So we're just gonna give them the love. That's all right. That's all right. Yes, that's right. All right, akin to... I mean, God, I really... Should we kick that hag? All right, we're going to try and kick... Oh, that's a punch. All right, we'll, we'll kick this guy, the Kapir. We land it, and we'll give him the Daka. He's tagged up as well. No evasion. He gets to go on 10. It's currently on 16. I, I just don't want to get hit with a giant risk hag. <laughs> 99 does not equal 100. <laughs> that is so good. Is that an actual set of emotes? Wow, that is such a good set of emotes. I've never seen that before. That's hilarious. All right, fancy bush bun, fancy bush bun. Walk it. We're running really hot. We don't want to do that. That's the enemy UAV. There's the Kapir. Kinetic tandem. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I forgot they've got AMS. We might have to come in with a faint shot, but we don't have it. I forgot we don't have the IFB out. And it looks like in the distance, I'm seeing they do have at least four. Oh, that's really bad. We better save our bunnies. They're going for blood. See, we got... What is this? This I want to see. The Kuritans are available on 15. And it is... Oh, the, the, the drone. Oh my god, they're the ones who launched the drone. Back as I played XCOM 25 years ago, I threw away the guns and gave everyone five granatas. That sounds like a smart play. So they do have five on the field. The new drop has a Shadow Hawk 2C2. Double Clanny are large, Clanny are small, three clan small pulse. That's amazing. Drift Shag. What? Is it gonna Dori Dori Tokyo Drift? This thing is 30 tons. It has four Clanny are smalls, a Clanny are large, and a clan medium pulse. Holy God, how do they fit this? A 50 ton conjurer, Clan Streak SRM4, Clan Large Pulse, Double Clanny are medium, a Karabade CBD1. Bomb High Explosive times 4 Clan LBX AC10 and a Dragonfly VTOL with God Almighty Clan Streak SRMs and a Clan ER Small. Okay, cool. Wow, there's... This is what I'm talking about, where everything is good now. <laughs> everything in this game is good now. Let's go ahead and just kick out this leg. We don't want him around here. This is dead. It's... Can he not do that? Oh, I guess he can't. It says he can, but he can't. It resets when I go there there no i guess we'll just kick him in the fire instead oh that works but then our back is to him this is in burning forest sure why why not yeah 
after finishing the game i did meme squads of all snipers all grenadiers to do missions look at that two structure left and guns all right bun ping ping i mean we could just keep dinging that guy might get lucky and hit the leg obviously we got to get away from the uh the other guy so seth I mean, at this point, we really need to apply the pressure on the guy who's trying to kill our bunnies. So, I guess if we... What if we'd send an arrow for Burt from the back? I mean, that would suck, right? Yeah, that just sucks in general. Holy God. <laughs> Holy God. Screw especially that guy. That's all I have to say. Let's, um... Wow. Yeah, let's... Let's get that guy. <laughs> Let. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Here we go. We got to safeguard our bunnies, right? Send it. Stack them. That guy's done. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, it's just so much better now. Aliens hiding behind buildings. Blow up the buildings. They're behind a hill. Blow up the hill. Yes. Yes. Why not? I know we need to protect the Seth, but... I think it'll be okay. We're just going to be fight circling around and killing anything that comes our way. We're like a giant bunny blender. Glad we got the set, though. It's very good. I wouldn't mind having it our ourselves. We actually, I mean, to be perfectly honest, we could probably get into the Clan Ice Hellion flare-up and be okay. Seth, protect us. That's right, it does. And it's a three skull difficulty flare up. And I think this Draconis Combine drone, I think it actually already dropped its payload. Dragonfly with the, all the high explosive bombs. There's that vulture. Oh, that's not good. So much damage from such a little thing. I would love a Dragonfly Mark II. I'm sorry, not a dragonfly, a mad dog. Vulture. Oh boy, everyone wants to kill the double kill right here. They only have 35 armor and they're going hot for it, which means they really want to take us out. And then, of course, we've got this guy who's already hot. I wouldn't be surprised if the rifleman turned around with his double PPC and all the mediums and just dumps into the... Oh, thank God. I already dings us once with a PPC. That's the first connection on the detective bun he only has 10 armor loss thus far that is very very good and oh that's not good at all oh we might lose the mission okay we gotta go we gotta go now seth protect us we have to protect the set so it's a two-way street here bunny it's gonna be the very last one for the enemy on this turn and it's gonna take over the karabe day okay we need to clear out and pull back so we need to push to the edge we need to pull that set back we need to pull our maxim back we need to castle hard on this burning hill right here yeah okay where are we at on 17 that's gonna be hp yeah. and the anti-battle armor bun even though i really 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 want to have access to all that glorious glorious hag right now i don't think there's much that i can really do maybe we'll hang out here Heading out. can we get a shot to the rear and maybe blow that out that's 25 or yeah that's the rifleman and the back of this is oh i think either the hag is jammed or it's destroyed the one who can send the most damage that's on 10 that's on 12 this is on 11 so i guess this one goes first let's bust it open it up have you stepped on a clan yurt because one clan mech after another clan mech? Well, we're over in clan territory right now, and there's currently a clan ice hellion, um, a clan ice hellion flare up against the free Russell Hog Republic. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. We gotta win this one. We gotta win this one. Or at least let us destroy, complete one of the objectives so we get good faith, right? Shadowhawk 2C with all of the... Dear God. <laughs> all the clan lasers. 
they're really well equipped on that star that just dropped in. All right, got the bun ping ping. Hoping for sensor impairment here on the vulture. Nice. All four out of four are clustered right into this right arm. Conjurer one, 50 tons. Are they shooting at the... Are they shooting at the UAV? I only checked that after you told me. I didn't... Oh, no worries. No worries, Panzer. All right, we got Detective Bun and the Maxim. Let's get the Maxim just away from as many of these guys as possible. On my way. Double time. And in the sky... Oh, there's the Kit Fox. Oh, that's... That's a problem because we are in line of sight. I guess we need to start working these guys here. You're also making it a little difficult for yourself by fighting against the clans at the beginning of the campaign. Well, I mean, to be fair, I actually enjoy this a lot more than what we were doing before because these are all possibilities on the field. Whereas before, I mean, what were we fighting for, right? It was just to improve, yes, but at a snail's pace. And this is like not. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I definitely prefer this. All right, we'll give him the guns. He does have a breach. His Gyro XXL has been crit. Oh my God. That guy is advanced as heck. It's not destroyed, it's crit. Oh, that's not good. 112, 110, 77. 77's in the front. We got her back to him, so it kind of helps. Let's get the spiff back. That's third. Wow. 13 evasion. Holy crap. How are we doing? Can we actually... That's so fast. That's 12. And I don't know... If... I don't think we can hit that guy. Unless we're at 11. Then we can hit the vulture. Right now we're on 13. I think we can finish off the Kipur. So really the vulture is the issue for us. So if we pull way back... And we'd have to go to really extreme angle to pull off that kind of uh yeah that kind of hit 12 12 i want at least 12 and hit him with the bird so yeah i think we'd have to come all the way out here almost almost had it there it is. We need we need that distance, but we're not actually with the EWS. Um, so hopefully we'll hit him hard. Excellent. There we go. Enough that he doesn't have. Oh, he's not. I thought he was just unsteady, but apparently he's going to fall. That's even better because now he's not on the initiative order soon enough. We've got deaths. We've got Amiel. Amiel's in the fancy bush bun. Let's hold with that. Death should be able to should be able to just wipe this guy out from the back here with a Kapir. I copy. And send it. There it is. All right, fans. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem. All right, so Detective Bun, how are we doing? Death, Death is, he's, he's still okay. He's still okay. He took that one like a champ. Anti-battle armor Bun has stealth armor. That's, that's going to be a bit of a problem. That's not what I meant. Either you can get some pretty good stuff, or the problem you had is you fought against opponents who were far too weak. I mean, mostly far too weak, I think. Yeah. But I would... I know I can find clan stuff. I'm So I'm going to go for the clan stuff. All right, Rifleman on 12. That guy's on the ground. I mean, at this point, we just sort of walk, walk back, get the line. That's not great. Uh, we'll sprint back. There we go. Stack pull. You made it a little more difficult because the mech costs a little more for basic repairs and the opponents also hit a little harder. Yeah, it's only a little more difficult. You're right. All right, ping out. But the thing is, is that I think where there was the biggest lift. Oh, there we go. I think where we had the. Oh my God. What did they hit? Oh, the UAV. I think the biggest lift is just the education part. Because we, I spent about two hours before the stream resetting every single mech that we had. And I went through the entire 
because uh, I just wanted to have a good stream. And right now I'm feeling like we are. Yeah, so I'm glad we did it. It makes for dramatic storytelling and practice. Stack pull damage is hilarious. They're, they're going at it. Yeah, they're going at it. Karaba Day. Yes, that's right. He shut down. They can't resist the butt. I think we're safe. They're going to shoot the heck out of that rifleman's butt. The Drift Shag. My God. All right, Vulture's coming online. He could take us out, but he does have the Malice on stand-up. I don't know how it's going to go. What's he going to do? Oh, he wants blood. But death is okay. Oh, thank God. So we all just got to walk out of the stack pole fire, yeah? All right, where are we at? 18, 18. Shadowhawk 2C2. Gets a cool off turn. We got Bun Ping Ping. Will we get to shoot this guy in the butt? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Four for four. We could really use a vulture, by the way. Oh, I'm I'm well aware. Makes life very hazardous for melee buddies. It does, it does. But if there's any type of anti, you know, stack pole burn armor or something like that, then we'll definitely take it. Maybe some any hardened cockpits are now more important. Torso mounted cockpit. I don't know what you would need to do to make yourself a little more resistant. All right, we're just gonna walk back a little bit. Just kind of make sure we're facing the right direction. Okay. Got that UAC online and... Yeah, that's not gentle at all. You know what? Sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks it straight in the head. Oh! Lethal damage! <laughs> Still got it. There we go. All right. All right. We got Spiff. He's got the medium pulses. I mean, we could come in and just sort of like shoot the guy in the back. We got 10. We got 13. I don't think he takes fire damage flying in the air, but I could be wrong. I guess he's on. I, I do. We do need to protect him, though. So he'll come around on 12. Roger that. Jet booster explosion. What? Oh, really? Oh, you mean if I go past a certain speed that uses the booster? I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's unfortunate, though. We won't even fire. How about that? We'll just hang tight here. Got a lock. And we got a kin, too. And we can hop, but obviously that makes us hotter. Hopping out. How are we doing? We'll give him a Vadaka. Ooh, what did we pop? Solid. Just an arm, it's just one. an arm. Oh, we crit their light gauss rifles and they blew up. Well, I mean, I'm not saying we'll get the whole thing, but I mean, we were relatively gentle, relatively. We just kind of dinged it a little bit. And we got deaths. There we go. Restart. There we go. There we go. And we got HP. Anti-battle armor bun. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, our stealth armor, we will deactivate it. Guardian ECM is going to passive mode. And we're going to hop. Or I guess just walk. Walk, walk, walk. Embrace. There we go. Just a flesh wound. That's right. Our kit box. Oh, 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 oh. He can go. He's going in the fire. Oh my gosh. This guy wants to kill death like at all costs. Holy crap. Standing in the middle of the fire in Alpha. Dragonfly. Oh, Ooh, man. His AMS is saving his butt. Bad that AMS Mark II would be so nice. You have to turn off the jet booster. Oh, I didn't even see it there. I mean, I saw it said jet booster, but I never used it before. That's good to know. Chameleon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're all, they're going for blood. They're going for all the wounded ones. All right, Maxim. Going indirect. And if we can, it's 19. We'll just shoot at somebody. Why not? Yeah. Some can have the Klingon mentality. Blah. 
How's it going, HB? Won't be able to stay long. Want to stop by? Hey, Tag, good to see you. High five. Well, uh, things are going well. We might have stack pulled more times than I've ever stack pulled before, but uh, overall, we haven't died yet, so that's good. I hope you have a good day, yeah? Thanks for swinging on by. Come on, get that guy. We'll hold. Hit Fox F2. Wow. Yeah, he's not gonna... Wow, he's hanging in there. He's panicked for sure. And we've got it on three. Pull back, pull back. Shot. Wow. Come on, guy. Get out of there. Get out of there. Unsteady. Lost evasion. Fancy bush bun. Actually, we'll sprint it back just so we can rotate. I'm going to turn this all off and just tandem, even though it's not necessary. We just dinged him a little bit. And he's on 11, right? Yeah, they're not going to be able to resist. The clanners can't resist that guy. He's like a walking, a walking pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, yeah? Obviously, we should probably start focusing on Clan Ice Hellion because they will overrun us very, very soon. Commander. So we got... Oh, gosh. I don't even want to push anywhere with that. We got the Detective Bun. If we push through, we at least have them in our sights. It'll be interesting to tag Barrage them. That seven. But we have to get a little bit gutsy in order to keep them in our sights. So we'll go that far. We'll go that far. I think we did capture the dragonfly. The kit fox below 30, 27, 46 with a tag. With the bombs that have not been sent yet. Yeah, let's go in and tag that guy if possible. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wow. This guy's still on 11. Who's on 13? Who's on 13? Probably someone in the back here. Then someone over there. Okay, great, great, great. We got Mac. Hang tight for him. Spiff. I feel like Spiff's going to be able to manage eight. He does have the arrow, but that's 21. It's all ground to air, though, so I think we can only shoot at this guy. If we tick it down, doesn't affect the accuracy at all, so maybe one of them will hit. Oh, yeah, one of them hit. All right. <laughs> Got that guy. That's uh, great. Good job. Isn't the pilot, the VTOL, bleeding out? I don't think he's... I don't know if he's bleeding out, but he he is damaged. That's for sure. Uh, he has... Yeah, I don't think he's bleeding out. He does have severe burns, though, on his arm. But everything else seems okay. Good good to check, though. Good to check. Good to go. Thank you, Deja. Maxim. I just want to reserve because I'd like to keep this living target right here for us. Drift Shag. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need to give him new targets, don't we? So we have to get to the edge. Dirt. All right, passive. I really want to shoot that. 30 52 with a large X pulse sure it is tagged oh and we whiff it so now now the vulture comes online we'll see what he does I mean he could just he's still very dangerous he doesn't have his light gauss rifles he's missing one of the mediums but he does have oh dragonfly 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 come on you can't resist you can't resist the damage guy yeah he can't oh 
Well, he didn't get to go. Wow, I'm glad that he ate that. Holy crap, that was Clan Streak SRM 10 and a Clan ER small. Here's the all the high explosive bombs. I think he's got one more salvo of that. Okay, he just dropped all of our evasion. All right, Mac, Mac, Mac. Let's go ahead and come around and shift. We've got nine. All right, full speed. Send it. Stack him up. Dude, this is so cool. V pull in slot one must survive. Yes. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we need to drop the targets as they approach us. If we do not, we will likely it, this will decline very, very quickly. Shot. We got a sensor impair. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So what we need to do is really like pull back here and try and engage and drop targets and just keep that distance so they have to cross it. We can either kite or split them or anything. We're going... Oh, okay, so we'll go Guardian ECM active with the anti-battle armor bun. We'll come it around. We are not going... Not going to turn on the stealth armor that does generate more heat. And... I don't think we can really sprint to any... Oh, that's not too bad. If we're only shooting with one. So maybe I'll actually go passive. And then I will sprint back. Here we go. Yeah. We'll stay passive. Because we got to cool off as well, yeah? Ah, actually dinged him. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, akin to detective bun will bring on all the machine guns we still have the tag barrage if we can actually connect with someone i mean that's going to be a huge help angel ecm we got to bring this back so we're gonna hop back here Affirmative. oh i guess class c thank you so much i do dig it if we can tag him guns let's go yeah, all right there we go oh my god so he's tagged up he's got that we get that extra accuracy on him and he's breached which is fantastic the guns are really working it oh my gosh and then we're down to 14 14 okay still in the distance that's good and then we go to 13 on the next that's gonna be the dragonfly on the sky so we only get one shot to hit him Oof. i think it goes to us yeah, it goes to us. So Depth has to hit him. He has to hit this. Right now, I think it's the right side. It's his left. It's his left. So we have to be out here to take advantage. We're going active. We'll get over to cover on five. And take that stack. Oh, no. Okay, so he's up. He's up. He's up. He still has all the clan streak SRM 10. The clan... He are small. He gets to go. He's pulling back, pulling away. And he's he had to gain maximum distance. He didn't flip around. Okay, excellent, excellent. We got Spiff. Let's get him out of line of sight here. Pull all the way back. Give some shielding to the bunnies. Oh, look at that. Phantom gain plus two local ECM minus visibility and sensor signature for two turns. Yes. Usually, I think you have to do that beforehand, but maybe not yet. RNG favored him for sure. All right, Amiel. I mean, at this point, we still have a decent amount of armor compared to the rest of the bunnies. So let's tuck over. Okay. Arm up. Let's go. In the distance, we see the Drift Shag. Who can we hit indirect? I don't know if I necessarily want to do that, but I mean, it can be helpful. 12, 12% on that. Sure. Oh, that <laughs> that actually hit. Oh my gosh. Well, he's definitely stressed out, this poor dragonfly. He's sitting on eight structure right now. He's coming around. He's within our... He's within our range of our ECM coverage. Angel ECM. And we got Mac. We just need to keep cycling back and forth back and forth so we're 10 we got our clan lrm 15 i'm gonna go ahead and try and take any shot at the dragonfly six percent 
10%. All right, we're, we're, we're going to have to go for it. 6%. He's got eight structure. Got the Taking the shot. And we with it. That's okay. That's okay. I didn't expect it, but nope, it would have nope. been nice. And then one more for them. Oh, this is close. <laughs> we still have a good chance, though. We have a great chance. But, oh, my God. Hang in there. Oh, stray shot with high explosive bombs. I think those are the last of the racks. Where did those racks go? They went out this direction. Wow. Good thing the bunnies were clear. All right, we got HP and the anti-battle armor bun. Very, very good at hitting hard things to hit. This is still burning. I guess we could walk through. That's that's rough. If we hop, we can't hop very far. I still need to change that. All right, we're, we're going into the burn. It's still burning. We'd like the green if possible. That's 65 on Chameleon Carabidae. LBXAC10. And this guy. There it is. All right. The Dragonfly VTOL is off the field. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Vergent. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We are currently in a fight against very advanced, well, no longer, the Kuritans and Clan Ice Hellion. And they are very close to swarming the bunnies who were involved in maybe a stack pole or two. That's 11. Gosh, it's so far away. I mean, I guess we'll we'll come out this way. I like the fact that we've got the shielding from this thing, which is why I wish I could kind of waypoint away and come back in. This takes us to seven, but it's just bringing us closer to more fire. So in the name of safety, we'll lose the coverage this turn and then we'll get it back on the next turn. Yeah, we got a wreck into. We got to get back, back, back. I wish I could really, really wish that we'd be able to get ourselves the um, the ace pilot, ace pilot on this. We're really unsteady, so we're just going to go and embrace. Angel ECM coverage. Helping out the rest of the bunnies. Really want the VTOLs out of here if possible. And we'll see what we can't connect with. We'll try anything. All right, good. Tandem, tandem rounds. We've got some connections. That's great. He's currently on eight. 13 in the distance with a Shadow Hawk. Oh boy. You aren't still getting chewed up by a VTOL. This VTOL, he expended all of the high explosive bombs. We got the Clan LBXAC10. And we have already eliminated one of the VTOLs. So I think. So we got Mac. He's on eight. So we might, might be able to. That's 10. If I stay in the coverage, maybe it'll protect us, right? Out. We'll take the shot. I'm on it. We got to try everything. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. We actually have an FCS flak equipped on one of the bunnies. So that helps with the evasion, ignore, and the recoil. And I think the ECM is seriously saving our day. And we've all... Well, four of us have C3I as well. All right. Dertz. We'll actually go passive. We'll go into the burning. We've got speed. 24. Stack him. There it is. We can do this. We can do this. It's going to take a little bit. A lot better than shooting a battle armor, I got to say. Drift shag in the distance. They don't have direct line. Yeah. If we can, if we can just keep moving as a bunch, we're going to be able to cover each other. Oh, boy. That's at LBX AC 10. All right, HB. He actually has a very good chance, probably out of everybody, the best chance to connect here. Let's go stealth activated. We're going to go ahead and back it on up. I don't know if we've got active jamming on him, so actually I'm going to actively jam. We'll back it up here. Oops. Oh my gosh. Did I misclick? Yeah, I misclicked. Great. <laughs> we misclicked. Oh well. Oh boy. We had 
that guy would probably be down if I didn't misclick. But we just want to make it more challenging on ourselves, you know? 8%. Yeah, we'll try and ping. Center and pair. There we go. A little bit in the breach. I think that hit something good. Sometimes if you double click instead of saying, yeah, I'd like to move, it just finishes it out. <laughs> finishes it out for you. So the 16 is the chameleon, yeah? We got Kit Fox. He's on 16, so that's done. So 14 is here. 14 there. Then seven. Then in the distance. So it's all the way out on seven. So we still have we still have a chance of it. Let's go back. And we can at least get some medium pulses, perhaps. And if not, we can at least maybe lock him down. That'll help a lot for us. And then we can get debts. Just kind of tuck on back. Very nice chance to hit now. Very nice chance to hit. So we'll actually go active. Pull it back. And go for the blue. Heck yes! There we go. VTOL out of the sky. <laughs> That's going to help so much. Lethal damage on that VTOL. Amazing. Smokey the Bear says, only you can prevent weapon-based wildfires. That's true. That's true. But unfortunately, Smokey wasn't here to do jack squat. So we decided that we would just, you know, give him another another article to write about so that he can have his job still. No, but <laughs> God, I'm such a dick. That, that's fine. That's fine. No, Smokey's really cool. I, I dig Smokey, yeah. Uh, we got Akin to. We'll get on over. We can just kind of capture him a little bit there. Can we hit him? 30, we might be able to tag Barrage. I don't know if we actually attached to him. I think... Yeah, I think we managed to. That's great. And we can actually... Bring ourselves... I guess we actually have to get into the burn to make this happen. So, yeah, let's do it. We've got high explosive. We'll tune that down and send it. There we go. Excellent. Look at that. It's coming along. Just like we were saying. So right now we're sitting in the Seth's shield. The electronic warfare shield. And we'll zoom over back into it. Go indirect. Just hope he doesn't run towards us. Yeah. Bunny's just having a... Wow, you can see the burn spreading. It's just... Oh my god, it's eating the whole land. <laughs> this reminds me of Sim City or something. The natural disasters. Except this is anything but natural. This is the unnatural disasters of Sim Battletech. Yep. That guy's on 13. I'd like it if we could leg him or something. Oh, that's not good. 55, 55. Oh my god. Yep, that's not good. All right, deaths. Well, we got to push. We got to push. Here we go. Vigilance. And let's just stack that guy. That's the right. Sim Scorched Earth. <laughs> hey there, Ashamas. Good to see you. Welcome. Uh, what do you mean? It's the Bunny League? Of course we naturally set the world on fire. <laughs> Why? You, are you trying to tell me that Taylor Swift wrote the song about yeah. the Bunny League? I got that ER large. Uh, let's actually hold for a second. We're going to go passive. There we go. 33. Thank you, Tank. Thank you. Uh, having read some of it, how would you feel there was a small point in the book where a couple of McWarriors are joking with each other when someone cracks a joke? Oh, uh, if, if it's what I think it is, I mean, if it fits in the lore, I guess that's okay. But I, I mean, I know just me personally, and I don't really, I'm, I'm a rather sp special case in today's time, I think. I mean, I, I probably would be a little uncomfortable, but I mean... I would imagine I'm guessing most people wouldn't. I, I don't I don't really know if that if that makes sense, yeah. Oh, we're just gonna send a singleton ping out here, yeah. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. No worries. Like I wouldn't be able to read it 
at the local library or anything to the kids, but <laughs> the bunny league dated Taylor Swift. Well, I don't know about that. Let's not, let's not have any visions of grandeur or anything, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm a benchmark. Oh, really? Oh, oh, well, thank you. I mean, I don't know if I'm necessarily the target audience, but I mean, I definitely enjoyed what I read so far. Let's just go in and hold all these and we'll actually tune these down to the six. That's actually the norm. And then we'll just send the tag and hope we connect. No joy, no joy. Uh, then clearly this song wasn't about us. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Why am I thinking Taylor Swift? I meant Ellie Goulding. I'm sorry. Ellie Goulding. The gonna let it burn, burn, burn. That one, yeah? All right. We'll catch you later, h -bonds. Thanks so much for stopping by, yeah? Got our Maxim. And we'll go ahead and send... That's five. We'll hold here. I live to serve. And we got our Seth. This is our left. That's our right. So I guess we'll double back this way. We'll give our right to the enemy. Got it, Commander. Because we have 115 available. Uh, we got Dertz. I mean, we really need to... That's 109. Yeah, we need to we need to push. So we'll go passive so that he has more protection. We're not going to turn on this. Well, we could turn on the supercharger just so that we have more speed. That's a 50% multiplier. It's kind of crazy. We're heading through flames. Get over to the side. Large X pulse 46, 52. Shot the Shadowhawk. Wow, go dead. And he's unsteady. That's incredible. I didn't know it dealt like stability damage or something. That's nuts. And currently we're stealth and passive. Okay, great, great. We're giving ourselves the best shields possible. We are large, unsteady. Look at that. And they're a landing. That is excellent. So he's currently... Yep, yep, yep. He's going to clear that. And he whiffs it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't think he... Is it shot and move? Ice pilot? No, so he doesn't have evasion still, and he's over threshold. That is fantastic. Let's hold. Waiting for my opening. All right, fourteen. Is that a pass? Wow, did they pass? Why would he pass? Oh my god. Standing by. All right, Detective Bun. There's the green. But actually, does Drift Shag gone yet? So it's Conjurer. And drift shag. So let's hold. So conjurer. I do not want to send my back to the drift shag. So they whiff it. Look at that supercharger helping out deaths there with a passive protection. And he does not move. Wow, they're just turreting it up. Walk it in. Kinetic. You act to two. You act on one shot. There it is. Oh my god, that is so good. And we got Spiff. I mean, I'm just gonna keep pushing and facing the right to him, and we'll hold. We got Mac. Since he's on nine, I'm gonna hold. Let the drift shag go. There it is. There it is. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And Detective Bun gets to go in. Great, great. How's everyone doing on a Friday? With it's so far, so good, Kralik. At least, at least for me. Hopefully, the bunnies are doing well as well. Yeah. How are you? All right, we got shots on the back. We're gonna arm up. Full set. Stack to the back of the Kit Fox. Soften him up. And we got the Maxim. Kind of in the forest, not really the best for it, but we'll go indirect to make sure that we're not losing any bunnies and we'll hold. Standing and bun ping ping to hold. Okay, so now the tick. Roger that. Digging in. This guy's breached in two places. He's hot. Yep. Anti battle armor bun. So we've got 15, we've got 12, we've got 9. Oh, 16, 16. So next one conjurers up. Next one conjurers up. Anti battle armor bun. That's 48. That's 24. Oh, hey, Vugaz. Good to see you. Welcome, 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 readers. Hopefully, you're having a lovely, lovely Friday. Yeah. High five. 
you're joining us right now we're currently fighting against the clanners hopefully you're doing well stellar Ra oh right you guys are playing stellar or stellaris is that right that's freaking awesome done work for the weekend so now i can kick back and relax and we'd like to hear it. high five yeah welcome back hey the black claw good to see you welcome if you're joining us right now we are testing out some new tech so far it's working out pretty well yeah it's a good day look at that ping that breach that open there yeah not stellaris but worth under Ooh, and terra tech this time not the beam ng yeah beam ng dot drive i think is what it's called you said oh yep yeah, we're still safe the definitely gonna have to repair that though yeah no beaming no beaming today You've been you've been crashing it up in a controlled and beautiful way. All right, we're we're gonna charge over. We're gonna give our right side to him. I guess we do have pulses, so we could kind of push this, and we can EWS ping and get them locked down. Yeah. Anything cool happened today on uh, War Thunder and Terra Tech? Yeah. I'm here. We got Dertz on the push, and we're gonna stay in the road, and we'll go in and stack from close by here we go beautiful so far so good i i was having some trouble the other day and this time around it seems like after kind of doing a little more research and kind of slowing it down and reorganizing things it seems to be going a lot better thank you for asking yeah terra tech was fun it was actually chill i love it friday chill fridays are the best chill fridays are the best there's usually so much going on during the week it's really nice to be able to take a moment yeah and it's gonna be our last kinetic hold we still have high explosive though here's the chill fridays high five and bun ping ping to hold and on 12 this guy is definitely not having a good time caps yeah no i like the hat or what is it well and no worries about the caps lock thank you the hat is a neuro well we call it the neuro helmet 2.0 it is a bunny and it does the <laughs> it does the thing it does the thing yeah thank you so much all right you got our maxim out here we're gonna at least get the high ground maybe we can land it we got five one eight i mean we might as well try otherwise we're not shooting at all yeah oh we actually tagged him there yeah what did you play in war thunder Ooh. And then finally nine, that is the Drift Shag. He is well positioned and well armed to take out the Detective Bun. And he goes for the Anti-Battle Armor Bun instead. That is totally fine. We can come right on behind him. Smack him one, yeah. All right, excellent. I think we got this one in the bag. It's just going to be a cautious movement, but I think we got this one in the bag. We got that Kid Fox F2. His right size busted. He's trying to protect it. He's going backwards. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> we probably head right back. Give him our left instead. Holy crap. All right, anti-battle armor bun. Coming around the backside here. And we're actually going active. And send it. There it is. We got the breach. I'm going to look for a bit. Come back later. All right, Vugas. Thanks so much again for the raid. I hope that you have a good one. And we'll catch you later. Have a high five, man. For All right, Detective Bun. Let's get in there. And we're going to tune up since he's got that breach all the way to 12. And give him the ding. Here we go. Oh, the Black Claw. Thank you so much for the follow. And welcome more officially to the Bunny League, man. I really, really appreciate it. Have a good one, yeah? So we stack that guy. I don't know if we hit too much. Oh, boy. He's coming around. Oh, that's not nice at all. Oh, boy. Okay. I was a little worried about that, but I, I guess I don't have to worry too much. So what we want to do is go in this direction. Just make sure our left is facing him because that's where we actually have armor. And then now we actually have a line and we'll send it. There we go. That's coming in on his left, so it's not breached yet. We've got Dertz. Dertz is going to be able to get in on a kick. This is excellent. This is kind of Dertz's specialty. Kind of give him a nice snap kick to the back of the Conjurer. Hopefully, we'll be able to blow out one of those legs there. And no go, but 
guns, guns, guns. Let's open that up. All right, got a breach there. We got Spiff. He's got the pulses. And with a Shadowhawk behind us, he's going on 14, he's going on 13. So that's really, really soon. Currently, there's our left, there's our right. We don't want to lose this one, so we're actually just going to play it safe. Give him our right, and we will hold. I was very tempted to get in there and start attacking, so Death is kind of on his own for a moment, but I think he can manage. I hope. Oh, okay, never mind. He destroyed our main weapon. All right. That's unfortunate. He went, I mean, he went hot for it, so I guess he paid the price, but oof. So we can move in support. So that's our first component loss of the battle. That's kind of, I'm, that's impressive to me. And we're coming around. I don't know if I'm going to shoot. I think we'll turn that off. We'll go over to high explosive, not the drift shag, but to the conjurer. Oh, that went high. Bad luck. And now, is it bun ping ping? Yep. All right, hold on this. 18. Anti-battle armor bun. I mean, we could definitely finish this guy off. We'll come around to the back. Give him a nice swift kick. Dubbing all the lasers. I don't think he's going to survive this one. Ooh. And guns. He's got a breach right there. I mean, most of these are probably going to get in. There we go. All right. Drift Shag is out. We basically have three Clanner mechs on the field. We got a Kintu. They'll come on back, and we gotta we gotta chase this guy down. Get him under Angel ECM and provide targeting data for the rest of the bunnies. Tag him up. Give him the DACA. There we go. He's bleeding out. Excellent. And he's tagged as well, so that's pretty huge. That brings us back over to the conjurer. Okay, come on. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. We're at 29. We want to get behind the Shadowhawk to see our, if possible. So we'll get dead. We'll oh, coming around. There we go. And we'll go straight to core. Oh, I didn't realize. I forgot that he shut down. So we get that called shot. That's awesome. So he's back online and got Amul. Yeah, it's a sad loss. It is. It is. But I have a feeling we'll have many, many opportunities for some loot here that might be able to help out with that sad feeling, right? All right, we're going with the left again. You turned off the supercharger. I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, did I? <laughs> I might not have Night Dancer. That's a good point. I thought I did, but it's, now that I think about it, I might not have. Well, hopefully it didn't explode. I think I'd know. So let's see. Uh, we did not turn it off. Thank you for reminding me. It's a 36% <laughs> chance to explode. That could have been bad. All right, we're going. And we're going to ding the back here. We remember the first time. I didn't remember the second time. You just saved us. You just saved us, Night Dancer. Thank you so much. Well, this guy can move. He's up. He's coming down. Oh, I forgot him. Oh, no. Holy crap. Wow, we almost lost the whole mission because I forgot. All right. Well, let's get in. Let's see. They're on 15, 15. 15 can still go, right? Yeah. So even though... That's the shot here. 65. So even though it's a low chance to hit with the offensive push, I'm going to do this. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it. Oh, actually, we'll target the leg just so that we can push him back on the initiative order. You need the carrots. It would have gone boom. It would have. It would have. Hey. Amul. Okay, let's go. Shot. Okay. He's on 10 now. We absolutely have to drop out that conjurer. Absolutely need to. And send it. 
Oh my god. <laughs> How is he still fighting? That's crazy. That hit something good. Yeah, it did hit something. It hit everything. Wait, and bun ping ping. Come on, put this guy to bed. Oof. Wow, that guy. No joy. He literally has singleton structure in different places. All right, dead. So we turn off 51% chance for the supercharger to fail. So we're going to get right to the rear. Vigilance. And stack. There it is. There it is. He still has Clan Streak SRM4, though. And he might try to finish the mission. We got a kin too. How far can we go? We just have our... Oh, see, we can't even hit that guy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a negatory. All right, well... Oh, crap. I'm away. Double time. And send it. There we go. Okay, so right now there's just the two left. We have a breach, a serious breach on the weak side of... Ooh, Spiff can move. Spiff can move. We don't have the jet booster. We can pull this away. Just get the heck out of dodge. Okay. Oh, thank God. I think we I think we saved it. Thank you, bunnies, for your help. I totally love the superchargers. They're so important to keep your med mechs, medium mechs alive. Fire starters and co are so deadly with superchargers. Well, I mean, just our ability to be able to move around and get more evasive pips, it definitely helped with depths for sure. I know this guy can move sooner, so let's give this guy a swift kick. He's the one that took out our large X pulse. There we go. And give him the guns. And he's out. Beautiful. That leaves just the one. Just the one on the field, and we can wrap this up. Oh my gosh. Wow. This was a little bit closer than I had anticipated, but a lot of fun. And our loot table is very, very exciting. Oh, that's really bad. Oh my god. We do have a standard Excel. Hold. Wow, that could have been. Nev it's not over till it's over, I guess, right? So. Hold. HB. Got it. No shooting, just running. And ping. I, I, 10. Come on, guy. There we go. All right. Oh, that was totally a milk run, just as I expected. Good work, bunnies. Wow, thanks, Darius. All right, there we go. We got a win. Well, the bunny league suffered a pilot loss very, very close. But no, congratulations to those who had the faith. High five. Thank you so much for your help. I don't think I could have done that without you. We took on very advanced draconis combine combatives we took on a two stars worth of clan ice hellion that were approaching the same time fortunately we had that really really great seth on our side with the ews in the sky but uh we are learning <laughs> and things exploded and things could have gone very very wrong but we got lucky and at the same time also played well yeah he felt lonely and wanted to go home it's true yeah all right, thanks so much. Yeah, GG indeed. So injured for 20 days. He's not our guy, but they got their thing back. So good for them. Our bunnies definitely got breached. We lost the large X pulse. We can take care of that, no problem. We lost our UAV. I'm not sure how I feel about that thing yet. Basically, it's blown out of the sky immediately. So right now we look, we can get ourselves a Carabidae VTOL. That's the one with the Clan LBX AC-10 and the two-time bomb high explosives. We've got a chameleon out there, which I wasn't too impressed with. We got three out of four of a conjurer. We can get a full dragonfly VTOL. That's the one with the clan ER small and the five clan streak SRM2. That's really cool. And that only is going to take two parts to grab because they're stacked. We can get a full kit Fox F2. We've got the Phantom F. Has a busted clan double heat sink kit. Busted core. It's not an Omni, I think. Oh, no, it is. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Okay. Clan Guardian ECM inside. Got the fancy Phoenix Hawk. Got the Rifleman 2N. That's the one with the quad mediums and the two PPCs from the Draconis Combine. Shadowhawk 2C2 parts. Three out of four. Viper Prime. A lot of busted stuff inside. Uh, we got the Vulture Mark II. 
Yeah, that's cool. Vulture Mark II. It, a lot is destroyed, but as a chassis, I mean, that's pretty good. Got our AMS. It had the AMS Mark II. There's the Hyper Assault Gauss Wrist. It looks like it's... So 19 tons, 180 damage, 780 meters. Hag ammunition. Lots of stack... Like, like stacks of six. We've got Clan Active Probe. Clan Case 2. Clan Into Steel stack of three. Clan Guardian ECM stack of two. Eight Clan Double Heat Sinks. Sensors Tracker. That's amazing. This is big. The ammunition. MRM Asset as well. Yeah. Rope Tech has with its risky. You just. But you just look askance at the 15 ton plane and it falls out of the sky. The Chameleon's okay. It can be really anything. is an easy mech. Well, I definitely want that. And we can grab that. And as far as the vulture goes, we can get that too. And then we can choose one more thing, right? So let's go ahead and disassemble the rest. So what do we have? So we've got seven clan streak SRM twos in one stack, two clan small pulses. We've got all the all the amazing parts out here. Kit Fox, Phantom, Phoenix Hawk, two for the Rifleman two in. Two of the bomb hikes. Okay, so two Clan ER large. We did lose. You gotta remember, we did lose that large X pulse, so that's looking really good too. Heavy flamer, you can get six Clan ER smalls. Five clan end of steel. The engine excel to sell. Three Clan Guardian ECM, four Clan Ferrofibrous. I mean, that's amazing. There's the eight Clan Double Heat Sinks, 32 standard jump jets, <laughs> two tons MOAMS, SRM Clan Ammunition, Clan SRM4, Armored Cow Plus, Sensors Tracker. I mean, God, I, I, I want that. AMS, Clan AMS. Clan Active Probe. I mean, that's like one of the best. And Clan Medium Heavilies. Oh my God. Wow. Hey, uh, Heading HB and Bunnies. Thank All Access, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend. And we'll catch you on the next one, man. High five, yeah? Okay. What do we choose? We can choose one more. I really want the Sensors Tracker. So actually, I'm, I'm just going to put that on there just for now. This has a very, very good anti-air factor, yeah? The three ECMs don't look bad because if I'm not mistaken, you're relatively few. Oh, ECMs? No, I actually have a good amount. I think this one looks really good because if you compare all of the active probes in the entire, like, gamut, the clan active probe so far is the best one that we've got. But we have one that has not been placed yet. But, I mean, one ton for this is, like, so good. It's so good. I, I might get that. But sensors tracker is so nice as well. So what else do we have? We've got... Armored Cal. We are very low on Clan Double Heat Sinks, but those are more readily available. And then there are the Clan ER Large. You know what? We'll just go with this. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Because this is all long range. Atlas long range firepower. And it gives you a little anti air. That's so hard. Okay. Three, two, one. So we got one part Carabidae, we've got one part Viper Prime, we have an entire Vulture Mark II, we've got the Risk Hag and the Ammunition Double Bin, we've got the Basic Sensors and then the Tracker. That is very, very nice. Oh my gosh, wow, what a thing. So we have the Crossbow B as an Omnimech at 65 tons for a Heavy. I have... I'm very tempted to just... I might just drop that out and uh, scrap that. And now this is our first heavy, yeah? We got the Vulture. Yeah, we got a whole Vulture Mark II. The thing is, is we destroyed a lot on that. That thing was taken apart or refused to give up. But I think maybe, just maybe the AMS Mark II in there survived. And that is great. Because I remember that being sort of like, that was the AMS that I used at the end of the game in the first career. I don't know if it's changed at all. But I mean, at least it's got to be better than our Bolt-On AMS, right? <laughs> So 
that could be amazing there were so many just by itself it was the last thing standing we shot so many missiles and it'll be like nine out of ten shot out of the sky nine out of ten it was being shot by the clan ice hellion as well so here's the vulture mark ii based on mad dogs looted during operation bulldog scobell mechworks released this design having to rely on inner sphere technologies forced them to upgrade the chassis by 10 tons despite sporting clan grade base armor and into steel and a permanently mounted chin turret oh what it comes with it that's awesome yeah that's awesome vultures can dish some good firepower yeah they're usually pretty fragile but with a mark ii it sounds like it's like 70 tons instead yeah you got a 60 and a 65 ton omni mech I have a 60. Oh, are you talking about the mad dog? Well, in this case, I guess this one's like a, a 70 ton. Who knew? So let's see what we got here. It sounds like they were they were trying to replicate, but they couldn't. So if we actually we can replace this end of steel, no problem. If we do a repair. So there's ammo, AMS, MML, five risk. This turret mount is turret mount is fixed in there. That's amazing. My God. Here we had light gauss rifle i think times two emergency cooling system heat sink kit prototype oh so that's gone this light gauss rifle was salvageable we do have where is the oh there's ams did make it holy crap ams made it yeah that's crazy wow we lucked out so okay it came with a uav compartment plus one visibility plus one percent sensor signature i i don't know I'm, I'm gonna hold that for now i mean it's just carry weight right we had the medium pulse laser magna wow mml5 i believe i still have some more because i remember taking off some mml launchers here we go mml5 risk i mean <laughs> we even if we wanted to we actually have a legit replacement like we literally have the thing that came off of it so that's kind of cool not that we have to do that and we even have a replacement double bin that's hilarious and as far as a medium pulse magnet i'm just i'm just curious how much can we replace on this thing we have a medium pulse raker the magna is what 240 meters the raker is 240 meters as well but it's 15 times two versus the four times three times three. Oh my god wow plus two chance to cluster and this is plus a uh, 20 chance for the two i mean i don't i think that's like splitting hairs at this point so we'll if anything we can even just like replace that just to be yeah i'd place the ammo in the lake oh yeah, yeah 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 right now right now this is not um i'm just going through and seeing how much we can replace not necessarily that we're going to do this specifically but that yeah that's a very good point so they had a light gauss rifle they had the double heat sink kit they had lrm clan half ammo bin oh because they had the srm clan half bin that's what it was so if we were to get our ammo let's say for i don't know if we have oh here we go oh yeah lrm fast cam bin oh my god i forgot holy crap well this is mml5 we don't necessarily have to use an mml they do jam the risk ones do so if we had like clan lrm 10 then that would be more efficient and we can even use the fast cam so that's really cool we can get this in the leg we can pull off the clan case we could get like a clan lrm 10 a clan lrm 20 i mean why not and then at that point we'd have the lrm fast cam we could have we need clan lrm swarm clan lrm we have all kinds of types so we'll just get the standard right here and we can actually utilize it i mean that's a lot of ammo that's 240 that's 24 salvos <laughs> but very very cool and we've got the bin and then that would replace the mmls yeah and we have the medium pulses and then they had a light gauss rifle i mean we can actually fit in even more we can go with we can get the advanced zoom because we actually have the range to strike out that far we come with a fixed double heat sink kit here yeah use up two tons very quickly with lrm 20. yeah still 10 tons left what kind of ballistic in the arm it's a bit too small to see this is a light gauss rifle that just came with it which is kind of cool they've got all risk cockpit fixed in there that's really really nice we actually have battle computers too so if we need to we can do that heat efficiency right now is at negative 18 
despite the Clan LRM20. That's really, really nice. Uh, we've got a lot that we can stick in here. Uh, we still have... We can cram this full of machine guns as well if we wanted to go close to range, but we've got the LRMs right now. I don't think we've got Clan SRMs, and I don't know if I want to get too close. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I want to get too close. We do have that hang with us 19 tons. So if we wanted to... I mean, if we... <laughs> If we wanted to, I'm just saying, we could. There is the bin. So. I'm curious if. <laughs> that maybe that's maybe that's ludicrous. I don't know, but it's cool. I like it. Um... Now we've got two tons. So obviously we want to make sure that we're hooked into the network. We've got all that and that's going to take up space. So it's not it's not like it's just free space, right? I mean, like, but that's really cool. I, I dig that. So we've got our and our heat efficiency is what? Negative one. So yeah, may, maybe that's a bit much. We could. Yeah, maybe that's a bit much, but it's cool. I'm I'm yeah, I'm torn. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Maybe we can actually do this. Oh, we can. Great. Now we have more space. Oh, that's fantastic. And it comes with case. That's great. Look at that. So a worse clan Gauss rifle, the small Gauss rifle. Oh, you're talking about the light Gauss that it had? Yeah. Hey, Cyrus. Good to see you. High five. Yeah. We're just outfitting our new Vulture 2. There she is. She's very pretty. She's missing an arm, apparently. But we're going to fix that. No problem. Uh, let's see. We got... Ooh. Well, let's let's take a look at the ECM. We don't have C3I to put in it right now, so unfortunately we can't do that. We could do our active probe. That's going to give us the maximum sight range. We could do the Guardian ECM like that, and then we've got one and a half, right? So um, from there, we could get... We've got C3 Slave, Supercharger. We've got Armored Cow, but honestly, the cockpit there gives us injury resist guts and two tactics oh my god wow that's that's good i don't have anything better than that we've got fire control system improved i don't have access to another fcs predator this already comes with breaching shot and one evasion pip ignore oh my god how, this stuff's all good and then of course what we can do is the sensors tracker this is bonus to two to sensor detection, so we'll lose that, but we'll get all the increased accuracy at extreme range, which honestly the, the hag's going to do, right? Yeah. You love the crunch of rogue tech, but I never get deeply enough into it for the true power to be on display. Well, let's see. Add some ER mediums. Well, I'm thinking maybe heat sinks because currently we're at negative one, right? So it would be nice, like negative one on the delta. So we can go one and two. Oops. And then maybe like drop some. We're at negative 13. I guess we'll pull one here. And now we're at negative seven. I mean, it would be nice if we had a half bin. I guess the Guardian ECM, the active probe. Guardian ECM, we can go in with a clan version. It's not as strong, but we're not going to be right in everyone's face anyway. So we could do that. And then that'll allow us to get that second so that we're a lot, a lot cooler, right? So that's not too bad. And then all we got to do is just go dink like that not too bad we've got ourselves our very first heavy yeah i would have mistaken the flexible slots on the hyper gauss for ammo oh yeah 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 yeah. no i hear you on that it does look like it we've got a lot more that we can do to this but that's not a bad start so we've got our vulture bun <laughs> for lack of a better word or maybe the scavenger bun i don't know the haggy bun is there anything else that we would want on this i'm not thinking about we can't do the gyro excel because obviously it's an omnimech I don't think we've got our... We could do composite if we ever wanted to, but we don't really have a need right now. I don't know if we can stick Omnipod arms. Cannot be used with the Omni restriction. We can here. But I know we've got weapon mount recoil. No. I, I know we had recoil plus. That would probably fit over the shoulder and the upper arm, so it's a possibility that that might work. Uh, we've got our engine, Artemis 4. We're not going to do that for this. We don't have our C3i or anything, so we can't get that until we get some more. And I think everything's looking not too bad, yeah? So let's get in 21 days, and let's do it. We're going to have ourselves a heavy, yeah? 
Oh, that had me laughing like crazy. Was it from Monday? Uh, which one? Oh, the... <laughs> no, this... Yeah, so I, I put this up today. This is actually from the the Wednesday stream when we fought the boss. So yeah, that that's <laughs> it. It was a roller coaster of a ride. Hey, Taryn, good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely, lovely Friday. Yeah, the scavenger bun. Oh, we can we can update that. Yeah, and thank you so much, Classy. Thank you so much. One day here, we'll get this forward. And we got dead. So Dex, we're going to have to replace. He had a large expulse that was six tons worth. Yeah, I was feeling all the emotion. Yeah, it was it was quite a roller coaster. I feel it every time I look back at it. Yeah, so you're you're not far off the mark at all. We got large pulse. I mean, we had the expulse at seven tons. The large expulse was seven tons as well at 55. And this is at 57. But I think this has extended range, right? So this is like 600 meters. And this is 540. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. We, it, it could be worse. Clan large improved heavy lasers, 67 heat. That's four. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, we could just throw in another pulse and we'll just have less range. The ER large is at 36 heat at five tons. That's not too bad, but I think we'll, we'll go with a pulse. It's nice to just be able to hit stuff. Yeah. And then we'll max out that armor. There we go. And we're looking at, I think, 115 around. Is that right? So we'll go 115, 115, 115. Actually, we'll maybe bump it up to 117, yeah? One side torso has too low armor. Yeah, they. we were actually missing, like, all the armor. The clip is a roller coaster and have It really is. I definitely... <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so, if you can't tell... And the bunnies were desperately trying to tell me what needed to happen. And Panzer Bun's life was on the line and he made it out okay. So I'm, I'm happy about the result, but my. <laughs> there we go. So 16 days. This is just all about the armor. Obviously, we're going to need to kind of recoup some costs here, but that shouldn't be too hard. We'll get the repair. We'll get that all up. The armor saved the day again. Yeah. There we go. And then we can also grab... Ooh, we've got the UAV compartment. I guess we can revisit that one. I'd like to... If we have the opportunity, I'd like to try and get some C3. So uh, we'll keep an eye out if we do see, like, the Wobbies or Comstar. Because maybe, maybe they'll be generous and get us what we need. Because right now, we actually have enough to drop six mechs. So we just need two more C3i available to us. And we'll be right as rain, you yeah? So right now, we just got to stop and sell. So we'll go over to the storage. We've got our lights. We got the fire starter, stiletto, caraba day. I don't think we'll see another one of those anytime soon. That is very specific, unless that's like a really common thing. Uh, Viper, prime part, heavy. I think I might drop out the crossbow. It has very, very, very little... Um, free tonnage and at least then I get the money back and if I were to scrap it I get one million I'm gonna scrap it all right we just scrapped it there we go so that it feels weird to do but we just scrapped it I think I think we'll find a lot better as we go so we're already outside of the danger zone and we'll just push this forward and then we'll go and apply any points and then we can see what else the system has because it's a three skull green we'll hold right here i do want to keep the vulture a little lower just so we can get some of the other ones forward and we do need to come on over so curiously enough so we go command center i think there's a flare-up it was going on we left it nothing too crazy that we can take on at the moment is there anywhere else that we'd want to go this has been pretty good to us actually and if we go to the store i believe it is still frr right if so then i'll stay because it does have the tick yeah we'll go over on the tick and then we'll we'll be able to see all the new stuff so we'll push forward oops hello and we're gonna go over the finance report we'll pay the amount we'll still be in the black barely 
and then hopefully we'll be able to see some new stuff out there so there we go one four and i'm tempted to get an update in the engineering bay actually now that i think about it but we don't have a lot of cash yeah moonlighting let her keep working at it you lose an ac5 and get a lac5 instead okay <laughs> It's part of a learning process too sometimes that can end being a roller coaster quite often it feels like it does end like a roller coaster all right let's go over to the barracks we'll get the bunnies pointed up we got amuel antonides shappy dead between guts i feel like the guts resolve generation and reduction on fail effect resist i guess we'll go for base hit chance and reduction to jam HB, Mac. Yeah, same thing for Mac. I mean, he's shooting like all the time. We got Superior and Tank. And then we'll head over to the Engineering Bay. Whoever just sawed off the AC5. Yeah, that was that was akin to. He got us a LAC5 is what he did. Structural Reinforcement will hold. Look at all this drop tonnage increase. Ooh, that's so reasonable. Leopard Upgraded Communication Network. Actually, where do you get that? Now that I think about it. Epsilon authorization. That's for super heavies. Terrain mapping sensors. Pre-mission terrain map enabled. Huh, what is that? The current sensor systems have lacked the capabilities to properly map the terrain in our mission drop zones. With some simple rewiring and adding the proper software to the Argo computers, we can adapt the general sensor array to support terrain scans. Finally, I'd be able to see where to land in advance, no more accidentally landing in a swamp because Daria sent us to the wrong area. I don't know what effect this has, but that sounds not bad for 160,000. Yeah. Imagine giving an AC5 and getting an AC20. <laughs> but we'll get Just, you know, bore it out a little more. Just melt it down. Okay. Okay. So we'll let this tick forward. We want Death's Bun Mobile back and the ma mapping sensors. And then we'll stop by the store and then we can take a look at what is different yeah so right now we have we've got a hunter the interstellar mortar rhino fst flamer battle armor lrm4 the needler fire drake what is that Also known as flechette weapons, needler weapons are typically useless on the battlefield, specifically against battle suits, but it seems to be against protomex. Interesting. Bolt on tandem rocket, mini gun. Oh my god. Two ton mini gun. Oh. Canary UAV beacons. Engine heat sink. Mortar rounds. We've got the faction store on the tick. And it switched over. You got Avatar part, Grasshopper part, Hatchetman, Marauder 5S, Sprint VTOL, Stinger, Wraith. Ooh, Battle Armor Plasma Rifle. Love it. Medium Pulse Laser. See, that's awesome. That's really great. Gunnery Support. Ooh, excellent. Weapon Mount Recoil. Ammo AMS Half. That's always nice. I'm tempted by the Gunnery Support. That's just like free stats that can exceed the maximum. That's great. I think I'll grab that. <laughs> I think I'll grab that. And then we got eight days, right? So let's see. What do we got? Who could use the biggest help with it? I know Shooty Bun. There's Detective Bun. There's Anti-Battle Armor. I feel like Shooty Bun could. But then again, versus Life Support, getting extra gunnery would be would be awesome. The module's there to show you the minimap before the start of the battle. You can see before you accept whether you have a special terrain type. It's helpful if you know which map you're playing on before you go into battle. That's true. That's very, very true. Didn't I didn't know anything about that. So that's very exciting. I mean, I'll definitely take that. That's a big advantage. So we picked up our gunnery support. So we'll get that. That way, fancy bush bun can connect a little more often. It's like another percent. And then I think our UAV was on the detective button, right? So I'm really not sure how I feel about it. I mean, right now we don't have any charges for it anyway. So I'm going to pull that off and we'll just stick in the, the basic jammer for a little bit extra. Ooh, there we go. There it is. And then that I think will 
fit us better for the moment, right? And now I think once that completes, we're good, right? And we should have a Kintu back by the time the Vulture's back. There we go. Kintu's one day, but we can go ahead and name it the Scavenger Bun. There was an upvote for that one. It's not a part of the C3i network, but I mean, actually it would be really nice as part of the C3i network, but hopefully we'll, we'll pick something up in the future. We'll make do and let us go. There we go. Okay, so we get to bring our scavenger bun in for the very first time. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll bring down our the kit fox here. Let's shift this over because it's going to join the top row. Basically, anything in the top row has been tuned as of today. These two have not been touched yet, which is why they're still down there. Our bunnies should, in theory, have all their points, although I guess the kintu is still out, so we got to advance one day. There we go. Hold. We're on 14. Kintu's back. We're going to take a look at the barracks. Make sure they're good. They still have a point, so let's go with the piloting. And I'm actually going to save here. I have noticed that it's slowing down a little bit. It makes sense. We've been going for four hours. So maybe it makes means a good it's a good time to do a quick client reset. But before that, let's go in and take a look at what's in the command center because it's got to save in the background anyway. And we've currently got show the flank. What's the biggest thing we can do? We've got Bachal. Decap oh, wow. Look at that. You can see the map. That is so crazy. Our Ice Hellion enemies, a Bachal destroy base. We've got solo duel three and a half skull against Clan Ghost Bear. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm a little bit scared, but my God, that's a lot of cash. Okay, maybe this one's fast whether we lose or not right so oh god okay let's <laughs> this is not good but totally fine right let's see what do we got well you save that's true so how's the firepower output long range is good i guess we could like Sort of fast camera durability is higher, that's for sure. There's the Dersh Bun Mobile. I might. I feel more comfortable with the Dersh Bun Mobile, believe it or not. This is the Hag, sure. It's probably very powerful, but I feel more comfortable with this. So. I don't know if this is smart, but can we like, yeah. All right, here we go. Three and a half <laughs> solo duel in the Highlands. Last time we sent Ders out, he got his mech blown apart. So I'm a little nervous about this, but it should be interesting. Let's go in and get a bet. Why not? Yeah. Will the Bunny League, it's going to be a dual bet. It's going to be a win the dual bet. Win this duel. All right, there we go. Five minutes on the clock. Let's see what you got. The elevation and terrain types are shown in color like in the minimap in battle. Ah, okay. So like a... Well, I guess the one I've seen in, in the minimap is not exactly like topographical, but, but probably has a similar effect, yeah? So I'm hoping... I'm hoping... I mean, obviously at three and a half, they can bring a hundred tonner, right? <laughs> they can bring a hundred tonner. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? We do have a pulse... We do move pretty quickly. We do have a supercharger. We just have to really, really pay attention and think. We can stay passive. We won't go active right away. Um, it's probably going to be hard to hit because we don't have someone scouting for us. We're not part of a C3i network. So I don't know how bad this is going to be. But if we can pull it off, that's going to be a million C bills as a payout. Clan Ghost Bear technology on the board and one pick four. So there is that. So let's hope for the best. Maybe they'll send like a, I don't know, like a fire moth or something and, and with an assault inside. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Cross your fingers. What do we got here? Command interface initiated. It is a, is that a Hunchy 2C? Oh no. Well, actually the Hunchy 2C is incredibly deadly and can destroy someone in one salvo, but it is lightly armored, right? I know they said they're gonna send a proxy, but what? A lowly bunny? What a waste of a perfectly good duel. 
Yep, that's the guy, bunnies. Take him out. Don't worry, it'll be a Kodiak. I mean, it looks a little like a Kodiak. Right now, we got a Hunchy 2C. It's a Hunchy 2C, a full energy Hunchy 2C. Does that mean that they've got, like... If it's full energy, does that mean they have hyper lasers or something ridiculous? Right, we're going to turn on that supercharger. We need the speed. We're going to go ahead and move that acid up top. And we're going to go in and break all the way over at 10 evasion. Tune that up. We're going to have to turn it off on the next one. He has unknown, unknown. But we're on passive for maximum shielding hold. Disappeared for a second. All right, he's coming back online. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I don't know where they are. We can get seven naturally. If we break it on over, we can get eight. It's a laser hunchback. Means probably having full heat sinking and more leftovers than usual for armor. <laughs> We're getting eight. We're running the other way. What do we got out here? I don't know. We'll take a snap. Okay, we whip it there. What kind of range does he have? Is it like all medium? I guess we'll find out. He's pulling farther back. And then he double turned and came around. Ooh, what the heck is that? That hit pretty hard. And his heat's barely anything. It's got 804. Okay, so let's turn that super superchargers on six. Okay, move, move, move. We're in the water. We could break a line. Unless it's not the medium version yet. Your sensors are bad. No, it, yeah, it's, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. A lot of energy. 47. Send it. All right, got a little bit of a ding there. We need to close the distance very quickly, but I, I'm still not too sure yet. 32 with damage mitigation okay okay and this should be back to zero there we go so we'll go up supercharger on we can get seven large oh clan large chem lasers at least half of them that we can see there's four at least we're starting the stack very interesting not too sure what to think about that in the imposter is what he's called. Oh my god, that's dangerous. And we're at 6%. I'm going to shut that off. And we'll move. Stack them. It's a little better. Alright, we're going to take full damage on this. 45 on the leg. Okay, different place, different place. Hag could have been useful. Well, large one, probably not. Well. All right. Six on the side. I guess we could also go active as well. And we'll jam him. 72. Here we go. Obviously, he can punch and all that, but I'm trying to get on the side so we can just focus in on one place. We got a breach. Pop the arm. So it, it's all in that hunchy, apparently. It's all in the hunch. Patchwork materials. Oh, he can go again. He can go again. He can go again. What's the chance to connect? So we can't melee, unfortunately, but we can totally dump into that same side. I wish I could melee. Standing by. It's not allowing us to melee. So, I mean, God. We go passive. What's the chance? Still very, very good. We're shielded. All right, let's just... Do we know where the... We don't know where everything is, so... But I don't want to lose the speed. I mean, that will suck. <laughs> and he has what? barely anything i think we can pop that but this could be bad for us all right we're taking a big risk stack it that's his hunch i assume they're in there oh it's not oh no 
it went poorly the risk did not pay off oh he's backing out he's backing out chase him we can't why can't we kick him why can we not kick him you know maybe we go active is it because he's like jamming us and we don't know where he is even though he's standing right in front of us oh now we can kick him very interesting i don't wow all right do it do it there it is leg out leg out guns 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 so half on one side wow he's got a lot of battle computers down he goes 11 activations bleeding out take that nurse right morden i five. All right, he's, he's got that malice. He's got that malice. Dear God. All right, what's he got? What's he got? Is he going with a battle fist or? Ooh. Yeah, death is good. Death is good. Come on, get out. Get out. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> done and done. Great job, Death. Let's go home. All right, buddies. Total win, total win with a bunny league win with this duel. That is a resounding yes congratulations to those who had the faith that brings it on home that's a million t-bills and the bank and on top of that we got that one big four on a clan i don't know what would you call that it was called the imposter i don't know why it's called the imposter but a hunchy 2c and i saw a lot of battle computers in there so maybe there's more on the opposite side that is really really nice not too bad for a three and a half skull green good job debts 55 tons and he weathered the storm my guy my guy holy crap wow i mean just the money alone is huge look at nine hundred thirty-three thousand. clan ghost bear it's just an armor repair excellence and oh oh yeah we don't have enough for that we can't grab the whole thing it's one plus 20 we got one pick four so we've got oh clan double heat sinks excellent it's the hunchy 2c ip covered in hand-painted imagery of clan fluffy doggo there's little doubt anyone would fall for whatever this mech is trying to accomplish wait what wait a minute <laughs> at first glance a silhouette of a clan hunchy is unmistakable why this particular one is stuffed with inner sphere chemical lasers and advanced battle computers is nobody knows oh okay so oh my god they've got battle computer heat wow Oh my god, they've got a clan heat bank. Oh uh, boy. You know what? I'm going to take that BC heat. Three, two, one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got the... Okay, so I'm going to clear that. So we got a clan heat bank, BC heat, clan double heat sink kit. Let's go. That is so good. That is so good. That was so worth it. Holy crap, that's worth it. My god. See, it would, it would just be crazy if you had a thermal exchanger as well. That is really, really good. The BC Heat, I mean, I've seen many battle computers before in like the first time we played Rogue Tech, but the BC Heat was not only it's, it's gold, it's like necessary, but it, where, what, how often do you find them in an intact, right? So, wow. And the Heat Bank, a clan Heat Bank that's going to take up the slot. I mean, that's huge. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, it is Dr. Danger. Holy crap. Wow. So now might be a good time to go ahead and do a client restart. And then that way we'll be, get, be able to get in. Maybe we can even ding out two missions. Yeah, because then we're not waiting for it to load that long. Yeah. Hey, Antonides, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll catch you on Monday. High five, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe that. So we're going to be sitting on like two mil plus. So we can definitely get an engineering upgrade. That's awesome. And we can definitely install that. That's great. So where are we hot? Yeah. So if we go over to the mech bay, just kind of get this set up. We're at 2 million. We've got the, well, the scavenger bun is not super hot, right? I think we're okay. Because this has that hang. We're at actually in a negative delta. Yeah. Negative 13. But so heat bank. We're not using the battle computer, even though we could. That's the offensive push. I mean, it's just nice to have. We do have other computers, so I mean, we'll just hang on to it right now. I don't think anyone is actually using it. And then we've got a heat bank already here, but this might be better. I don't know. This is a standard heat bank. Yep. 30% resistance to heat damage take and minus 10 heat per turn. And if we look over here, we've got the clan version. It's a 20% resistance to heat damage taken less. Negative 6 heat per turn plus 4%. So less visibility and less of a sensor signature, but... How heavy is it, right? So the carrying, 
is 2.2 and this is 1.1 okay so it's lighter so if you don't if you've got a lighter mech and you you can't support a larger heat bank then you can use the clan version so what is running hot right now got the anti-battle armor bun i mean anything with stealth armor that's gonna be a uh although stealth armor is all about reducing your sensor signature so that would be kind of funny but i mean we could support it we absolutely can fit it take a look at that you can do it heat efficiency is uh negative 24 with it that's crazy and it's negative 18 before so that's cool hey shaw's good to see you welcome hopefully doing well on this lovely friday yeah and then we got the shooty bun this has a heat efficiency of negative one so definitely could use a little bit of help here on the shooty bun it does jam up with that clan uac 5 but uh i mean that could be very very helpful indeed i think i would love to have that on we got the bolt on ams being a little bit heavy but is there anything else that we can get in there that could be more useful i mean maybe not the bolt on but we can do the we can do the jammer instead right that's pretty nice that's pretty pretty nice there we go one day out it's gonna help us out there wow okay so let's get that repaired we'll have debts back before we know it we'll take a look at the command center and we'll do our reset of the client so what are we going to get it into when we get back we've got solo duel another one if we so chose this one against clan ice hellion at three skull oh rich Russell hoggy and businessman apparently he's part of clan ice hellion that's interesting we got battle in the highlands for serious hunter local defense forces are in the expected area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of planetary government mechs okay i'm not too interested duo duel two and a half skull that's against clan ice hellion we've got abducting ferret against clan ice hellion as well i mean that much that's kind of a thing we've got old equality in a blackout in the highlands against clan ghost bear that's three and a half there's Bachal at four skull against Clan Ice Hellion, yeah? You should put all the heat management stuff in a mech you equip with stealth armor because the armor makes your mech. Yeah, I mean, I thought about it, but the reason why, I mean, yeah, it's about that sensor signature, right? But I, I get what you mean. That makes sense. Battle in the Highlands against Clan Ice Hellion. Maybe. I'd like to do three, actually, if possible, but they're all against the planetary government. So I guess there's the solo duel against Clan Ghost Bear. Is there any other place that we can head out to on the approach? There is a flare up here at two and a half. We could do a flashpoint. I don't know what that's all about. It's a long one, though, so maybe not. And this is three and a half. Ooh, new Bergen. There is Clan Ice Hellion here. We don't have a Clan Ghost Bear like we did, but kind of cool. This is four skull. We could try four. That might be kind of fun, but they don't have the clanners. This is also four. They've got the clanners and the Wobbies all at the same time in Trondheim. Mega City, Rich, Arctic World. I mean, that all sounds awesome. Maybe we go to Trondheim, yeah? That might be kind of cool. What do the bunnies think? So let's go ahead and save. We'll go ahead and actually I'll just save and quit like so. And we'll flip over. Do what do you, what do the bunnies think? Do you think we can handle a four? The last one we did was a three skull. I mean, it, it seemed fair. And I think we managed pretty well. We do have a decent volume of tonnage that we can bring. We also have our brand new 70 that we haven't tried, unfortunately, but but I think it's gonna work kinda well. Uh, and then we also have access to Clan LRM Fast Cam, so that's going to be kind of nice. And then on top of that, I mean, both the Wobbies, Comstar, and Clan Ice Hellion are going to be there. So that seems kind of cool. I don't know. I think the picture is brilliant with the airship with Mech Amazon. Mech Amazon? Which one? Is that somewhere in specific? Uh, there was a three and a half planet in the planet you're on. Good way to ease into four. Oh, there was? Oh, okay. For the three and a half let's see if they've got if they've got a clanner in there i think there was one that i saw but it i think it was just planetary government and pirates and i wasn't too interested in that but yeah if they've got clanners there sure yeah that'll work that'll work i think it'll be interesting to see if they've got i mean ideally it would be frr controlled just because we do have the faction store we do have the alliance right now so i'm kind of like trying to really lean into that bonus that we've got because of all of the salvage rights but then 
I, I would imagine at some point we're going to break that alliance and we're going to branch on out, right? Because if we fight against Haus Steiner, that's also a thing too, because they can bring some really, really nice things. Yeah. Oh, from the flare up. Oh, we're talking about the delivery, right? For the, not the flare up, but the, the flash point. Yeah. The delivery for the, the long flash point, I think. Yeah. If it was the second to last planet you looked at, not hundred percent. That is the planet you're on. Oh, okay. Well, we can definitely take a look. That's not a problem at all. We're just going to do the restart. We'll get back in. So right now I'm thinking about Trondime DC was the four skull. And then after that, we're going to be able to, if it's a second to the last, it's probably more over to the east, right? Uh, you can set the planet skulls in the launcher setting as well. The company strength, which makes all planets the same skulls as your previous average drop rating. I thought, yeah, I did see that. I ended up setting it to the planetary strength stays the same just so that I have some control over what missions we're going to have. Um, because I figured, let's say we're in a, I've seen some things where maybe we'll raise our tonnage or it'll look like we're raising our capability, but we're really poorly equipped. <laughs> and then all of a sudden we get a harder mission and we're just, we get bumped into the next bracket and we're not ready yet. I'm wondering why you should do that. It's somehow about the fun of traveling. Do which one? Oh, you mean the long delivery flashpoint? Is that what you mean? Or if you're talking about why should we move to another planet? I mean, generally moving to another planet for me has to do more with the variety of the missions, what's available, bumping up to the next difficulty level. I mean, like in this case, if we're in this current area and we stay in this month and do the fight, then pretty much the only thing we can do is like solo duel or everything else like planetary government fights or something like that. Whereas this is going to take us into a place where ideally there's also Comstar as well. So that's kind of like a nice bonus. It's an Arctic world. So that's always very nice as well. Yeah. It's all personal preference. No wrong choice. If you see the planet sort of by difficulty as normal. Oh, you mean if I, oh, why do I choose the planetary difficulty? Is that what you mean? Why you should do that? It's somehow about the fun of, oh, I'm wondering why you should do that. That being a pronoun, that referring to allowing it to scale with your company strength, I think is what you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. A, there's no wrong choice. You're absolutely right. In that case. Yeah, I would agree. I like I like the ability to scale and choose kind of the bracket we're fighting in, but I definitely see how it could be very, very helpful to have the game scale to your company strength, just because from the standpoint of, let's say you find your favorite planet, you find your favorite factions, they're all there. And it's, you're like on a factory world. It's, it's like, you could you don't even have to move. <laughs> I would imagine I'm just guessing, but I would imagine you don't even have to move. Um, you would just fight on that planet the whole time. That'd be great. And then you'll definitely save money on traveling. That's for sure. Yeah. But I mean, you'd probably still travel around, but you wouldn't have to. It would be your choice. And I think that's like a cool thing too. And then you're always at the edge. So at that point, there's always a possibility that you're going to be getting new loot. That's maybe like, uh, appropriate for your company, as opposed to maybe fighting and then being disappointed because you fight against seven off scouts, let's say not that that happened or anything. <laughs> so I would imagine that's like the big benefit there. Yeah. Uh, if you don't leave your planet, it's really fun. For example, if you want to defend a planet, cause you somehow associate some stories with it, or it's a special factory world or some other special things. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think for stream, I like to travel around just because you'll see different environments. You'll see uh, well, obviously I like to go to flash points. I mean, I would love to get into some flash points. I think we actually are at a point where we could do a flash point now, like one of the lower ones and generally be okay. But I mean, I definitely like the variety of different stores, different factions, different areas. Um, and if we want to fight against the clanners, we can increase that chance by going north, et cetera, et cetera. So there, there is that. Yeah. Now that was something with context. I answered something. I have no idea what that means, but I'm assuming it's Google translate Panzer, but, but I'm, I'm sure it makes sense. I'm sure it makes sense. I never doubt it. I just, I don't understand <laughs> that having been said, I mean, 
doesn't have to make sense. It really doesn't. I, I was actually reflecting on how I tend to dwell on things that are, I guess, I try to make sense of things. I think a lot of people do, right? And if I don't know what it is that I'm, or I don't understand something, I can get stuck or hesitant to break out of wherever it is that I am. And I don't even realize it. And so I have a tendency to maybe like be maybe touchy or agitated or defensive, something like that. But it's almost like, yeah, at least for me, I have to hit a hard wall over and over and over. And then all of a sudden I'm in a spot where it's like, I have to make a choice, right? Either I keep hitting the hard wall or I take a step back and then I look again, right? So it may not make sense to me, but in this case, now I'm looking at it again. I make a choice as to whether or not I want to change something or, or something like that and go from there. Yeah. All right. So we got six days, two days. Let's take a look because we said there might be like a three and a half out there, right? So right now we're on three. We've got one skull red. <laughs> that might be a little bit higher. We've got that one and a half. This right here is a four skull, three and a half on New Bergen. It does have Clan Ice Hellion and it's poor tropical world. Sure, let's do it. This is settled by colonists from the Scandinavian region of Terra. New Bergen formed one of the core worlds of the Rosselhaw Consortium before being annexed by the Draconis Combine during its expansion. We'll head on out. That seems great, yeah? And then we'll be there. And so everything's going to finish in one day. I just realized we didn't actually start anything on the engineering bay. So let's go ahead and do that. I'd love it if we can get the habitat pod. Since we just had that bit of a windfall, I'm going to go ahead and do that just so we can actually support more mech warriors and unlock more of the buildings. And we're back down to one mil. So we will tick and we will go very, very broke for a moment, but it will be okay. Although we might have to maybe scrap some things because the jump still costs money now that I think about it. So let's pay very close attention. I might want to pre-scrap something actually. So the moment I can't pause, because we're about to pay that over 988,000. I didn't think that went through. <laughs> I didn't think that went through. Uh, let's see. So we got Nighthawk, Cobalt, Piranha. I'm honestly, I don't think I'm going to put this together. So I'm just going to, I need to be really, really honest. The Stiletto, am I going to see that again? Where we are, probably not. The fire starters. if we see it, we see it. We're kind of trying to push into mediums at the moment or heavies. Uh, it's nice to have these for the loot inside. So I'll hang on to these. Are we going to see another sloth? Probably not. The GDS keys, are they super useful right now? No. The kobold, I will keep. The nighthawk, I will keep. We got the chaparral. Are we going to see three more? Maybe, maybe not. How much does it cost? 82,000. I mean, we could definitely use that. We got the viper prime. That's more for what's inside. The stalking spider, I don't think I've ever seen that. So we'll hold on the heavy, on the assault. And that looks a lot better. So at least from the jump, we will not end the career. So we'll go forward. There's the tick. That's going to bring us down. Accept the invitation for the Solaris. Morale increased by 10. That's excellent. We're back into steady territory. And now we're fully red. So we do need to win very, very soon. And then now we've got six days on travel. And I don't think there's anything else that we need to repair or adjust. But just in case, we'll just kind of do a quick sweep here at Armor Bay. Yeah, I think, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We could adjust some things, but we'll just move forward here. And go. That's one, two. Right now we have four days. Jump 481,000. There we go. We made it. Okay. God. I responded to a statement. What you read before came across as if I thought it would be great. I would stay on a planet. I don't have fun sitting around on a planet. I've argued what's in... Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to sound that way if that's how it came across. So, yeah, no worries. My apologies if it did. I didn't mean it that way. I was just saying I, what I was doing or what I was trying to do. Uh, Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't want to pick up anyone just yet. I will look at the store, though. What I was trying to do was just kind of paint the pros and the cons as to why someone might want to do the that type of scaling difficulty versus a planetary difficulty. That's all. I wasn't saying you in particular. LRM 10 blue shield armor system. Got more blue jays as a refill. Lamb Academy. And then of course we've got the Rosselhog. 
that's the faction store mantis vtol stinger er medium lace oh very very heavy but cool if you can manage it oh stabilized housing what is this never seen this minus one recoil with the range weapon in the equipment location weighs one percent of the mix total mass minus 15 percent multipliers jam chance in the equipment location series have hydraulic dampers and pneumatic shock absorbers to reduce the recoil of weapons in the install location that's really cool my god i really want to get that but i won't all right let's go in and take a look at the command center and we'll see what we got and then we'll just double check the barrack points and we should be able to go so we did the full client restart. We actually can get into the force, just like the bunnies were saying. We got Legal Castle. It's going to be a fight against Clan Ice Hellion. We've got Successful White. That's Escort. We've got Abducting Nonsense at three and a half. That sounds cool. Clan Ice Hellion. Here's a preview of the map. I... <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm guessing blue is water, and this is a main way. I think I know what map this is, actually, now that I'm looking at it. It's not water across the middle, but this is like that convoy intercept map. I think this should be okay. We can manage this. And we got Boring Bird as a fight. And this one is against Clan Ice Hellion as well. So we got the Three Skull fight. We've got the Assassination. I think we'll go for the Assassination. 2 million This versus 2.2. I mean, yeah, I think it should be okay. We'll just double check the barracks before we do it, yeah? And we got akin to Amiel, Antonize, Chappie, Debts, HB, Mac, Superior, and Tank. Okay. Uh, let's go to Command Center. We're going to do the assassination. It's going to be the three and a half skull abducting nonsense against Clan Ice Hellion. We'll go with that 419 or better yet. Yeah, 419, 419. We wouldn't want to be in a spot. I mean, even now, we'll probably... We run the risk of being in a spot where a whole mech's gonna drop and we can't actually take advantage of it which is a little unfortunate but hey stuff happens right so we've got our anti-battle armor bun we've got the detective bun it's done a fantastic job we can actually bring another one as well so let's get the shooty bun nice thing is we can also bring our maxim 2c and hopefully it's it's, it's gonna be okay or better yet if we bring the c3 variant I guess it's going to pass information back. That's kind of cool. And then we got our Bradford. So let's see if we can actually get all this equipped. So we got Mac. We've got the... I actually am going to try. Instead of the Battle Armor Support PPC, let's try... Oh, wait. We don't have the Light Tag. as the Laser Cutter. Never mind. <laughs> We're not going to do that, but we will get it right there. And we'll get Superior. He's in. He's been fantastic in this thing. Uh, we'll go in and get ourselves... I know Tank Hair has been driving this maybe HB, so he's a little bit... Yeah, I guess a little bit of evasion here. Let's bring this over. So we got Dertz. We'll get him on the Dertz Bun Mobile. We've got Amiel. He did a great job on the Fancy Bush Bun. For this, though, this does have LRMs, so maybe Bandit's going to be better. So I actually am going to move him over just because of the Cluster modifier. Fancy Bush Bun also has Cluster, but... Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have Amiel here because this cluster, I feel, is more important than that cluster. That one has... It has the fast cam, and it also has the standard clan, not the swarm. I didn't put that on there. So, yeah, I think it's going to be okay. For Akintu, we need the speed, so we'll get that over on Detective Bun. For the Shooty Bun, that's at a distance. He does need the recoil. Let's go with Anda 90 so we can shoot a little sooner. Anti-Battle Armor Bun... We'll have it with uh, Tank Hair. And then Chappie can drive the Scavenger Bun. All right. This is a full setup. This is crazy. This is awesome. Let's go. Three and a half Skull Difficulty Green. Assassination in the Lowlands. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Five minutes on the clock. And we'll catch up here. Yeah. Uh, the Escort is on an open water map. Uh, that's exactly what I did. We talked and wrote past each other. Oh, okay. Anyway, one of the missions was on an open water map. Do you have a C3 Master? I do not have C3 Master, but I do have C3I and four of the mechs on the field. So that it also helps that you take the tank with C3. Yeah, no, it, it would be helpful for sure. I think the the damage output for the damage output for the Maxim 2C is better on the on well on the Maxim 2C versus the Maxim APC. But the Maxim APC obviously it has the C3 hooked into it so that's great and then on top of that it also has a tag 
So that's kind of nice. But what I did notice with it is very, very difficult to hit unless you're very, very close because the vast majority of the firepower, they're all um, like SRMs, right? So, and then it's got, I think, two LRM-5s. This one is a clan LRM-15 and it tends to just have a better connection rate, at least thus far. Maybe it's like accuracy through volume of firepower or something, yeah? What I really like on the Rogue Tech mod is the mech expert experience you get with the pilot. Some mechs are insane with a full bonus. Even a Jenner is insane leader. That is super, super cool. That's super cool. I don't... So far, we've kind of been keeping the same pilots in their mechs, but I've kind of swapped them around once we get new ones. So I would imagine that's going to happen. But then hopefully we'll be able to get some really dedicated slots. And I cannot wait because some of the... Are they, are they quirks or perks? The passives that are on the mechs are insane. There's like seven or eight of them possible, yeah? What do we got, Darius? These are the coordinates that Rasahog provided, so the insurgent leader should be in the area. Move up to get eyes on the target and any escort he might have. Once he's down, head to the evac point for your pickup. And we got dark clouds. Might improve cooling a bit. Awesome. So we can deploy anywhere. Our target is out here. Right now, we've got the insurgent leader. We've got the enemy forces on the left. Reinforcements on the right. I might just try to go after the isolated one, if we want to call it isolated. Curious, it'll let me start on high ground, but it's super rocky. It's not looking so great. Uh, how far back can we be? Yeah, I wish I could start on the ground, but it might not let me... So we're just fishing. That's not too bad because we know we're not going to be behind anyone and we can kind of set up here. That's actually not too bad. I'll take that. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Lummox? Good to see you. Welcome. So far, we're in and fighting the clanners on a three skull assassination. Yeah. In Rogue Tech. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Friday. Yeah? This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Reinforcements out you here. Oh, no, spot. no. Over here. My bad. Right here. Okay, so we fought on this one. This is actually the same map where we got the Scorpion, I think. I think. But we were on this side when it started. Ooh, Elementals. Okay, so finally we get to see how our battle armor, anti-battle armor bun works against this. They got a Vapor Eagle 6. They've got a Medusa 4 out here in reinforcements and an Elemental L. Look at them. Oh my god. So... We actually have some tools to deal with it now. We didn't bring the fl the bun fire, but it's going to be kind of cool to see. Let's see. We've got detective bun hold. So we're angel ECM. We're going to go. I think should we active for the shielding? Jams enemies by five. Passive provides a carrier with the ECM shielding. Okay, so we get less shielding for ourselves, but we're going to provide the the barrier for our allies. Great. Understood. Burn them. Well, I don't I don't have the burner here with us, but we do have a bunch of small laser all in one. Yeah. Commander. Hold. And we've got C3I now. Heat and Ooh, Viper. I did I get rid of the Viper Prime part? <laughs> I might have. I might have. All right, Dets. We're gonna go ahead and tick up supercharger. So we can sprint a little bit faster, get to the front, and we just got to remember to turn it off. Just remember to turn it off. It makes me a little sad. No, we got the bonfire. We didn't bring it with us. That's all. We still have it. I just didn't get to set it up yet. Yep. Yeah. Thor SPG. What the? Uh-oh. Isn't that a... Wait, isn't that artillery? Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. All right. So we have our brand new vulture. The scavenger bun. We're sprinting, not very quickly, but we're sprinting for five. There she is. She's got AMS Mark II coverage. We've got tank here in the anti-battle armor bun. Stack up. Bolt on AMS. Stealth armor active. Hold. Hold. We've got our Maxim 2C APC with clan weaponry. 12. 12 evasion. Oh my god. We probably don't want to rush all the way up front, but I was just curious since we were going to give up our spawn protection. Now we got Mac in the IFV. Suck over and hold. All right. What do we got? 
Dragonfly. Okay, so another one out there. We know what that is. Clanny are small. Yep. And Clan Streak SRM 10. So we meet again. We meet again. We got Antonides in the shooty bun. He should stay back. We've got Amiel in the fancy bush bun. We'll tuck up for five. Hold. And then Antonides is just going to sprint for seven. All right, great. Set the world on fire. We're going. This is exciting. I, I'm hoping we're going to be able to overwhelm these guys. Looks like a fire moth in the distance. Yeah, we got a fire moth PF clan, a bunch of clan machine guns and two clan small pulses. The Viper V clan ER small, small pulses, medium pulses, a lot of small, medium range. We've got the Phantom H with a bunch of clan small heavy lasers and a flamer. Holy crap. Medusa has, oh, <laughs> that Medusa. How many? 21 clan ATMs. Okay. The Vapor Eagle has double clan UAC 2. In theory, three ER mediums, four machine guns. The Elemental has five battle armor SRM 2 and a bunch of small lasers. The Dragon, we know the Dragonfly VTOL. There's probably a fifth one out there, maybe another battle armor or something. That's pretty terrifying. Uh, let's hold here. Wow, that's a lot of ATMs. 21 ATMs on that thing, and we know it's fast. We got Mac. I don't know if we can... 10%, 6. 22 on Vapor Eagle. Let's hold. I don't, want, I don't want to take that shot yet, yeah? The Phantom Prime on the right side. Clan ER Small, ER Medium, LRM 5, and Tag. The Fire Moth PF. Wow, we have really good reads. Look at the sensor reads on this. We're getting so much information back. It's glorious. I love it. Such a yep. big change, yeah? Well, let's see. What do we got? It's just a three. So hold again. Hold again. We won't go all the way down, but just hold again. Viper V. So we're not the one with that read. We didn't get that sensor roll. Dragonfly V toll. Clan ER small. Clan streak SRM 10. Hold. 12. Commando 2C. Okay, so there's their fifth on the right. And we do not see yet the insurgent leader who's back here. Okay. Does he use an XXL? Oh, I I don't know. I mean, I would imagine we fought against one at a clan XXL, yeah? So maybe, maybe. Death spun. So we need to turn off the supercharger. 6%. And if we get over to the edge, we can't get the shot here. We do have a shot here. 7 at 18. I mean, that's not too bad. We'll take it. Guardian ECM is passive to protect deaths, and we'll take that shot. Little ding there. I'll take it. I'll take it. We actually landed one of the three. Commando 2C is love, especially the hero mech variant. Do you think that might be a hero mech variant? Oh, look at that. 12 evasive pips keeping the Maxim safe. What are your orders, All right. Anti-battle armor, armor. Uh, Detective bun. Excellent. Detective bun. There we go. Get that plate forward. And shot 15 with it. That's the tag. I'm really curious about that SPG, actually. So Thor SPG does have thumper artillery. I'm curious. It's probably tube artillery. So I'm assuming if it's an SPG, like a self-propelled gun, that it's, it's actually going to have that tube artillery mechanics. It's not like a cannon. So it'll probably place a plate. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got anti-battle armor bun. We got Antonides in the shooty bun. If anyone's going to be able to do it, it's him. He does have the ignore evasion and all the advanced optics. Yes! There it is! Clan UAC 5 in the shooty bun. Antonides just splashes the Dragonfly VTOL and knocks it clean out of the sky and it continues to tumble in pieces as the rotors separate into multiple components. What an incredible hit despite the initial blast all right let's let's cross 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 seven stealth yeah hold passive you should look out for the hero mech chassis they have great perks as well the fire starter hero uh, is that how do you know if it's the hero chassis is like have a name or something oh that was that was antonides he landed that one i guess the fcs flax not too bad all right fancy bush bun 
Look at that, 27. Well, I guess maybe, can we hold? What about Chappie? He's got our new scavenger bun. I actually want to land the, the clan LRM fast cam. So we're going to get up. We're going to tune this over. Thunder augmented. And let's give them some love. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I, I don't know if that hurts them, but that would be hilarious. Poor guys. Poor guys. Go, go, scavenger, right? <laughs> All right, we're sprinting. We're sprinting. Let's see if we can't cause some havoc. 27. Is a kinetic round? I'm thinking at that. I'm going to go high explosive, and we'll hope that we can ding them. Oh, that's not bad. There we go. Little tandem. All right, Bradford. We'll get under the protective cover and we're gonna go and try and hit that guy actually can we hit anyone else 12 5 1 5 all right we're going for that guy Ooh, it was like an air burst almost we didn't actually tag him that's okay bun ping ping shot center and pair there we go there we go god i'm so god it, an overhaul in reassessing our understanding of the situation it, it helps so much i am so guilty medusa that's the 21 atms that's a lot of damage at that range holy crap seven per all right max him to c who's on nine I'm, I'm tempted to break out. Look how fast that is. That's so ridiculous. We can get the green. Oh my God. That's that. devastating. Almost have a full breach out there. There's the Thor. Okay, so it places the plate. That's a small little plate. That's kind of not very impressive. And did, did he not move? Or is he, he can't, yeah. Maxim APC of maxim speed. <laughs> Jenner O is the... Oh, yes, yes, yes. We actually... I guess we've got a, a hero bushy then because we've got the gorilla. It's like the bushwhacker gorilla. Push in. Get out of the plate. And I don't think we're... Yeah, we're, we'll stay passive. I don't think we're in range. So just ping out. Phantom Prime. Heck yes. <laughs> oh, so much better. This is so much more fun now. Akin to... Let's get that plate out there. I don't want to ping that, so... Yeah, we'll just stack... I don't want the tag barrage. We'll just send what we got. There we go. Love it. And he's on 14, so he, he will go soon. Viper Prime. Ah, oh, they got such nice stuff. Oh, I cannot wait. Center impairment. Little ding. Breach on back. There we go. There we go. He will get to maneuver now. Oops. There we go. There he is. Is he coming closer? Oh, he's getting out. Okay, that makes sense. He's getting out of the jamming. So we got the fancy rush bun, 39. That's not too bad. We'll just kind of tuck up a little bit. We don't want to get too hot. And from the backside, I'm actually going to rest. Rest this UAC. High explosive kinetic we'll try i don't know if it's gonna hit yeah it went wide commando 2c and it has clan srms on it which is great all right so we can actually charge that supercharger we'll get that up we're kind of feathering the throttle on this guy there we go. That's the clan ATM 21 Medusa. Send it. I guess we could also get the uh, the acid forward in the order. Damn 
Venus Mark II protecting the Bushy and the Scavenger. Yeah. And the Maxim. Okay, so let's see. We're on 13. He already went then. If this is lasers and was it is lasers and something? I don't remember what was what was in the elemental they had. Hold up. Unknown, unknown. I think it was lasers and something. I don't think it's indirect, but I'm just going to I'm going to wait here and we'll just take the shot instead. 52 high explosive. That's good. <laughs> there it is. Good job, Mac. Yep. The Gorilla Bushwhacker is one legendary mech. Heck yes. I've never heard of it before. We'll stay in the protective cloud. Right here. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I guess we haven't really jammed him yet. We could chase this guy down, but that also puts us in harm's way. So let's just hold for a second. And we're on 12. Scavenger bun. I mean, we have got a hag that we can send right into the rear. Or I kind of feel like we should probably focus on maybe impeding these guys first. So we're going to stay in the coverage. But we're going to send that augmented thunder on these lights right here. And hopefully it's going to do something. Stack it. S7 is as an indicator. Is it the S itself or what what makes it kind of S is like hero or different? All right, send it. Drop the runner. All right, 11, 11, 11. They have to go around the field. S7 is... Oh, Solaris 7. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What do you need? Who else is left? SPG to shoot. One in a distance. And this is our target. The Nova Fury. The heck is that? It looks like it's got a hockey mask. What the? <laughs> the Nova Fury. I'm guessing that's a hero? Huh. I have no clue. All right. Let's get around. We'll actually push. Shot. There we go. Clear. If they want to get at us, they have to go through the fast cam. Thumper artillery. All right, zero connect. That's beautiful. Look at that. You've got the 70 tonner next to its little brother, the 35 tonner. Wow, that helps so much. They're like stuck there. Look at that. My God, that's great. Fast cam, game changer. Wow. All right, let's see. We got we got depth. We need to turn off the supercharger. And we're going to stay under the line. We're actually going into active. And it will start jamming that all those ATMs. We're going to send the acid up top. There we go. And shot. Nice. Got the acid stack. He's currently sitting on 14. We're on 16. We've got the detective bun. We'll go wide in. And we can tag mag shot. We'll just send on standard tracer. We didn't connect with the tag, but we'll tuck up. Five. 52 big difference now big difference hopefully to land direct but that's okay that's okay we whiff it a little bit that's fine that's fine but much better chance to actually hit now that's amazing commander to see in the distance he's crossing oh interesting he's running laterally behind the minefield we have the bun ping ping we don't have a shot so we'll hold and we got tank hair and anti-battle armor bun Let's get it to where he's needed. Currently with stealth right. armor. 
And we'll stack on the eye rockets. Excellent. I mean, hopefully it'll keep his, his burst down because he will get to go because I will reserve. And now it is his initiative phase. And he's almost at threshold. We've got the Viper in the background. Is he moving through the... He did hit the landmines to get the alpha. So we need to pull back. But interesting, he took it. And then right now, we now get to see what the Medusa does. He's at least near threshold. If he wants to send 21, he's going to have to pay for it. And he holds. Excellent. And he doesn't have much evasion at all. And they're nicely grouped together. This is all amazing. All right. Fancy Bush Bun. 30. Ten. We got Chappie and the Scavenger. Hag. Twenty-nine. I mean, at this point... Yeah, I think I'm actually going to pull back to some semblance of cover. We're just going to walk Order it back. Confirmed. And then... Yeah, I don't think... I'm just going to send standard for this turn. There's the hag. Actually able to connect a little bit. And then I really, really want to get... Yeah, there we go. I want to get this Maxim out of there and under some type of ECM coverage. 22, 19. I'm going to rather send more. Keeps attacking the same guy. Very, very nice. Very impressive. It's still able to connect like that. We got the fancy bush bun. Even if we just hold... We have a decent chance of connecting here. Shot. Tandem rounds. All right. Fire Moth in from the right side. Only dealt four damage across with the stealth armor. Got Antonides with the shooty bun. So let's keep the shooty bun back. We don't want to be too aggressive with it. So I'm gonna actually going to turn that supercharger on. We'll get all the way in, flip it around, and then just kind of just toss this out. We might not hit him. We might hit him. We might not. Doesn't matter. And they'll allow us to unjam that clan UX5. There we go. We just have to remember to, again, turn off the supercharger. Should be like a little icon or something. <laughs> it's on, and the icon just starts turning redder and redder. All right, so close in 21. Shots of Viper. Little bit of a sensor impairment. Hold. And then they got two more. There we go. There's the SPG mark and no connect on the Maxim. God, this is so good. We were really able to... That was such a big changer to be able to punch up above our regular class. There's the SPG. I don't know if it's necessary to push him right now. The detective bun can continue to jam. If we get over here, it's going to help us with the fast movers. But honestly, I really want to wipe that guy out. So maybe we can just keep them within the sphere. So we'll push up for eight. We still have the Angel ECM coverage. We can always tag barrage that guy. Any of these guys. I think I'll turn it off though, because I'm a little I'm a little scared to tag barrage there. So we'll just go ahead and try and ping that fire moth. He's got a lot of Daka and guns. And he's pretty fast. He closed that gap all the way from out there. On 17 anti-battle armor bun, Bradford. Let's get the direct line. 24. 30. High explosive. Oh, <laughs> that went kind of far out, but I'll take it. And then got the anti-battle armor bun out of the thumper artillery area. Or I guess... Yeah, they can definitely hit him. I don't know if they win already, but I don't want to be too close to the elementals. So what if we fire from back here? Yeah. And we currently are in passive. We'll get right to the edge. Pretty decent. 
I had a sneeze when I pulled the trigger. That's fine. That's fine. That's why it's high explosive. It's got 10 armor. 10 armor. In the distance. Yep. We're on 16. That's that gentleman, the Phantom Prime. Let's just pull it. Pull it back. Pull it back. How? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's too close. I don't like it. I don't want to be that close to him. We could always go wide like this. And we have indirect from most of the people out here. It's a bit of a risky thing, but we're pushing it. Stack the rear. There we go. Pop that. Beautiful. He's bleeding out. Living on the edge. That's right. Remember to turn off the super. Annie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very, very helpful reminder. Phantom Prime. And that's on the shooty bun, right? The shooty bun. The, the cougar? Cougar? Yeah, the cougar. Bun ping ping. Finish the job. <laughs> I bet I'll take that. Oh, he's bleeding out sooner now in two excellent let's leave that guy be that went really well the one two punch wow i can't believe this ecm helping us okay so antonite is in the shooty bun we're gonna go ahead and turn off that supercharger we're gonna arm up the clan uac5 we're gonna try and take a shot we've got a decent shot of it here we go if we were offensive push usually that gets worse right oh my god well, sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It's straight to the tummy. Oh, rats. <laughs> Drats. Drat. Okay. It looked like it was the same hit percentage, but then it all of a sudden changed as soon as I took the shot. All right, deaths. That guy's on the ground. That's the thumper artillery right here. If we are here, we're not in the plate. But we can't see him from that angle either. That's six. And he can actually use the supercharger. So he's going to turn that on so they can make it across. And we'll turn away. But he's got a 360 degree turret. So stack it because of that supercharger. He's able to take this shot. And on 12. So here's the... ATM 21 Medusa. Oh, no shots. Landmines explode. Is he breaching the leg or something? He's got six armor, but he's not shooting. All right. Fancy bush bun. Let's tuck up. AR 14 sheep beacon. We're a little too close. There. Okay. 39, 33. I mean, that's excellent caseless high explosive hope for the best <laughs> that's that's pretty good that is pretty good hey nicholas good to see you welcome hopefully you're having a lovely friday high five yeah we're currently fighting against clan ice hellion and it's going pretty well so far yeah scavenger all right coming around what do we got 21 so we can get in with the medium pulses and we can really hit this guy the hag is that any better 51 51 64 i guess at this distance at least the lrms are a little better off yeah step it back i guess we'll push On the move. we'll go active and let's go in and smack this guy. Welcome. Nice breach. Your Friday's been doing... All right, I'm glad to hear it, man. I'm glad to hear it. Well, hopefully you can relax now and kind of like wind down for the day, yeah? All right, Nova Fury. That's our main target. He definitely has missiles. That's a long ways to shoot. What the heck was that? Fire Moth back on up. He does have the Daka. He's got like a a laser or two left 
And then after that, it's going to be the guy we've been wailing on. This little tiny viper here. Oh, did he shut down? Or did he fall? What happened to him? I don't even see him anymore. He disappeared. <laughs> There's the viper. Three pings. 24, 20, so 29 total on the 70 ton scavenger bun. Elemental takes one move, so it's already advanced, so we don't have to worry about it swarming on this turn. Detective Bun. I mean, at this point, we should probably chase down those that are kind of trying to get too close to us, but we can also maybe drop that. Yeah, I think maybe we drop the Medusa. Send it. So we'll get them all tagged up, and then we should be able to get behind him, no problem. Obviously, we have shifted our Angel ECM coverage, so we can probably refuse the line and, and just buy ourselves a turn. So Scavenger Bun been tagged up. He's on nine, so it's going to be a while until he gets to go. We got Tank, anti battle Armor Bun. Kind of scary to get this close. I don't know what our chances are. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> I don't think they can get to us from here. So I'm going to get kind of aggressive. If we shoot, that's 39. We can go active. Now our chances to hit that are 39. That's 97. On the side, it's got 145 though. So that's not good enough. And then it's 86. So if we actually go passive to protect ourselves, it's still okay. So send it back the right. There we go. Got the breach. Doing a lot of farming on Warframe. Got tired, saw you're playing Mech Warrior, so I figured I'll watch. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, hopefully I can help you fall asleep. <laughs> That'd be great, man. Thank you so much for hanging out. Here's that Commando 2C. He's missing a little bit of something, but he still has some Daka going. And got our Bun Ping Ping. We'll hold till we're in a better position here. And then we're on... 15. So it's going to be this little phantom gentleman. He's got all these clan heavy lasers. Yeah. No shots. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Fancy bush bunt. Definitely coming in here. And let's send it. A little bit of AOE to tag that elemental as well. Just a little bit of a ding. 262 out of 275. Deaths is currently... We're going to shut off that supercharger. And we are... Can I not? Yeah, can I not? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Apparently, I can't kick here. That's a bummer. Okay, well... All right. Nope, can't kick. What if I go passive? Does that, like refresh something it might be because i don't have the walking distance is my guess no i have the walking distance i can walk right past them but oh well that's fine don't have to do it since they already went we'll do a drive-by come right through and we're gonna go in and stack up and ping out the viper excellent and Antonite is in the shooty bun. Superchargers off. Excellent. And if anything, maybe, just maybe, we can hit that guy. That's looking pretty good. Go. Heck yes, there it is. Clanny R large is gone. Arm pops right off. Does the game let you blow up ammo packs for additional damage? Yeah, yeah. You can definitely destroy the ammunition bins in different ways. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Standard shot. Good ping. There we go. We got a breach in the middle. Excellent. So there's three more of us. We've got it. The ATM Medusa is available. He's lost the arm. He's got all the stack. Oh boy. Yeah, that's... I'm glad we're going to get rid of that thing soon. All right, Maxim. God, we could... <laughs> we could just get this SPG out of the way if we wanted to. Let's do it. 
chase him down, jack up the machine guns and go. Full value. And then, of course, we also have superior riding aboard to follow that up into the same side. I like the fact we can do like that double tap. That thing is so fast. So nice. Kind of reminds me if you ever played the Dark Angels with a Raven Wing and you got that combo going where you've got the fast moving element and then you've got the rock that's sort of just like locking down your opponent. And then you can get around to a new side. Yes, so we can actually follow this up. We've got the green here. Send it. Oops. <laughs> Commander. And our scavenger bun. We are currently active. He's there. We'll pull back. Definitely want to get back into cover here. We'll go passive. And we'll stack him in the water. Copy that. There we go. Come on, buddy. Go to critical hit. It's cool having a hag again. So what's the advantage of shells over lasers if the ammo pack is a liability or is it a lot harder to hit than I think? Well, um, I guess it depends. It depends. So ballistic weaponry tends to stick in a bunch of damage into one place. Ooh, interesting. Very cool. They've got hard gel on. They're actually completely fine again. Yeah, yeah lasers generate a lot of heat. That's a very, very good. That's the big one. Also, if you've got like... Um, it's, it's like a different an auto cannon let's say is going to be much heavier than a laser and it also has an explosive ammunition bin but uh, you can maybe fire more of them for if you've got the available tonnage without needing as much cooling right so there's that yep stability damage that's that's a huge one thank you bunnies yeah those are all very 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 good reasons and plus I mean, they usually are just going to send a ton of damage into one spot, right? Which is very, very helpful. As opposed to maybe spreading it out if you've got a bunch of smalls or something. All right, give them that DACA from the rear. Not bad. They create components more. Oh, yeah. Like the machine guns. I mean, they've got so many bursts there. We we're able to hit these little elementals with the hard gel. I'm going to try and hit this guy again. Oh, we got a breach. Almost. And we got Mac. Just going to clear the way. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Thank you, bunnies. Thanks for the help. This guy's completely open. High explosive. Can we land it? Oh, oh. Good enough. Are out. All right, so he's unsteady. Going to be much easier to hit him now. Panic level critical. He can move now. Get out of the water, backing it up. Get a little ping on the shooty bun. Taking minimal damage. System posing. All right, anti battle armor bun. If I just step back. So this is on 10. If I just step back a little like that, or if I walk it up 33, 52. Okay, I'm going to take a big risk. Is that worth it? Nah, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. Let's kind of walk it around and we'll shoot across the field. That way they've got to walk through it if somehow they're okay. We got deaths. Can we get into melee? Yes, we can. Finally. Oh, my God. There's that commando. Give him a nice swift kick here. Snap kick on commando. There it is. Leg out. And guns. 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 Excellent. Commando down. Okay, that is not gentle. Whoops. All right. So. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. At least they've got a lot of Omnimex. I'm, I'm sure that it'll be okay. So our supercharger's off, just to double check. Got the line. Shot. We, <laughs> we busted both the legs. Max him. 
Where is he damaged? I mean, pretty much anywhere. All right, well, okay. I don't want to be that close to the battle armor, but we will stay here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stack it. Heck yes, there it is. Oh my God. That guy's pretty durable for 50 tons, but he finally drops. That's excellent. Oh my God. Wow, we destroyed. Oh crap. We destroyed every ATM on the... <laughs> Oh, jeez. I don't think there's much left on that. Okay, maybe we will we'll be a little more gentle once we've, like, thinned out the crowd a little bit, right? We still have the Nova Fury out there. I don't know what that's all about, but it sounds very special. Here we go. On my way. Hag 2132. I'm guessing that's the guy in the water, right? That guy, the Viper. There we go. He's clear. Is it possible to, oh, like, steal them? You can swarm them, and then you can salvage them later. But, like, take out the pilot and drive it after? Probably not. Not not in the middle of battle, at least in this, this uh, mod, yeah? As far as I'm aware. All right, get out of the zone. We'll rest that one. I'll just send some tandem as the on we as we approach. We're just getting out of that that blast. Right in time. <laughs> right on time. And then it's the assassination target, the Nova Fury. Ooh, hello. Clan ATM 18, Clan Streak SRM 8, ER, Clan ER large, some mediums I saw. So what he's shooting, I think, are the ATMs. Ready for order. Deads. I don't know if we can kick him. I think we're a little too far. We'll tuck it up. Get the shot. That's on his right. So he's he's trying to go back to the SPG. We got the Maxim. And we'll come it around. Shot. Here we go. How'd that taste? He's got a lot of clan small heavy lasers. We got the detective. You know, the detective is probably a better a better killer of battle armor. Because we can tune this up. He's got all the machine guns, so I'm actually gonna tune this all the way up to twelve. And we're going to go in and dump into this guy. And this is going to really, really suck. There. <laughs> yep. There it is. All right. That's what we're talking about. There's part of two elementals left there. Wow. That is so good. Shooty bun. We can probably get that supercharger back online. They do have hard gel. Wow. Both of those hit for nine. That's crazy. Hey. All right. Amiel. Let's go a little wider. Okay. I like how far the torso can twist. It's kind of insane. Shot. And bun ping ping. Sensor impair. God, he's got a single digit structure on that side. All right, we got Mac, we got Tank. I think just finishing these guys off would be ideal. So we'll just kind of walk it. Or if we just get the shot, no, we'll go. Yeah, we're currently active. We'll walk it out. And hopefully we can finish him off. Ooh. Well, one's out. Got the Bradford. And shot. He's got two. He's still standing. Very impressive. He gets to go now. He does have a decent volume of firepower, but I mean, he's like living on a prayer. I'd, I'd probably back out. 
Wow. So in theory, we've got the SPG. We've got part of an elemental. We've got that guy. We've got the Phantom Prime and then the main target. And then we are clear. We got the shooty bun. It was tagged up, but I think it's going to be okay. 33, 52. What's the chance to hit that? 19. We might as well try and not the Phantom, but that Phantom. Work that. Nice. And we pop off a torso. That hit something good. And we got Chappy. Okay, so Scavenger Bun. Let's start pushing forward. We've been kind of fighting from afar. Not necessarily a bad thing. Let's finish this guy. And down he goes. He's got nine structure in the middle left. There it is. Beautiful. And he is clear. So we've got four left on the field. We've got the SPG. We've got that elemental. We've got the Phantom Prime. And then we've got the Nova Fury in the distance. This thing has a clanny or large or two clanny or large, two clanny or medium, two clan streak, SRM4 and two clan ATM9. Do a bit of a drive by here and send a stack. And akin to, I mean, he'll easily finish that. We'll send it down to six and go. Oh, very close six. And bun will hold. That plate's right there, but we don't have to worry too much because I think, I think we could zip on over with the Maxim and actually drop out the SPG in the back. Yeah. yeah? So, uh, actually we don't have the, we don't have the line yet, but we can definitely finish those little guys. Okay, I'm on it. There we go. All right. Elementals are off the field. We can get the anti-battle armor bun all the way through. I guess we'll go up top so we don't have to run through the mines mostly. Even though there are our own. Ooh. <laughs> He's literally got what three structure, three structure. Are right, Antonides in the shooty bun? Do we have it? Is there any way? Yeah, I doubt we have any shots on that. That's okay. Let's push into him. And stack. Because we're going to need to assist on the Nova. Guard a critical hit. Yeah. All right, we're going to clear that. Sin. Receiving. Superior to hold. Confirmed. Holding. One ping. That was a one of the clan ATM 18. Got Amul. We'll clear the blast. I was hoping to get in the water, but that's not going to work. Singleton. And then I think the SPG actually will land on the next turn, right? So we'll get the scavenger out. And stack that guy. Excellent. Yeah, he's always going to be behind because he doesn't have any support to actually make us make any hard decisions. We'll just run right through. Death's going to get that supercharger on. And we're actually going to break over to the right. If we can actually coax that guy over to the right side, then it'll mean we'll be able to assist more readily. Actually, we can even come around and maybe help and drop this. So we'll actually go off. And we'll run right in and hopefully just drop this guy out. Then it's just SPG, this guy, and clean. Got the detective bun. 
send it. There it is. All right, fantastic. So now there's basically half of a phantom on the field and then our assassination target, and we are mostly clean. There isn't much that we've taken, which is absolutely brilliant, at least from a management standpoint. Yeah. Now we should be able to drop this guy right here. Good job. There we go. Fantastic. So now let's just go in and regroup. We'll cool off. We'll make sure that all stability damage is clear. All jams are clear. And we're just going to move from here. This is excellent. I don't think... See, we got faint. I don't know if he's got AMS, but we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, we got HP in the max M2C. We'll just move in advance. Full speed 12. Double check. Passive. And I will just pop off some LRMs, some fast cam augmented his way. Tank hair will go passive. Stealth is active. And we're going to get on the road so that we're red. Amul, we're all clear. Stack up. And then we'll, if we can... Oh, I wish I could dip in the water. But not possible so just move and he just took some mind damage on the legs he's down to he took 10 damage on both legs so little by little uh, we're going passive and sprint forward on the road it's back online maxim all unjammed and we're going to go in and split this guy. So we're coming over on the side. I will hold. Order. Superior to hold. Stabilizing and breathing. Mac will start climbing ground. Shooty bun. Supercharger on. And we'll cross that Copy water. That Death supercharger on. And we'll catch up with a Maxim. Passive. Hold. Everyone shielding themselves. Stealth and passive. Push. If he gets on out, we'll just drop more. Oof. If, if he gets on out, we'll just drop more mines on him. Guardian ACM is in passive. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, here we go. Fast cam augmented. There we go. <laughs> he probably hates his life right now. There we go. Uh, we'll hold, hold, hold. So the only thing we got to do, remember to turn off the superchargers, right? We're now going into Angel ECM on active for shielding. And if we can actually get ourselves outside of his line of sight, we can still provide the shielding without the negative. So hold. Yep. Maxim. Stay wide. Confirmed. Hold. Yes, Commander. Superior hold. For impact. Tank. I got you. All right, dinged him. It's gonna be funny if he he's like trying to run away. All right, so superchargers off. Dead supercharger off. This is <laughs> it's like a manhunt. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got a line. Shot out. Commander. I right, walk it up. Hag out. <laughs> and more augmented fast cam. How much? Okay, that hurts. Wow. Still able to get through that, but he does not have the evasion. So 
That's a plus. Okay. Shot out. And we kind of cleared a path in the mines. All right, get in, get in, get in. Tag him. Eat that. <laughs> we should just like run away now. Supercharger back on. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Commander. Hold. What do you need? I really. Oh boy. There we go. I'm a little nervous because he has been pretty darn accurate. So this could be kind of nasty. If we do an offensive push, we lose some of that. Uh, we're going to try and get in on the side there, but we can push his initiative order back. So currently he's sitting on two. Ready for order. And we've got Der who is going to, we're going to go on supercharger active guardian ecm will get on in he's part of the c3i network and we'll just stay right in the pocket Let's move. nine evasion stack it, it. oh Let's my go. god wow Take that. and he's going down he's falling that might have been a little bit more brutal than i meant Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, no, that's not it. You want to you want to punch out, but <laughs> he's panicking. He's definitely panicking. Fancy bush bun. All right, we're, we're going to tune it down to one. So we're not too brutal. And sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, oh, you're panicking, aren't you? You know, you are. You know, you are. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Give in, buddy. Give in, buddy. Give in. Uncle, say uncle. <laughs> the moment when you carefully try with the crowbar or the sledgehammer. I'm all about the sledgehammer. <laughs> I got you. All right. All right. All right. We're going to turn off the ER large. We're going to be super gentle here. Two small lasers. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight to the head. I'm on him. Oh, that's not it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's not it. Chappie. Yes, we do have a hag. <laughs> that's, that's not. Yeah, that's not. Oh, you know what? We can send the augmented fast cam because that's going to be super gentle. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight to the head. Yeah, look, that barely does any anything. We're just sort of like tickling him in the stomach, right? No long range missiles remaining. Wow, he's been panicked like four times in a row. Well, he's still alive ish. He kind of looks like a Merlin. Well, Detective Bun is just going to send. We're going to hold on the mag shot. We're going to hold on. Well, we really don't need 36 bursts of machine guns. So we'll we'll do 18 as a compromise. Oh, there we go. That's so gentle. We dinged him in the head one. I mean, he might forget how to even, you know, punch out. Roger. We could... Okay. Acid's not gentle. Actually, none of Ders is gentle. Let's... Let's, uh... Uh... <laughs> none of this is gentle, Ders. What are you supposed to do? That, uh... One medium improved heavy laser? Oh, that's good. Let's hit him hard. Oh, that was gentle. My God. Bunnies, the area has been cleared. Darts, give me the green light to land immediately. Deaths, it's gentle. All right, bunnies. That's what we're talking about. Even Sumire, she obviously recognizes the greatness. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? No. Congratulations to those who had the fate. My God, this has been a blazing success. That's crazy. Well, let's bring this over. Curious what's actually left. We kind of were a little sledgehammery, as Panzerbund put it. 
very aptly and accurately. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that we'll at least be able to collect pieces, right? 201,000. We don't have any breaches at all. No injuries at all. We can get a oh, three out of four of a dragonfly. We've got the fire moth, which is mostly destroyed. We've got the Nova Cat CC. I'm guessing that was the target, the Nova Fury. It's not looking so hot, but... We actually have a replacement Clan ATM 9. How heavy is this? Oh, 70 tons? Really? Oh, I didn't expect that. We've got that Medusa, which does not have much on it anymore. Phantom Prime Thor SPG. That's three out of four. Clan ER Medium Clan Thumper Artillery. <laughs> Clan Cockpit, Clan Guardian ECM, Omnipod. S okay, so this is what I'd like to do. So I don't know if it's going to let us. It's 115, so that's awesome. I'll grab another heavy. We'll disassemble the rest. We'll see what is available. We can choose three more. We've got four parts in theory. Thor SPG three out of four. Vapor Eagles, the ATM times ATM three times two, three clan machine guns, three clan medium pulse lasers. That's a straight upgrade for a lot of what we got. That's awesome. Yeah. The NCTCC is a legendary. Oh, that's like a, like a, like a special. Oh my God. They've got more. Okay. So hold on the battle computers. We just hold on the battle computers. So one clan guardian ECM three stack. Clan Double Heat Sync, Sensors, Missile Range, Computer, High Explosive Ammunition. Wow. Okay, so I want the stack of HE. We get two more pick, right? So we'll just scroll up right now. Anything that's interesting, we'll just kind of put to the side. Obviously, the tracking's interesting. The Battle Computer Heat is also interesting still, but we'll, that's interchangeable. Clan SRM 4 times 2 Machine Gun Duel, we got plenty right now, believe it or not. Machine Gun Array. I mean, that's cool. That's really nice, too. Clan ATM 3 times 2. I mean, that could be really useful. Right now, we've got a Clan ATM 9, and we were using that. We didn't have the high explosive. This would allow us to sort of downsize a little bit. We could stack this with high explosive on our Scorpion and dump high explosive close range with this. Oh my God, that would be devastating. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh my God. Okay, we will come across this again. It's not like they don't exist, but right now we need to think about right now, right? Right. <laughs> We can get that for the high explosive and the clan medium pulse lasers are going to be an upgrade for most of the mechs that just stack up the mediums. I mean, that could be really huge. So let's just hope for actually, I think that's it, right? That's all we got. Yeah, that's all we got. Excellent. Excellent. So let's just go ahead and take a look. We've got three minutes left. We wrapped up right on time and we can kind of just see what we're left with by the end of it, because my God, I feel like we just doused and took a shower in a waterfall full of clan stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah. You hear the Medusas absolutely petrifying. Oh my. Well, that might be, I think it's petrifying because she no longer has anything inside to look at, right? <laughs> we may have been a little bit brutal with it, but it looks like we totally have what it takes to complete and replace that clan ATM nine that was destroyed in the Nova CC. We actually have a backup there, yeah? So we've got this custom configuration of Novacat was first spotted during the escalation of the Fedcom Civil War. Uh, we've got our repairs. We'll let that go for eight. Sure, why not? And then we'll bring this over and we'll be able to take a look at that Nova. So we go Mech Bay. Here she is. Nova Fury. 70 tons. And it is an Omni mech. So it had, it had an ATM nine, so we can definitely replace that. Like, obviously this is not a final configuration or anything like that. Oh, it was a six. Okay. Well, I guess we've got a six and a three. Does that count? <laughs> There's a nine. And then I think we also had 
streak SRM. Oh, see, streak SRM four. We got a streak SRM six. I mean, we could. Yeah, in theory, you could just like stack that on there or something. Um, they had a clan ATM nine, streak SRM four, clan ER large, and then ammo, and then engine heat sink. So it's it's not a straight one to one, but if we max out, that's actually pretty good. Take a look at that. Oh my god, medium range, 365 alpha, 74 heat on the delta. I mean, like, there's a lot that you'd have to change here, but that's really, really cool, yeah. 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> 91910, nine, sir. You could you could change that out there. There you go. Now you got the kits to work, right? And then we've got one of these. We need more clan double heat sinks, of course. And you can change a lot on these, but uh very, very cool. Very cool. We've got now how many and what does it look like oh this is the that's not it that's not the nova that's not the novo so we actually got two new heavies today we got the nova cc i i guess the crossbow b as well we've got the scavenger bun with the mad dog uh we were able to successfully take our crew in the bunny league through all the way up to like three and a half skull which is nuts yeah nine 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 <laughs> that's a good game that's a good game We've done a lot. This is really, really cool. And I, I feel like the game changer here has been the inclusion of C3i and reorganizing after reading up that electronic countermeasure chart and an electronic warfare chart. That's made a huge difference. And then, of course, sort of consolidating and selling, which got us millions and millions of C bills. So we can actually do all of that refitting. So that's been great. I, I, cannot have asked for a better result today so that's awesome well bunnies thanks so much for hanging out with me today uh on this lovely friday i hope that you all have a great weekend uh we we did quite a lot today so I'm, I'm very very happy with the results and hopefully we'll be able to get more c3i so that we can kind of expand our network even farther and get into maybe solid set of mediums and heavies and then take on maybe reds I think that's coming pretty soon, the way that this goes. So it feels a bit like an avalanche, which is awesome. Uh, next time we'll be streaming is on Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be back again with uh, XCOM 2 L C, And then Tuesday and Wednesday will be at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then next week's also going to be our Saturday stream. So we're going to have three days, three days of Rogue Tech. Although I'm kind of thinking it might be kind of cool on Fridays. It's just having like a flex day. So there's maybe the bunnies they have a game that they want to see or we vote on which game maybe it's XCOM, maybe it's battle tech uh whatever then we can kind of have that as a flex day that would be a nice like relaxing friday type of thing so anyway thanks again if you'd like to help out the bunny league we are trying to hit a thousand subs on youtube i really really appreciate any help that you can provide i had a total blast i hope you did as well and i can't wait to get into the next one with you have a great weekend